Nothing built can last forever, and every legend, no matter how great, fades with time. With each passing year, more and more details are lost, until all that remains are myths, half-truths. To put it simply, lies. And yet, in all the known universe, between here and the Far Lands, the legend of the Order of the Stone endures, unabridged as self-evident fact. Indeed, it is only a troubled land that has need for heroes, and ours was fortunate to have, so long ago, four heroes such as these. Gabriel the Warrior, before whose sword all combatants would tremble. Eligard, the Redstone Engineer, whose machines would spark an era of invention. Magnus the Rogue, who would channel his destructive creativity for the benefit of all. And Zoran, the Architect, Builder of Worlds, and Leader of the Order of the Stone. These four friends together would give so much to gain their rightful place as four heroes. Their greatest quest would take them on a dangerous journey to fight a mysterious creature known as the Ender Dragon. In the end, the Order of the Stone emerged victorious and the dragon was defeated. Their story complete, they slipped away into the pages of legend. But when one story ends, another one begins. Would you rather fight a hundred chicken-sized zombies or ten zombie-sized chickens? Yeah. Just to be clear, you wouldn't have any weapons yeah. or armor, so you'd have to fight them with your hands. I'd have to go with the giant chickens, not because I want to or because I think it would be easy, but because they would be an abomination. Imagine their giant feet. Like I said, an abomination. So, I've got a daylight sensor on the roof. Mm -hmm. And if I did this right, these lamps should turn on once it gets dark. Mm -hmm. I didn't want to just leave Reuben here with nothing while we're at the building competition. He's coming with us. Really? What kind of question is that? Of course he is. Okay, I'm not saying he shouldn't come. I'm not. But don't you think it's a little weird that you take him with you everywhere you go? He kind of makes us look like, I don't know, amateurs. Ruben's my best friend. I thought I was your best friend. Both of you are. I didn't mean anything by it. I'm glad he's coming. I just don't want to give people one more reason to call us losers. I'm getting tired of it. I'm tired of being a laughing stock. Who cares what other people think? I know. I'm just... It wears you down. You say you're not a loser, Olivia. So win. Okay. Fine. Did you hear that? Oh, no. Boom! <laughs> Guys totally freaked out. Now we're wrong. Axel, what's the matter with you? Great. Now I'm gonna smell like a pig in Endercon. I thought we were buddies. Cool mask. It is, isn't it? Yeah, very convincing. <laughs> the look on your faces. Did you bring the fireworks? Of course I did. I even brought something for the little guy. Nice. You brought Reuben a disguise? Um, we're going to a convention. Somebody's got to wear a costume. He looks awesome. It only took me like a million hours to build it. All right, all right. You definitely brought the fireworks, right? Yes, I'm ready. Waiting on you guys. If he was really your best friend, you wouldn't let him go outside dressed like that. The only thing more dangerous than putting a costume on a pig is trying to take it off. <laughs> Hurry up and grab your stuff. We'll meet you downstairs, okay? Okay. Gabriel the Warrior. You think we'll ever get that famous? It's not impossible. Maybe I'll get famous for my 
sweet poster collection. Shears definitely taking these. Never know when I might need to shear some sheep. One of these days, we're gonna win the Endercon building competition. And when we do, people will look at us and say, hey, there goes Jesse and Ruben, winners of the Endercon building competition. You really should change the name. I got this stand as a gift, but don't have any armor to put on it. Maybe someday. Give me a dragon roar, Reuben. That'll do, Reuben. That'll do. Hmm, flint and steel, not too shabby. That's everything. Let's roll. Yeah, dude. Roll. Let's go. I heard a pretty juicy rumor about the building competition, but you guys have to promise not to say anything. Okay. Also, it's in two parts. Each part more exciting than the last. Spit it out, Axel. Part one. The special guest at this year's Entercon is none other than Gabriel the Warrior him freaking self. Whoa, what's part two? Part two, according to my sources, the winner of the building competition's gonna get to meet him. It doesn't mean anything if we lose, but if we win, oh man, this would make up for all the losing. I wish they were all gonna be there. Does nothing please you? You have to meet all the members of the super secret, super legendary Order of the Stone? I wasn't saying it wasn't cool, I was just saying that would be cool, too. So... Does this source of yours make posters for a living? Huh? Yeah, my uh, source uh, doesn't exist. You guys are my only friends. Guys, let's stay focused. We have a competition to win. We never win. And this year we've got Reuben with us. We basically have no chance. We're going to win because... What are you talking about? Because up to now... We've hated losing, but today, today, my friends, we're going to start learning how to love winning. That didn't sound as good as it did in my head. No, no, I'm with that. All right. Wait a minute, wait a minute. We're thinking about this all wrong. The point of the building competition isn't just to build something. We have to do something to get noticed by the judges. Okay, then. So how do we do this? We don't just build something functional, we build something fun. After we finish the fireworks machine like we planned, then we build something cool on top of it. We might be onto something. If we want to get a reaction out of the judges, you build something scary. So I say we build a creeper. Wouldn't an Enderman be better? I'm more scared of Endermen than creepers. They both have their moments. Both pretty scary. Then again, you scared the crap out of us with a creeper today. <laughs> Let's build a zombie. I guess that's kind of like a creeper. Eh, it's a monster. It's fine. We are so ready. Yeah. I think this is the first time we've decided on something before getting to the competition. Think we've got everything we need? It wouldn't hurt to grab a little more. Let's get to grabbing then. We're so prepared. We can't lose. Cannot. Bring it in. <laughs> Dare to prepare on three. No, no, no. Preparing is daring. No, that's... That's the same thing. Forget it. Uh, team on three. One, two, three. Team! team. Oh.
We know what we're building. We've got all the stuff for it. We are so ready. This year, it's going to be different. I'm not just ready to build. I'm ready to win. Nice pig, losers. Oh, mm. oh great. There's Lucas and the Ocelots. The rivalry continues. Man, they've got matching leather jackets and everything. So cool. Well, well, well. If it isn't the order of the losers. <laughs> Great. <laughs> the fail squad's here. Lucas, get a load of these losers. Let's go, guys. Name, please. Axel. And uh, how do you do? No, your team name. Team name? We are not ready for this. So much for losing anonymously. We're the Order of the Pig. <laughs> really? Is it meant to tie us to Reuben, or are you making fun of me? Okay, Order of the Pig. You guys are in booth five. Ah! Ah! Hmm. Nope. Is that a freaking beacon? They have a freaking beacon? Freaking beacon? That's stained glass. They aren't just building a beacon. They're building a rainbow beacon. We're gonna lose. Oh, Beacon sounds awesome. Almost as awesome as us, am I right, guys? I have no idea how we're gonna beat that. Don't leave me hanging. This might be too much for us to handle. We should probably stop staring at them. Ha ha ha! Look, it's the Order of the Losers, again. <laughs> Good one, Gil. We're just looking. There'll be plenty of time for you all to look at it after it wins and gets shown at Endercon. You're being unpleasant. Maybe not all of you. Endercon doesn't allow outside food or drink. I'm talking about your pig. I'm saying he's food. Shut up. What's that? Jesse said, shut up. Do you need to hear it again? I don't know. Maybe. Stop wasting your time, Aiden. We've got work to do. You're lucky I'm busy. Hey, Jesse. Guys. Hey, Petra. How's the bill going? Only time will tell, but we're optimistic. Hey, Petra. I forgot to thank you for that nether star. Hey, Lucas. Not a problem. You help these tools? For the right price, I'll help anyone. If you need anything, you know where to find me. None of us know where to find you. Exactly. No hard feelings, guys. If you're cool with Petra, you're cool with us. So why don't we just forget about all this and, you know, make this about how cool our builds are? We're going to crush you. <laughs> I don't know if you know this, but we're pretty good. Oh, wait. I get it. It's like a joke, right? No, I'm serious. We're going to destroy you. <laughs> you know, you're really funny. That's awesome. Hey, good luck. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Endercon Building Competition! The winners of this year's competition will have their build featured at Endercon. The winners will also meet, in person, Gabriel the Warrior! Ocelots! 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 Whoa, handshake? We don't have a handshake. We'll just make one up. We'll call it the... Uh... The Redstone Wrap. Hmm. And just like that, I'm nervous again. Don't talk like that. We can do this. Just stick to the plan and everything will be fine. This year, the Order of the Pig can't lose. Let's do it. 
building starts now. Oh no, a fireworks dispenser. I'm so scared. You worry about your build and we'll worry about ours. Now, the moment of truth. Here goes nothing. This looks so cool. We'll win this for sure. How could anyone not love a zombie? Good call, Jesse. Guys, people are looking at us. Good build, man. What? No way. It's just a bunch of dyed wool. Whoops. Oh no, Ruben's on fire! Ruben, no, come back! It was Aiden that pump. The lava's getting closer. It's gonna ruin the bill. Ruben's going to get lost. We've got to do something. But our build is about to go up in flames. You guys stay and save the bill. On it. We've got to cover, Jesse. Be careful. We'll meet up with you at Endercon. <clears throat> Ruben, where are you? Just give me an oink if you can hear me. Ruben, where are you, buddy? Hmm, pig tracks. Ruben, I don't want to be out here in the dark. These definitely belong to a pig. Hmm, there's no way Ruben made these on his own. Ruben, I got a carrot for you. Where are you, buddy? Ruben? Ruben, come here, boy! <laughs> Ruben, are you in there? <laughs> Stupid pigs. Ruben! No, not you, the pigs! Hey, all pigs but Reuben, shut up! Yeah! <laughs> yeah! Reuben, it's getting scary out here! Ruben, is that you? Ruben, Ruben, oh no, you in there, buddy? Oh, jeez, please don't be toasted, Ruben. Me, boy. Yes. Yeah. Mm.
There you are. Hey, buddy, you want a carrot? Oh, I'm so happy to see you. <laughs> Ruben, run! I think, I think we're good. I think we made it. Stay behind me. I got you. Stupid wooden sword! <laughs> Make a run for it, okay? I'll meet you back in town, I promise! Get out of here now! Get off me! Let's get out of the open. I want to show you something. Not that this isn't a really cool, dimly lit tunnel, but how far away is this thing you want to show me? Careful, Jesse. You don't want to get a reputation as a wimp. Y y this isn't my first time in a cave, Petra. Yeah, but have you ever seen a wither skull? Whoa! Fresh from the nether. You're the first person I've showed it to. So, you'd better appreciate this. You risk your life for that dusty old skull? No, oh, I risk my life for the thing I'm gonna exchange for that dusty old skull. There's this guy I'm meeting up with at Endercon. He's gonna trade me a diamond for it. Being the resident go-getter pays off every once in a while. Literally. Is a wither skull worth that much? <laughs> Are you kidding? For all the trouble I had to go to get it, I should be asking for much more. Wow. Wow what? In a single day, you went to the nether, you killed a wither skeleton. I mean, I did build a super cool statue, but still, it's pretty sweet being you, huh? You know, you could come with me. I mean, if you're too nervous, I totally get it. But I wouldn't mind a little backup. I'd be honored to be your backup. You don't have to make such a big deal out of it. I just said- You could come with me, I know, I was there, it was amazing. Kinda starting to have second thoughts here. You just keep a crafting table down here? Comes in handy. Since that wooden sword of yours got busted... You're giving me a new one? Even better, you can make your own. One stick plus two stones equals one sword. Just grab what you need. Oh, okay, thanks. Hey, is all this stuff yours? No, we're just stealing from whoever was dumb enough to leave this here. Of course it's mine. Just making sure. Oh, here we go. Jack... Just place the pieces on the table.
See? Isn't it better when you make it yourself? Check it out. Endercon's all lit up. I can't believe it. We won! I knew the zombie would put us over the top. Good for you, Jesse. It's about time we beat Lucas and his gang of jerks. What kind of stupid name is the Ocelots, anyway? You know, Lucas may be kind of arrogant, but he has come through for me in tricky situations. You might want to get to know him. Just in case. He's good at building, that's for sure. It's always useful to have a guy like that around. No matter what you might think of him personally. Yeah, you might be right. I'm just saying, if you run into him at Endercon, try talking to him. I don't need a lecture on the power of collaboration, Petra. How about a lecture on the power of my fists? It's short, but deadly. Come on, let's hurry! Remember what Endercon was like before it was cool? Remember what we were like before we were cool? Some of us will never be cool. Ha ha. Creepers! Uh, crap. Uh. Ah! This doesn't look good. Well, there's only one way off this bridge. Whatever we do, we do it together. Uh, we're screwed. Huh? I can't hear you. Get closer. I said we're screwed. Gah! You dive into the water. You don't land on top of it. Pull yourself together and follow me. Just let me know if you see Reuben anywhere. He's got to be here somewhere. I hope you're right. So, when we're making the deal, I need you to let me do the talking. Okay? I just don't want anything to screw this up. Or... anyone. Sure, I'll let you handle it. And if you want to be really useful, try to look intimidating. Like this? I'm less scared of you than scared for you. Jesse. And... Petra? Hey, you all know Petra, my new super close friend. We're super close now. We ran into each other while I was looking for Reuben. Couldn't find him, huh? He'll turn up sooner or later. I just know it. I saw him, but before I knew what was happening, we were under attack by a zombie horde. I told him to run. It was for his own good. What were you doing in the woods, Petra? Nothing. Just drawn by the sound of Jesse's high-pitched screams. I would have been spider-bait if she hadn't found me. Sorry we didn't come with you, Jesse. But hey, we won! Looks like abandoning friends and their time of need paid off yet again. You guys built one hell of a zombie. We did okay, didn't we? I still wish I'd gotten that part in the back to look better. I could have fit more fireworks in there, somewhere. I'm proud of you guys. Ah, oh, shucks. Don't make me blush. Seriously, don't. Hey, Jesse, it's time to go see about that thing. Oh, right, the thing. Subtle. Yeah? As a punch to the face. Axel and I were gonna head into Endercon anyway. See you in there? I heard somebody saying there's free cake by the map booth. 
Hurry. We're supposed to meet in the alley over there. Dark. Dark. Very dark in here. That's weird. He said the dark, creepy alley close to the gates, but he's not here. Maybe he's late. Are you sure this is the dark, creepy alley he meant? Hmm. I was. Okay. New plan. You stay here, just in case this is the spot he meant, and I'll look around. I guess I could have heard him wrong. Then again, I've never gotten a meetup spot wrong before. But then why would he be late? Okay, I'll hold down the fort. Thanks, Jesse. I'll be back before you know it. If he shows up while I'm gone, just stall for me. And just who are you? I'm waiting. Answer me. The name's Jesse. What's it to you? I'm supposed to meet with Petra, not whatever you're supposed to be. Give me one good reason why I shouldn't walk out of here right now. Well? I'm a very busy man. You're the guy who needed a wither skull, right? Not so loud, you idiot. Too many people know my business already. Do you have the skull? Uh, well... You do or you don't. You'd better not be toying with me. Petra has it. She'll be back any minute now. Well, as long as she's bringing it. I suppose it wouldn't kill me to wait a minute longer. Uh, well... Ivor! Ah, oh, here she is. Sorry I'm late, but good things are worth waiting for. I've got what you ask for. If you have what you promised us... You didn't say anything about an us when we first met? And I don't like surprises. If these are the sorts of people you associate with, perhaps we should call the whole thing off. My friend is fine, right, Jesse? There's no problem here. Let's not be too hasty, okay? This is just a little misunderstanding. Maybe we should rethink the whole thing. This guy gives me a bad feeling. I'll give you a bad feeling if you ruin this for me. Proceed then. I'll take that diamond now. Take it. You've earned it. Uh, this isn't a diamond. No, it's lapis. Of all the dirty, underhanded tricks to pull. I can't believe that guy got one over on me. I knew we couldn't trust that guy. Screw this. We're going after him. I'm either getting that diamond, or I'm getting my skull back. Yeah, or you'll make him pay, right? Right? Come on. Do you see him anywhere? We lost him. Then we'll just have to find him again. Go. Step aside, please. Just one question. Hold all your questions until after the keynote. The keynote sold out. Hold all your questions anyway. You guys big Gabriel fans or something? Too bad it's sold out. What's up? What's up? Nothing. What's up with you? Nothing. What's up with you? I, I just said nothing. Hey. Uh, congrats on the win. I mean, I still think our beacon was amazing, but you guys did a pretty good job, too. I mean, I thought the whole monster theme was plenty cool, but fireworks, too? It was sort of cool. You know, that stunt your friend pulled really hurt my pig. Okay, maybe, but I had nothing to do with that. He's still missing, you know. Sorry. I hope you find him soon. Hey, you didn't happen to see a creepy guy with long hair and a beard roaming around, did you? I don't think so. Why? He kind of scammed Petra out of a diamond earlier. Oh, 
Everyone knows you don't mess with Petra. Not if you know what's good for you. I'll keep an eye out, okay? Thanks, I appreciate it. So, uh, we're cool? Yeah, we're cool. Cool, cool. Cool beans. Cool Rama. <laughs> see you later, Lucas. Yeah, see ya. I'm looking for someone. Kind of tall, kind of mysterious, hypnotic eyes and a devilish smile. Oh, no, no, not you, not you. No, I'm looking for a, a creepy guy with a beard. <laughs> Thought you could just wiggle right out of that trap, didn't you? Well, wiggle as much as you want. You're not going anywhere. Axel, listen up. Any chance you've seen a creepy-looking beardy guy anywhere? No. Petra told me what happened. I'm keeping an eye out for him. Okay, so I got a little distracted. It's just this machine presses all my buttons. Unnecessarily complicated and mean to birds for no reason. It's just when something like this calls, you gotta answer. But I swear, as soon as the demonstration is over, Petra did make it sound kind of serious. We really need your help, Axel. If we don't find this guy soon, we might never find him. I was looking, I just got distracted. Have you seen Reuben? I was hoping he might have made it to town while I was distracted. Haven't seen hide nor hair. But I'm sure he's fine. He's a tough little ham. Axel? All right, all right, I'll look. After I watch one more chicken get owned. Ha, I see you now, weirdo. Well, if it isn't Team Trash Bag, that was your stupid pig. I hear intense heat causes brain damage. It does boost the flavor something crazy, though. Aiden, you idiot. Hey, who are you calling an idiot? You, now move. Hey. Hey, what do you think you're... What do you think you're doing? Oh, I'm sorry. Get away from me! I said I was sorry. Ruben, is that you? Get your pork chops here, fresh off the bow. Nothing sticks to your ribs quite like a juicy pork chop. Ruben! What's the big idea? I'm trying to run a business here. That's my pig! Oh, really? Well, I found him out in the woods, so I think that makes him my pig. Not the fattest pig I've ever seen. Well, he should cook up real nice anyway. Please, he's my friend! To me, he's inventory. I might be amenable to some kind of trade. Not that you look like you've got much of value. <laughs> I gotta get some kind of return on my investment. Otherwise, it's straight to the slaughterhouse for this one. Well, all I've got is this sword. Ooh, that's very nice. With this, I could cut my butcher in time and a half. Nice doing business with you. Come on, Reuben. I'm sorry, Reuben. I never should have let you run off in the woods. Remember that thing I had to go do with Petra? Long story short, we met up with this guy, he cheated me and Petra on a deal, and now we're trying to track him down. You in? Oh, I'm in, all right. Any sign of him? I thought I saw him earlier, but it was just a false alarm. Wait, there he is! Looks like he's heading towards the hall. We're gonna have to get past that usher to follow him. Let's go! So, yeah, hey. What would it take to get us inside tonight? Tickets? <laughs> <laughs>
That was a good one. You should laugh. Here's the thing. We had tickets, but we lost them. Ah, oh, man. I hate it when stuff like that happens. Ugh, me too. I, I feel like such an idiot. I'm sorry, but no tickets, no show. Gone. You're totally fine. You're totally cool, dude. We have to do something. Like what? This show has been sold out for ages. I could bust right through. I just need a little wind-up room. Any other bright ideas? We need a distraction. A lot of chickens running around might be a distraction. Shoot, shoot! Get out of here! Usher is afraid of chickens. What would you say if I told you I want to break this guy's chicken machine? to create the mother of all distractions. But you have to break that pane of glass. How are you gonna reach it? Let's look around. There has to be something we can do. I need to reach that window, but the fence is in the way. And I don't think I can mess up the fence if he's around. Hmm. I bet I could reach that glass with a slime block. Oh, hey, we meet again. <laughs> hey. One slime block, please. We don't give out slime blocks here, just slime balls. We've got a limited supply today, and we're only giving out two per customer. You could craft your own slime block if you had nine slime balls. I'm really sorry about earlier. I honestly thought you were someone else. Apology accepted. A round of slime balls for everyone, please. Wait, this is only eight slime balls. We need one more to make a block. Okay, we need to find another way to get some more slime, and quick. On it. Ruben, I need your guidance. What would you do in a situation like this? I hear you, brother. Hey, uh, Lucas, can you do me a favor? Anything's possible. I need slime balls. I swear I have a really good explanation. Whatever you guys are doing, count me in. Thanks, Lucas. Told you he was useful. Aw, oh, man. This guy isn't actually cool, is he? Remains to be seen. It's crafting time. So, you guys been building together long? You've got good chemistry. Are you jealous? I'm just saying, I think it's cool you have a team that works so well together. You're totally jealous. Ta-da! One slime block. Gross. I'll take that. Right... there. It's all you, Jesse. Give me a boost. Go! There! Through that door. What do we do once we catch him? There are a million ways to play this. But considering this isn't my fight, I'll follow your lead. I wouldn't mind a little payback. He deserves it for crossing Petra. You ready? Ready. Anything? He must have gone out another way. What is all this? It's like it used to be the basement. Weird place to have a hideout. 
I bet you anything I'll find my wither skull here. And if we find anything else cool to steal along the way, so be it, right? Axel, that's not what we're here to do. I did say we wanted payback. No better payback than thieving from a thief, right? I don't want to stoop to his level. But isn't that the best way to get back at him? I say we take whatever we want. Jesse, come on. What? He stole from us. We should be able to steal from him and not feel bad about it. The faster we find what we're looking for, the faster we can get the heck out of here. Mostly stuff about brewing. Oh, hello. Too heavy. And too soft. But super flashy. Yeah, I don't think this guy does much fighting. Hey, you still have that one stone sword, right? Nah, I had to give it to some jerkwad butcher to save Reuben's life. Jeez. Oh well, I guess that was a pretty good cause. Here. Now that's two you owe me. Thanks. Again. You're welcome. Don't lose that one. Find anything? I want to steal that and that. I just want to touch that. Ooh, take a look at this. You're not going to believe me, but I swear I had a dream about this. Okay, Potion, I know this is a big step, but I would be honored if you'd come home with me. It's yours if you want it that bad. I've never wanted anything badder. There's no way he won't notice his fancy potion is missing. A good thief always covers his tracks. Fixed it. Oh, yeah, the perfect crime. Find anything? He's no slouch when it comes to enchanting. This is pretty advanced stuff. Hey, Reuben, find any clues? What is it, buddy? You smell something? Something over there? Good work, Reuben. Hey, Lucas, you find anything? Uh, you want an instruction manual on how to build a creepy villain lair using everyday objects? Just keep looking. We'll be out of here soon, I hope. Is all this stuff? Soul sand. It was everywhere in the nether. What about that block in the middle? I've never seen one of these before. I wonder if I just take a closer look. Do you feel that? It's almost pulsing. How is it glowing like that? Maybe it's some kind of machine. If it is, it's not like any machine I've ever seen. Don't forget what we're here for. Find that skull. So, good news, weird news. I found the skull, but... What the hell? Why'd I risk my neck for that skull if he was in such a hurry to get it, too? There's gotta be something bigger going on here. Something we just don't see. Maybe Ivor is some kind of collector. A trophy hunter. Or he could be collecting them to make a bunch of banners. I think I know what's going on here. Soul sand, plus three wither skulls. That's the recipe for a wither. But, a oh, wither? That's... One of the worst monsters there is. We came down here to find the skull. Well, we found it. Maybe we should just grab it and get out of here, while we still can. Uh, guys? Scatter! Don't you recognize me? Oh, wait. Surprised to see me? No, that's not good. Thought you were rid of me, didn't you? That's better.
What was that? Who's there? Hey, you! What are you doing here? What did you see? Leave him alone. Yeah, back off, pal. You two! Did you follow me here? You thought you could just screw us over and get away with it, didn't you? We're here to prove you wrong. What are you going to do about it? I have what I want, and you have exactly what you earned. Now get out before I put you out. We know what you're doing down here. Soul sand and three wither skulls? You're building a wither! Huh, smarter than you look. Hey, nobody talks to my friends like that. Now shut your mouth, or else. Enough! You've wasted too much of my time already. Where'd he go? If you won't leave of your own volition, <laughs> I'll happily remove you myself. Show our friends the door, will you? <laughs> We are very proud to present the one, the only, Gabriel! Gabriel! Please, please. Thank you. Are you with me? Everybody okay? Um, guys? Where's Lucas? I thought he was right behind me. Well, if he's not here, the only place he could be is... He's still down there! Ivor's got an iron golem and all the ingredients to build a wither down there. If he were to unleash it in this crowd of people... We have to act fast. It just so happens that the greatest warrior of all time is in the building. I felt a lot of pressure ask Gabriel for help. This is the smartest way to help Lucas. He's tough. I just hope he's tough enough to hold out a little bit longer. I'm going after Lucas by myself. By yourself? Are you sure, Jesse? Yeah. The rest of you, go get Gabriel. We're on it, Jesse. We'll figure out a way to warn Gabriel, and then we'll meet you back here. Let's crash this party. Be back as soon as I can. Be careful. This is Bill. One block at a time. Here goes nothing. Just have to believe it. <gasps> Lucas, can you hear me? Even though I'm whispering, Jesse. Is that you whispering super loudly? Lucas! Over here! spot I've ever been in. Any bright ideas? Just run! Run where? You don't think I tried that already? Run! <sighs> Not 
nice one, Reuben. Okay, Jesse, come on. Let's go. Thanks for coming back for me. I didn't know if anybody was going to. No man left behind. That's my motto. Guess I owe you one. Where are the others? Dude, I don't know how it could be any clear. Weird guy, doing weird stuff. Freaky, with a side of strange. Why won't you listen to me? What do you want me to do, tell you charade style? I promise you, that's the last thing I want you to do. Four words, six syllables. Sounds like, this monster in the schmacement. Next. Wait, just... I have a question for you. Excuse me, sir, you'll have to wait your turn. Just tell me first. Do you really believe anyone can be great? With enough hard work? Yes. Was that where I went wrong? I simply didn't work hard enough? Ivor? Is that really you? How dare you interrupt like this? That's the guy who attacked us in the basement. I wish I could say I was surprised. If it surprises you want, you're in for a treat. Why don't you tell them the real story, Gabriel? I see time has made you bitter. And it's made you an even bigger fool. Now these people were promised greatness, and I'm ready to deliver. I'm sorry this is how they had to learn the truth. Gabriel, you have to stop him! Nothing built can last forever, Gabriel. I've... No! Preacher, attack! Greatness is out of his reach. He may not be able to defeat this creature, but I can! Creature! Retreat! <clears throat> creature! Retreat! Retreat, I said! Retreat! Ivor, what are you doing? Oh, no need to be alarmed, my friends. I have an elixir that will destroy this creature. That potion, is that? Uh-oh. Uh, what? Impossible. It should have worked. I took such care. The potion. Axel, you've got to throw the real potion. But finders keepers. You thieves, you're ruining everything. Axel, come on. Jesse, throw it. Protecting itself. Without the command block exposed, the potion is useless. It wasn't supposed to happen like this. Ivor, you coward, come back here! Jesse, help me! Thank you. Ivor was right about one thing. I can't defeat that thing. Not on my own. Everyone's running away. Except for you. Will you help me? I must get to the temple. But what needs to happen next? I can't do alone. Of course! Follow me! Chickens! Wait! Hey, I'm up here! 
Somebody help me! Guys! Lucas! Holy crap! Oh man! If I was still in that basement, I... Thanks for coming back for me, Jesse. I wouldn't be here without you. Jesse! Jesse, help me! I can't hold on! Do we still have everyone? We must set out for my fortress. We'll be better protected there. Thanks for that just now. Yeah, well, now we're even. Incoming! We'll be safe as soon as we get to my temple! Chamber is built entirely of obsidian. We should be untouchable in there. <laughs> Hurry! If you can get through the portal, you'll be safe! Uh, something's not right here. It's not lit! Everyone, get in! Now! Thank you. There are so many of them. I I can't save them all. I can't stop this by myself. We need to find the others. Others? Soren's been missing for years. But the others, you must seek them out. Take this amulet and guard it with your life. You can do this. You must. What does the amulet do? It will help you locate the other members of the Order of the Stone. Take it through the portal, and then... You two, go through the portal and meet up with the others. Stay here and do whatever I can. Go on, Jesse, go! Get through that portal, now! Petra, you've got to go through the portal with us. Sorry, Jesse. This is something I've got to do. If anything happens, I'll meet you guys at the temple. Oh no! 
can't get away from it! Jesse, do something! Yeah. Thanks, Jesse. Gabriel's still up there! Jesse, go! No! Where's Petra? We did everything we could. What are you saying? Jesse? What is he talking about? Because it doesn't sound... It doesn't sound good. Why don't you tell them, Lucas? I got scared. Just for a second. You got scared? It wasn't my fault. You got scared and it's not your fault? Back off, Axel. We gotta go back. No. We just have to wait. Think about what you're walking into. We should go back. She just needs more time. Petra needs our help. We're going. Hey, there she is! Come on, come on. You again. Ivor. You ruined everything. Don't pretend you don't know, thief! You took my most valuable potion, and what should have been my moment of triumph! You can't blame us. Your plan, your monster, your fault. Maybe. But if you hadn't stolen from me, I would have destroyed it. And all of those people would have been saved. There's nothing left up there! Nothing but that wither storm. Why are we wasting time talking to this jerk? We have to go and get Petra. The girl! I saw her. What? While I was running toward the portal, I passed her. She was running in the opposite direction. Such bravery. Of course. There's a fine line between bravery and stupidity. And your friend has crossed it. I'm saying she's stupid. She's going to make it. You're concerned about your friend. It's admirable. You're all going to be dead very soon. We'll see about that. You don't even realize you're in danger right now. So are you. Through that tunnel is a network of minecarts built by the Order of the Stone. It's your only way out. We should go that way. Time's wasting, let's go. What about you? What about me? How will you get out of here? I'll use my imagination. What was that? I would wish you good luck, but luck won't carry you through the nether. You have my sympathies. Let's get out of here! Run! This must be what Ivor was talking about. Everybody, hold on! Yeah, that is a lot of lava. And fire. And other things that could burn you to death. Oh no! Oh, that's a drop. That is very, very much a drop. What are you talking about, new guy? What drop? Oh, crap! You weren't kidding. Here we go. Okay, so I'm not 
not the only one seeing that we're running out of track, right? No? Good. Jesse, that switch! Now, do it! Oh, arms don't fail me now. Yeah <laughs> Wow! I thought something bad was gonna happen there, but <laughs> I guess everything's gonna be... Whoa! Jesse! Ah, no! Whoa! Wait! Oh, man! Uh, Axel? Olivia? Ruben? Hang on, Ruben! Ruben! Okay, Ruben, remember how I said everything was gonna be just fine before? I know I was wrong then, but I have a very good feeling about it. Whoa! Well, gas are officially crossed off my to see list. Done with gas. Never need to see them. Oh, crap. This is bad, this is bad, this is bad. Is, uh, is everyone okay? I mean, I'm not dead. I guess that's pretty good. Ditto. Ditto with the not dead. I just can't believe that Petra comes down here all the time. This place is awful. <laughs> Your throat's gonna be sore later, Axel. Why? I'm just saying. Wasn't that you doing all that screaming before? Sounded like you were really shredding your larynx. Oh, yeah. I heard that, too. Really high-pitched, kind of like a squeaky piston. What? No, shut up. Never mind. Must have... <laughs> must have been something else. We were just lucky to make it out alive. That's more than most people can say. Their bones are probably still sizzling away in that lava down there. Wow. Morbid. Sorry. throw up, like, inside your body? Uh-huh. I know, because I just did. About five times. <laughs> wow. Look at this place. All these tracks converge at this point. You could probably get anywhere in the world from here. There's the portal. This is what Gabriel was talking about. That's our way out. It must lead back to the surface. The surface is also where that creature is. He's right. We have no idea what we're walking into. It could be dangerous. Thanks for being so brave, Axel. All right, I'm gonna go. I'm going. I'm going right now. Like right, right now. I just need to make sure I have everything I'll need. I think I put the, uh, thing over in the... Um... You can do it, Axel. That's right, I can do it. Whatever's on the other side has no idea what it's got coming. All right, here I go. Thanks, Jesse. Right behind you. Be safe up there, Axel. Ready or not, here I come. Was close. I'm never going first again.
Where are we? In the dark, in the middle of nowhere? Maybe we should bed down for the night. It's dangerous to be out when it's just dark. I thought we were headed toward a temple. We're looking for a giant building. It should be pretty obvious. Ivor said... No, Ivor said... Well, then maybe this is the temp... I'm being sarcastic. Axel, come on. The Order wouldn't build all that track for nothing. It's gotta be here somewhere. Yeah. That's what I was thinking. Uh, I was agreeing with you, so... I don't know what you're talking about. We have to build... Uh... uh. Shelter. Shelter. I was going to say shelter. I say we build a treehouse. That'll take forever, and we'll be exposed while we do it. We just need a quick and dirty hut. Look, whatever it is, we gotta do it fast. What? In a hut, we won't know what's coming until it's knocking on our door. A treehouse is gonna be spider town. I hate spiders. Let's go with a treehouse. It's functional. It'll keep us out of danger. It's not a bad idea. All right, fine. Let's get started then. If I wake up with a spider on my face, I'm going to expect you to deal with it. Lower your expectations, Axel. Well, maybe if we'd built into the tree a little bit more, it could have... Never mind. It's... this is fine. It's good. Looks good, guys. Oh, man. What? I'm going to tell you something. You have to promise not to freak out. What is it? I have cookies. One for me. One for Olivia. One for Jesse. Thanks, Axel. And one for Reuben. <laughs> Sorry, Lucas. I only have four. Oh, no. It's... it's all right. I'm not that hungry anyway. I'll just... Grab something in the morning, or something. Take it, Lucas. <laughs> no, no, I, I... I can't do that. I insist. Thank you, Jesse. That was for you, Jesse, not him. If you had to, which would you rather fight? A hundred chicken-sized zombies, or ten zombie-sized chickens? Choose wisely. <laughs> uh, that's a good one. Let me think. How can you guys joke at a time like this? Petra is still out there. She's all by herself. There's nothing funny about that. Petra wouldn't mind at all. She'd want us to keep our spirits up. If I were her, I'd... I don't know. It feels wrong. Fine. Then, uh... We should get some rest. We gotta start looking for this temple as early as we can. Now, my guess is if we start at the portal and kind of split oh, up... Oh, what are you doing? Did I do something to you? I'd really like to know. Because you keep getting on my case for what seems like no reason. He's just trying to help. See? I'm sorry, Jesse. I'm not gonna sit here and listen to this guy telling us what's what. I'm just trying to get ready for tomorrow. You're the only one wearing that stupid jacket. Don't tell us what to do. Take. That. Back. Can't. Wouldn't. You know what? I get to wear this jacket because I know how to build. But that doesn't mean I don't know how to break things. Your threats don't scare me now that we know how you really are. Jesse, your friend is way out of line. I wasn't going to bring it up. But I can only take so much. Let's just drop it. Don't be like that, Jesse. Just... drop it. Haven't you done enough damage for one day? Petra might be dead because of you. You're taking this too far, Axel. I don't have to take this. Listen. 
Why don't I just leave and let you guys hash this out? You can't leave. It's dangerous out there. I can take care of myself. It's what Axel wants, right? Let him leave if he wants to leave. You're not going anywhere. But Jesse... That's enough. We're all on the same team now. He's staying. Zombie-sized chickens. That's what I would fight. Why is that? Because I'm starving. Of course. Rain is better than monsters. Thanks for keeping me around, Jesse. Yeah. Listen, don't worry. Hey, Axel will get over it. But still, the way it all went down wasn't cool. Give it time, he'll come around. Thanks, Jesse. See anything? Hey! There's something over that way! What is it? Some kind of building, I think. Let's get a closer look. This has to be the place. What is this place? That's what we're trying to figure out. It's the Temple of the Order of the Stone. Lucas, are you sure? He's right, look. Holy crap. Do you think they're in there? Let's go in and find out. Let's just all be careful. Okay. If you spot anything, call it out. We don't have a lot of time. Isn't it weird how dispensers are carved to look like spooky little faces? What do you dispense, little guy? I get the feeling that we don't really want to find out. Get behind me. Probably not a good thing. Oh, come on, dispenser faces. I thought we were friends. Run! <laughs> we're trapped! We activated the dispensers with that pressure plate. If we can figure out a way to trigger it again, I bet that'll shut them off. There's a crafting table. Maybe we can make something useful. Out of what? We don't have anything. All of our tools and materials are back home. All right, everyone, empty your pockets. Let's see what we've got to work with. I have a few sticks left over from building the shelter last night. I've got some flint and a piece of string. All I have are some chicken feathers I picked up after that chicken machine exploded. Well, let's see, I've got some flint and steel, a sword, oh, and some string from a spider that I fought. String, sticks, flint, and feathers. Alright. 
The order of the pig's luck is changing. This must be their enchantment room. Doesn't this look like Ivor's creepy basement? Find anything useful? Not sure about useful, but definitely interesting. There is a lot of history in this room. The battle was fierce, but the Order of the Stone emerged triumphant, saving the land and ensuring that peace and prosperity would reign forever. Well, not exactly forever. These five, five members, five friends, together would give so much to gain their rightful place as five, five heroes. Five heroes. They would author their own end. They would... The stories never mentioned him. This is so crazy. There must be a reason he's never been mentioned. Maybe he was different back then. Maybe they kicked him out. This is so crazy. The Order might not be what we thought they were, but Petra is still out there. That monster is still out there. Jesse's right. We need to focus on what we came here to do. Where do these stairs go? Hopefully someplace with less flying arrows. This is cool. Wow. What happened to the walls? More like what happened to this whole place. This must have been where they met. So where are they then? Gabriel said that once we find the temple, the amulet would lead us to the Order of the Stone. Well, what are you waiting for? Pull it out then. Is something supposed to happen? Well, that was a letdown. There's got to be something we're missing. Look around and see if you can find anything. What you looking at? Nothing. Whatever. Axel? I was just trying to figure out where Petra might be. I mean, I know she's gonna be fine, but I was just curious. We're gonna find her. It's the same as the amulet. It's a map of the entire world. This is way nicer than the one at Endercon. Hey, Reuben, find any clues? We're in the Temple of the Order of the Stone. The Order's actual temple. Who'd have thought it, huh? A bunch of small towners like us wrapped up in an adventure like this. Yeah, it's pretty insane. I just hope we all come out the other side in one piece. what Gabriel wanted us to find. 
It's the order. It's showing where they are right now. Look, we don't know enough about how this thing works. Maybe the amulet only tracks them when they're on the surface. Or maybe it doesn't work when they're in the nether. We have to go off what we do know. Petra's relying on us. That wither storm is still out there. We know that Gabriel was trying to tell us something. We've got to find the Order of the Stone. But there are only two lights. There are only two members of the Order left? He said Soren was missing. That leaves Magnus. Or Eligard. Let's head out. I'm not going with you guys. I have to stay here. If I know Petra, she's probably doing everything she can to find this place. She's still out there. She has to be. Just stay safe, okay? If there's even a small chance she's alive, I have to stay. Go. Get help. I'm going to focus on making this place safe before nightfall. This temple is pretty big, though. If we're going to have a chance at fortifying it, I'm going to need some help. If, uh, maybe one of you guys can hang back with me? Sounds like Olivia will have you totally covered while me and Jesse are out finding Magnus. Finding Magnus? You really think that's how it's going to go? We need Eligard. She's the world's greatest engineer. She'll figure out a way to stop that thing. We're trying to destroy it. And when it comes to destruction, Magnus is the master. You're a smart person, Jesse. And obviously, the smart thing to do is to go get Magnus. I... <laughs> think Axel meant Eligard there, Jesse. Uh, no. I don't think I did. Pretty sure Axel meant Magnus. Jesse, the point is, you should be going to Eligard's. It's the clear choice to make. You've got to come with me. You're my best friend, Jesse. It's you and me. Like always. Think about it, Jesse. This is more of a gut call. We need to make sure we get this right. We're not going to get a second shot at this. Whatever decision you make, I'll be cool with it. Really? As long as it's me. Come on, Jesse. This is an easy call. Get ready to roll, Axel. We're gonna go find Magnus. Let's do this. Olivia, you stay here with Lucas and get the place ready for when Petra comes back, okay? <sighs> Fine. But I'm only doing this for Petra. I'll take it. Uh, guys? Please hurry. Jesse and Axel return to the Nether, intent on finding Magnus, the rogue, and find themselves in a kingdom of chaos, full of dangerous people with poor impulse control and some deadly hobbies. While the great storm grows, consuming everything in its wake, time is running out for our intrepid heroes. Previously on Minecraft Story Mode. Heroes can come from unlikely beginnings. And broken friendships can lead to dark rivalry. When the world is in danger, fate calls on the ordinary to do extraordinary deeds. and go on journeys they had only dreamed of. Our heroes, thrown together by fate, must now seek help from a legendary artisan of chaos. But the question remains, will it be enough to save the world? Woohoo! 
Oh, come on, Jesse. You're not even having a little fun? I mean, I am. I mean, sure, the world's in danger, but this is our chance to be heroes. Breathe in the sulfur. Enjoy yourself. That's the spirit. If we don't get the order back together, the Witherstorm is going to eat everything. That means we need to get to Magnus as soon as freaking possible. You know what? You're right. We're gonna find Magnus, bring him back, and he'll totally know how to blow that thing sky high. Uh, dude! <laughs> So much. The mine carts. <laughs> Hurry! Use something on that gas. Okay, think fast, Jesse. What to choose? Just um, uh, don't miss, okay? I don't want it to hate us even more. Word. Ah! Time to move, buddy. Let's go. You were awesome, Jesse. With that gas and chasing the minecart, that is like the perfect warm-up for when we get to Boomtown. Boomtown? Yeah! Boomtown! This is it. I, uh, I think I'm gonna hold off on the whole going first thing for a while, Jesse. How about you take this one? Yeah. Chaos, man. Wow, a cactus. You don't see these back home. I take it as a souvenir, but I don't want to stick it in my pants. Good call, buddy. Do all these belong to different griefers? Well, here you have it, Jesse. Boomtown in all its glory. What do you think? It's like I finally come home. These are my people. And listen to that. They speak my language. Wow, Boomtown sure does keep you on your toes. Exciting stuff, huh? Yeah, yeah, now you're getting it. Dude, it's freaking glowing. Yeah, well, the green part is. That's weird. Yeah. And look, it glows brighter when I move it in certain directions. Easy does it. Easy. Maybe to the left. No, the right. I mean, your left. Right, I mean. You're right. 
about left. Axel? Stress Whoa. Whoa. <laughs> ding, ding, ding. Looks like that spire is where we'll find Magnus. Hey there, new people. You, uh, you said you know where Magnus is? All the griefers here in Boomtown want to find Magnus, you know. Whoa. How long have you been there? I think. You see, we're looking for him. Yeah, we're on important business. I hope it's not to give a fashion consultation, cause... Sheesh. What's going on? Nor found some noobs with a thingy that can find Magnus. Jesse? <laughs> Bunch of scavengers. This drop is mine. You better keep away from us, or I'll make you hurt in places you didn't even know existed. <gasps> Get back here with that. Oh, mighty Magnus, I have for you this offering. <laughs> no! <laughs> <laughs> Noobs. Hey, are they going the same way? They're working together. This is just how we do it in Boomtown. Which one took the amulet? I'll get the one with the fishing pole, you get the little blue haired creep. Think fast! Whoa! Your training is coming along nicely, ah. new. Just give me the amulet! Jeez, pal, no need to shout. Here, a reasonable conversation! Whoa. My turn! Hey, did Nor come this way? Yeah, and she had the amulet again. Stop right there! How about... no? <laughs> ah, these bricks will take forever to punch through. Luckily, I think I found us a punch-free entrance. Sorry guys, but I've been trying to find Magnus for way too long for you to stop me now. Oh, bad. Jesse, look out! Way too close! You know what you remind me of? This song I had stuck in my head once. I just couldn't get it to go away. Yeah, oh man! <sighs> 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 Okay, little amulet, show me the way. Of course, not sure what I'll do when I get there, but that's Future Nor's problem. I bet Future Nor is very successful. Sheesh, you again? Yeah. Uh, uh, give it back. This is more important than you know. Uh oh. Not again. Nice! What did I tell you about teamwork? What? But I'm the one who said we should work together! No, you didn't! Give me that! Give it back! You knew I should never trust you! Uh, thief! I'm never working with you again! Teamwork sucks! But our deep, personal history... It was a lie! Got it! I actually got it! Quick! Flush him out! <laughs> Axel, Magnus is somewhere in that building above us. He's got to be close. Then quick, toss me the amulet. You're surrounded by griefers and they're going to tear you apart. Well... Jesse, we need to move now. Just don't lose it. Hey, don't worry about me. I got this. 
you just keep them distracted. At the top! Yeah, that's where I saw it! I love a good table turn. Excellent. Hello, opportunity. Jesse, you made it. You don't need to sound so surprised. Do you have the amulet? Of course. Me and the pig, we totally rocked it. Well, I'm glad everyone's safe. Good boy, Reuben. Magnus, here we come. Huh, maybe it's, I don't know, locked or something. That's a thing people do to important doors, right? Fine. Knocking worked. For once. So it seems. Let's get in there. Right behind you. Ah! 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 Oh. Oh. Ah! You were completely surrounded by hundreds of hidden death traps. One step closer, and kaboom! It's Magnus! We totally got caught by Magnus! Uh, oh. I think we're gonna die now. Did you really think you could sneak up on me? Ha! You're two of the worst creepers I've ever met. And a pig? Really? Hardly stealthy. Oh, yeah? Well, oink, oink, oink to you, pork chop. Hey, no griefers here. <laughs> no way. We came from way out of town to find you. Oh, really? I mean, that guy? He's got griefer written all over him. Man, you don't know how much that means to me. Yeah, well, that's because he's your biggest fan. Look at him. I mean, not like biggest fan. Right? So tell me something, not griefers. How'd you find me? You working with someone? Or maybe you bribed another griefer? <laughs> For two noobs, I'm impressed you found me. Gabriel sent us on this mission. Gabriel? <laughs> You're seriously telling me you're buddy buddy with Gabriel? You know how often people try and tell me that one. This is all sounding pretty weird, dudes. Ow! Who are you really? Why are you here? I want answers. Now. We need to see the Magnus of legend. The one we've all read about. We're here to see if he really exists. He exists, all right. You have me intrigued. Go on. There's a huge monster eating up the entire world, and nothing can stop it. That's why Gabriel told us to reunite the Order. Magnus, you gotta come with us. You might be the only chance we have. Give me one reason why, ah! for even a second, I should come with you. I am the ruler of this place. I keep the disorder! Boomtown, this place you've built up and are known for, it's about to get destroyed. But if you come with us, we can still stop this. All this stuff you've told me. You expect me to just take your word for it? Two strangers with wild stories and nothing to show for it. Except an amulet. That's not theirs. Magnus, every word of what I'm saying is true. You have to believe me. Okay, okay, you sold me. I'm in. Oh, but...
but we might have a little bit of a problem getting out of here. <laughs> huh? You're Magnus. You can just walk out of here. Hello? I don't know if you've looked around this place, but uh, it's kind of full of griefers. But that's kind of awesome, right? <laughs> no. You've heard about the whole challenging the king for his crown thing, right? It's like their thing. So long as I'm king, I can't leave this town. I know how you feel. No, you don't. You're right, I don't. But you're Magnus. No one can beat you. And that's the problem. Simply put, that's life as king of Boomtown. <laughs> Not as fun as you think. I mean, hey. I do get to spit on their heads occasionally, so I guess that's all. Nice. You're my hero. But couldn't you just let them win? I've beaten them dozens of times. No one would believe it. But you, huh, you're the newcomer with the gold amulet. By now, there'll probably be all sorts of rumors about how awesome you are. If you beat me, then I'll be able to leave. I can't believe I didn't think of it before! That sounds awesome! Let's do it! Of course, you could never actually beat me in real life. You know, I'm just saying. <laughs> uh, wait, real? Life? What? Oh, this is gonna be good. I'm actually excited about this. But we gotta make sure it looks legit. The Death Bull has never seen the carnage that we're about to create. Uh, what's the Death Bowl? This is the Death Bowl! Welcome, ladies and gentle griefers, to the Death Bowl! In one corner we have Magnus, your king of Boomtown! Prepared to defend his title and crown! So tiny, welcome to the Death Bowl. The grief off to end all grief offs. How do you want to fix this? How are we going to fool? What's your uh, grand plan? Better lay it on me quick. Griefers aren't known for their patience. We'll start off small, then I'll throw some TNT at you. Just let it graze you, and then we'll call it a finish, all right? OK, something about TNT. Awesome! And you, what name do you go by? Uh, I'm gonna need a name. Come on, Jesse. I can help if you want. I am Jesse the Destroyer, and I am here to destroy my competition. You heard the name, folks. Give a big death ball welcome to... The Destroyer! Then let's begin! Opponents will craft their own griefing towers, which they will then use to grief each other. The only rule but is... there are no rules! <laughs> no eye poking! Other than that, go crazy! Seriously. Oh, Destroyer! Pick your building material, and Magnus, you... Nah, I'm good. Brought my own supply. Let the griefing begin! Wood, some stone, some... Pink wool? Pink wool it is. Not bad. Not bad. Guess it'll have to do. Axel, what are you doing over there on his side? Yeah, thought you might bring that up. It's just that Reuben wanted to take your corner, and I didn't want to crowd him or anything, so I thought I'd, um, watch from over here. Take your best shot! Should grow an egg. 
Ha! You grieve with me, you grieve with the best! I'm about to destroy you, Destroyer! Is that what they call ironic? Luckily, you won't destroy me, so we won't have to find out! You are but a student! Prepare yourself! For I am here to give you your final lesson. Ah. Um, that was just a warning! What? A warning that you need glasses? It seems the student has become the master, and the mighty destroyer will win the day. I don't know what that means, but I love it and want to put it on a t-shirt! What happened to getting hit by my TNT? Nobody messes with the Boom Master! Uh oh. Jesse! Jesse, you okay? Had enough yet? Alrighty! I think noob time is over. We've had some nice laughs, but now they must come to a close. And you should run home! Tracy, you're gonna be joking. What can I say? Welcome to Boomtown! Jesse, I think he just lost it. Magnus, crack the cannon! Yeah! Finish it with a cannon! If it's a cannon you want, it's a cannon you'll get! Yep, he's completely lost it. Dude's going for the kill. Jesse, you'd better craft the, I don't know, greatest thing of your life. Like right now! Well, there's still some material in the chest. That's it, Jesse, go! Hey, Axel, check it out. Ha! <laughs> that should hold him. Yeah, it's, yeah, um, yeah, it might do, but Jesse, look. <laughs> I'm supposed to throw the fight. <laughs> Jesse, look out! <laughs> Enchanted or bow in a cannon fight? Actually, there are all sorts of cliched lines about this. Yeah, but the TNT inside the cannon. TNT plus arrow. Oh yeah. Time to see how well you fly, pig. Ruben! Boom! I got you. I got you. Man, you smell delicious right now. Hey, Magnus! Yeah? Short stuff? Flying pig jokes are totally played out. <laughs> oh, crap! Something there, champ? It's just the winner sometimes, I don't know, gives a speech. But 
pontificate, orate, say something. Hello, Boomtown. How we all doing, huh? Hey, that's awesome. That's awesome. I I'm so proud to be standing in front of you all today. Welp, you guys ready then? Oh, yeah! This'll be a way easier target than Magnus. Wait, what's going on? Oh, well, that's not good. Holy crap! Is that your wither storm? How are we? What are we? That's... Ah! Oh, no. Oh, no! No! No, 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 no! Stop eating my kingdom! Put my subjects down! Ah! Magnus, come on! You'll regret messing with Boomtown! Go! Okay, just a little farther. Wow! Someone really went bonkers with the defenses, huh? <laughs> oh, oh! Who goes there? Oh, Jesse? Is that you? Lucas, did you build all of this? Well, yeah. I figured I would try and fortify the place, you know? Nice! I'm so glad you're back! And we brought Magnus! Fantastic! Quick, come on! You guys are never gonna believe who showed up while you were gone. Petra! Hey guys, how's it going? Petra! You made it! It's good to see you too, big guy. And it's really good to see you, Jesse. Back there in Gabriel's bunker, it got pretty dicey. It's such a relief to see you. I'm glad you're okay. You pulled me out of that Witherstorm's crutches, and I ran and ran and ran for the temple. If you hadn't saved me, well, I owe you everything, Jesse. I'm just glad I heard Gabriel telling you where to go. I'm so glad to see you. Wow. Did Gabriel get away too? Did you see? It's all a blur, but the weather storm left almost nothing behind. Everything. Everyone. was just gone. It even got Gabriel. Wow! It's been a while since I've been here. What is she doing here? Call this a hunch, but do you two not like each other? Right, um, I forgot to mention, Olivia went on a little expedition of her own while you were gone. And this Olivia person came back with her? Did you know about this? Did Eligard put you up to this? <laughs> you think you know a guy, and then, bam. Everyone just coming and going around here. Olivia's a friend of mine. I didn't know that she was going off to recruit Eligard. Magnus, you gotta believe me. Well, I certainly don't have anything to say to her. Jesse, Jesse, look, I found Eligard. Just hang on a sec, okay? I'll go figure out what's going on. Good, you do that. Easy now, Olivia. Let's try and play it cool, hmm? So, who are you now? And why did you bring him with you? We are reuniting the Order of the Stone. It was kind of crazy, actually. I went to Redstonia, and there were all these incredible engineers and inventors. It was a little intimidating, actually. But Eligard's made me her protege. Well, assistant for now. I mean, after what happened. 
I know. I'm sorry. So sorry. Well, I'm the king of Boomtown. Very impressive. She might have, well, embarrassed herself. A tiny bit. Yeah. But after I pled my case, she agreed to take me on as her assistant and come back to help. Not bad, right? Oh, hooray! It's Ellie. And here I was just starting to enjoy myself. Hello, Magnus. Your voice is exactly as pleasant as I remember. Which is to say, not at all. Oh, my feelings. Is that the same wit you're going to use to save the world? Why? You're here to tell me how to do it better? Oh, I would never dream of doing that. Unlike you, I actually do things instead of just talking about them. Hey, that's Eligard you're talking to. Show her some respect. Wow, you finally found yourself a live one. Hey! Your little devotees are usually a little more on the bookish side. Leave her out of this, Magnus. This is between the two of us. Oh, I started ignoring her ages ago. Magnus, as the ruler of Boomtown, I command you to shut up. Is that so? Uh, people, can we please focus on the bigger picture? We have a very hungry Witherstorm in the process of turning the whole world into its dinner. Yeah, I'll admit, that thing looked real nasty. And I've seen some nasty stuff in my time. Too much for you, was it? Your usual brutish approach didn't cut it? Hey, you weren't there, all right? You didn't see how this thing just tore everything up. You've never seen anything like it. This arguing isn't helping anything. We want to stop that thing? We're going to need some serious firepower. Jesse's right. We need to find some way to stop that thing. I don't know if you've looked around yet, but this place isn't nearly the stronghold it used to be. Most of our supplies are gone. It would take a mountain of TNT to kill that thing. I hate to say it, but you have a point. This is amazing. I know. Are they getting along? Can we start crafting some then? I don't think we got that kind of time. But even if we had all the TNT for miles around, I don't know if it would be enough. If only Soren were here, he might have something we could use. Oh, Ellie, not this again. You know I hate when you brag about you and Soren's little brainy club. I'm not bragging. I think I've got a legitimate idea here. There's something stronger than TNT? Soren had a kind of super TNT. Stronger and more explosive than anything else in the world. The Formidabomb. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I've heard all about the F-bomb before. F-bomb? Yeah. Soren claimed that dropping the F-bomb could destroy anything. But I've never it's seen it real. Before. I swear. Uh-huh. Well, the Formidabomb sounds perfect. We should go get it now. Well, there's a little problem there. We don't know where Soren is. But you found us. Do you know where he is? Our map could locate him. Unless he's in the nether. Or the end. But it's worth a shot. He wasn't on the map. How are you, Petra? Fine. You okay? We can talk about it later. Let's just do this map for now. Hello, Eligard. You said you know how to activate the map? I'm very curious to see it. I've never actually seen it work before. Hey, Axel, how are you doing? I'm hanging out with Magnus. I'm doing awesome. Glad to hear it, buddy. Hey, Magnus. Hey, Small Fry. No shame in admitting you can't turn that thing on. It's very, very sophisticated. I'm going, I'm going. I know what I'm doing. How are you holding up, Lucas? I'm all right. This has all been pretty intense. I feel like if I think too much about what's been going on, well, I'll just think I'm completely nuts. How does Petra seem to you? Not great, I guess. 
But she has been through a lot. Yeah, but you saved her. You did an amazing thing, Jesse. Hey, Olivia, you okay? I'm all right. I can't shake the feeling that I embarrassed myself back in Redstonia, in front of Eligard. I think she kind of judges me a little bit. It'll be okay. I hope you're right. Alright, there's your light, my light. That's new. There he is. Soren had his fortress deep inside the mountains. After the Order broke up, that's where he went to keep doing his experiments. Look, he invited me there a couple times, but it always seemed a little... Weird, right? It always seemed a little weird. Glad we can agree on that, at any rate. I mean, I never actually went there with him. That's probably the only time you made the right call. So he'll help us, right? Whoa. It didn't do that before. Are you sure it's working? Blue? Blue? That's Ivor! Ivor is going to Soren's. We need to move! It's not too far. We could probably make it on foot. Perfect. We can wait till tomorrow morning and travel with a full day's sunlight. Uh, and is that thing catching up with us? I think I've had enough wither storm for one day. Ah, uh, thank you very much. Right, because getting caught out there in the dark is so much better. Trust me, if you had seen this thing, you wouldn't want to stick around. Trust me. If you had a brain, you'd want to minimize our chance of being caught out in the dark with all the monsters. Eligard's got a point. Of course you think that. I don't want to risk being outside when it gets dark. We should wait till morning so we can have a full day of sunlight. An excellent call, Jesse. And far more decisive than either of us. What a coincidence that it's your plan! Okay, everyone, rest up. We'll head out at first light, all right? I appreciate you giving us a chance to rest, Jesse. I hate to admit it, but I needed this. Jesse, right? Oh, hello. I'm sorry if I seemed a little hostile before when we were talking about Magnus. Not the best way to get acquainted. He makes me a little crazy. He's just a little nuts, destructive, egotistical. I could go on, but I try not to. He definitely thinks highly of himself, that's for sure. Let me guess. The constant patting himself on the back? Complimenting himself? All the dumb, self-ascribed, grandiose titles? <sighs> Sorry, struck a nerve. In any case, thank you for taking my side before. I appreciate that. So, how is it being the leader of this little ragtag bunch? I haven't been observing your group long, but it seems a little... Dysfunctional? No offense. Me and my team are the best. We can get through anything. Wow. You really believe that, huh? I wish the Order had believed in itself that strongly. In any case, glad to be part of the team. How about we go get some sleep? We've got a long walk ahead of us tomorrow. sleep to do the body right. I am ready to do some blasting today. <laughs> Wish I felt as good as you sound. I'm still feeling a little under the weather. 
guys? Ah, crap! I told you it was gonna catch up with us. Oh my. You really weren't kidding. No. Not again. We can hash all that out later, because we got some monsters to fight here, people. isn't it? <coughs> yeah, and I'm really not feeling those columns. Ah, oh, come on! It's fine! Look! Woo! Don't fall, okay? Oh, that is deep. That is very, very deep. Crazy. Looks like Ruben thought so too. Uh -huh. That was way too close. I thought I wasn't gonna make it. Whoa! Look! What is that? Enderman. There are so many. I didn't think they ever came in groups that big. No kidding. It's like an Enderman party. Come on, we should get out of here. Olivia and the others already went ahead. Wow, this architecture is incredible. Looks like the others already swam across. Guess we better catch up. Oh, be quiet! It's just a pointless building! That's all I'm saying! I mean, look Madness, at- Madness, if an artist painted the end, that's it! I'm going! Once again, it falls to me to take care of everything. I'll find this super TNT myself. Oh, no, no, no! You do not get to be the one who walks away! That's it! I'm going! See? I'm walking away too now! Super TNT! Here I come! It's hard to pick glass half full when they keep kicking the glass over. And I thought they were doing so well. Yeah, I wouldn't go that far. Bickering is kind of their deal. But hopefully they'll work things out and get on with the important stuff. What are we gonna do now? Where should we go? Let's figure it out. Are you okay? I'm sorry. I don't mean to worry you. I've 
just got something I want to discuss with you in private. But let's split up. I feel bad about ditching everyone else, but I just wanted to talk to you about this alone. It's a little tough to talk about. It'll be fine. Thanks for being so understanding. You got me away from the wither storm, but I'm worried that I didn't get away soon enough. What? It showed up not too long after you saved me. What happened? The wither made you sick? Do you know what wither is? The wither? Of course, we've been- No, Jesse. Just wither. Or wither sickness, I guess. And I feel like it's just gonna keep getting worse. Well, we're gonna go back and tell the others we can get help. You can't tell anyone about this. <sighs> ah! Creeper! Grab my hand, pull you up. Jesse, I just couldn't. I'm sorry. Jesse? Are you okay? Don't worry, I'm fine. Okay, I got this. Stay safe. I'll find a way down to you. something useful in here. He has to! Why would he have so many books? Is he just collecting them? He can't have read all of these. Uh, hello there? <gasps> you. Trying to interfere with my plans again, I see. Your tenacity is commendable, yet misguided. You found your way in here? So now you may find it back out again. Immediately. I found the rest of the order. What good will that do? I'm here with the order to find Soren's Super TNT. We're gonna take down your Witherstorm. The order? <laughs> Believe me, that plan will blow up in their faces in more ways than one. They cannot help you. But me? I choose not to. Out of my way. Move! Wait, but I... Oh, you're not going anywhere. <laughs> Petra? You escaped? Ha <laughs> ha! Foolish girl! I... Shut up! I don't care what you have to say! I'm just gonna take you down. Ha! You should let the order decide. They'll know what to do. That kind of justice is too good for this monster. I'm 
the only one who can stop the wither storm. Not you, not the order. Don't make yourselves the villains in my story. <laughs> <laughs> You're not going anywhere. Ah! This could have all been avoided. If you want to stop me, you'll have to catch me first. Jesse, look out! You're not getting out of here that easy, Ivor. <laughs> I'm like the wind! Jesse, you could have just let me go. <laughs> now you see me. Now you. <laughs> it's one of his invisibility potions. He could be anywhere. Vanish all you want, slime ball. You're still not going anywhere. <laughs> End of the rail, Ivor. We're not letting you get away. This one's on you, you puffed up fool! There's no time for this. Jesse! Petra! Even more of you? Will this parade of useless babblers never cease? What's going on? We found Ivor. We stopped him. Jesse did, anyway. Balls. You have stopped nothing. Query, have you ever seen the effects of a splash potion of slowness? Magnus and Eligard may think they can stop me, that they can destroy the Wither Storm, but they are mistaken. Cost them their lives. Next time on Minecraft Story Mode. In pursuit of answers, all our heroes found in Sauron's armory was deceit and treachery. Locked in a dark chamber deep in Sauron's mountain. As the Order of the Stone rides off towards near certain doom, our heroes must ask themselves, would they find a way out of this dark tomb? Is there any way to cure Petra's wither sickness? Would they find a way to defeat the wither storm? Or would they remain trapped as it continues its ravenous rampage across the entire world? Only time will tell. Previously on Minecraft Story. It is said that within every loss, every challenge, Lucas! And every failure, there is a gift. When revered heroes are lost, 
We find new ones in our friends. When we're given grief, we find a way to give it back. And when our band of unlikely adventurers are tasked with saving the world from the coming storm, they will bring together the bravest and the brightest to stop it. But finding the last and most elusive member of the Order of the Stone and his legendary Formidabom would prove their most perilous mission yet. For some would rather our hero's story end here. Shutting the door on their adventure forever. But like all doors, when one closes, another is bound to open. was one heck of a landing, Axel. He mostly used his face. We need to find Soren. Yeah. I still can't figure out how Ivor made the door close. Maybe we should focus more on how it opens. That's basically what I said. Guys, sure. Maybe it was a pressure plate. It seems like that could have been it, but... Like I said, heard you how did Ivor manage to beat you? He got one over on all of us. Yeah, but he used a potion for that. He beat you fair and square. Fair and square? Look at this. I'm not trying to freak you out, but I'm a little bit freaked out right now. It's starting to feel stiff. And my vision's all jittery. You're gonna be fine. It's really painful. It'll pass. Let's hope so. If it becomes more of a thing, I'll tell everyone. But let me do it. Hey guys, I have an idea. Okay. Magnus, help! Well, all right, but I have another idea. Is it yelling for Eligard? Well, not anymore. Look, they aren't coming back. We have no idea where they are. They couldn't abandon us if they wanted to. As long as we have... This! Flint and steel? I don't get it. it it's not... That's not what I meant to pull out. Hold on... This! Looks like it might be broken. Here, let me see it. Maybe you're just holding it wrong. Or maybe you just have to jiggle it a little. Do you mind? I just want to see it. You can see it without touching. What if you can't get it to work? It's working fine. Soren! Find him, Jesse. Maybe he can help us. This is the spot. It has to be. Maybe. This is definitely it. Get ready to dig, people. Who knows how far down that goes? We might end up digging until we hit bedrock. Guys, we're not really equipped for this. 
Anyone else have a better plan? Jesse's talking to you, Lucas. I know. I, I just need a- Hi, gal! Let's get to it, then. Are we cool? It's a hole! Does that mean we're cool? I I'll find out! I guess that makes sense. You dig, you get a hole. I'm not sure why I expected anything else. Ooh, that would have been bad. Hey guys, get a move on. Everyone okay? I just slipped. What's that smell? Just breathe through your mouth. Axel already does that. Hey. Let's get out of here. Stay close, boy. What? We have to get out of here! We just got here. You don't understand. This is a grinder! They're meant to kill monsters! Trouble is, they can't tell the difference between monsters and people. What's a grinder doing down here? Not just any grinder. This is the craziest one I've ever seen. It has to be Soren's. Creepers! Was that...? The amulet, yes. <sighs> Wait! Are you gonna jump? You're going to jump, aren't you? Please tell me you're not going to jump! Just tuck and roll. This one's mine.
get down! Who wants more? You're asking for more? Jesse! Hey, ugly! Watch out! Hey, Bonehead! I'm talking to you! Any time now, Jesse! Wait up! Water was supposed to break a fall. Uh, is everyone okay? We all good? Well, I am definitely not thirsty anymore. <sighs> We're fine. <gasps> no, no, don't worry. I'm totally fine. Why? Oh, crap. I'm sorry. He didn't come for us. I just knew it. Reuben had his doubts. I owe you. And if there ever comes a time when I can pay you back for that, I will pay it back. 
With interest. I'm just glad you're okay. <coughs> Both of you. Thanks, Jesse. There's something different about you, Jesse. You're... Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on! This is where all the loot gets sorted, right? That's exactly what it is. See that? Things are starting to turn around. It was cool what you did up there. We stick together, and we'll be fine. It's good to know you're not letting all this get to your head. You feeling any better? Not even a little bit. And now I'm wet. Everyone's looking at you to lead. Well, actually, maybe not everyone. It looks like it's still working. I'll just be real careful with it. Keep it safe. Hey, thanks for grabbing that. Not a problem. Hang on a minute. He's close. Soren's close by. He's gotta be... This way! Look how bright it is! Whoa. Sounds like the grinder is backed up. With loot? <gasps> go, 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 go! Keeps getting better. Where's Axel? He was right behind me. Ooh. Ha! See? I told you I'd pay you back. Get off! Oh, jeez. Oh, man. Oh, I, I... There, there, Lucas. It's okay. Let it all out. What? No, I'm not crying, just look! Hide. So, uh, what do we call that? A, a herd of Endermen? A, a flock of Endermen? A swarm? A crap ton of Endermen? We might want to hold off on the grammar lessons until later. Which way are we headed, Jesse? Stuff like that doesn't work in the nether. Probably not the end, either. <laughs> ah, great. Whew. Man, so we were trapped, and now we're lost. So we go from uh, a death machine that almost drowns us, and we land here, in the end. <laughs> Which is the right name for it, since now, incredibly, we don't even know where we're going. At least we're alive, and well. 
Yeah. We just have to keep on trucking till we get to Soren. <sighs> Face it, Jesse. We might never find this guy. There he is. That has to be Soren. Who else would build a staircase in the end? That's got to be him. We gotta go. Everyone, follow me. I'll get us to the other side. Just stay behind me, and we'll... <coughs> we'll be fine. We'll be right behind you. Uh, that doesn't sound like a good idea. Actually, you know what? I'll just go. Give me a chance. Just say the word. Everyone, follow Lucas. And let's pick up the pace, okay? Come on! Nice moves back there, Lucas. <laughs> Thanks. And you too, Jesse. Thanks for giving me a shot. Someday, I love something as much as Soren seems to love stairs. Jesse, can you give me a sec? Real quick. <coughs> Need a hand? Oh, no. <coughs> I can manage. Thanks. Really? I'm fine. I'm good. I'm good. We can keep moving. <sighs> so many stairs. There's a ladder. Better not be a long one. This is. Looks like that's the way in. After you, dude. Here it goes. Say more stairs. Well, I don't see Soren, but you guys aren't gonna believe what's up here. Green grass, trees, a huge lake. Come and see for yourselves. Ah, so bright. That's my body, Axel. My broken, battered Hang body. On a second. The ground is almost squishy, like carpet. Looks funny, too. Hey, I can see again. What in the. It's made of wool! This tree, the grass, it's. It's all wool. You're telling me that we've been resting all our hopes on this guy, and the whole time he's been building some totally artificial happy land? Well, it's real wool. It's real evidence that Soren is whacked. I guess after all this time to himself, Soren might have gone a little off. A little is being generous. It kind of makes sense. The other members of the Order haven't exactly been all there. We came here for nothing. What are we even supposed to do now? We came here for Soren and for his Formidabomb. That's still the plan. 
Just look around, Jesse. If the greatest builder of all time has spent years working on this, what are the chances he's even gonna have that bomb, huh? I've had enough crazy for one day. What's his problem? He seems pretty upset. Maybe he's allergic to wool. I don't know what's eating him. You could trick me, huh, fake son? Well, it's not gonna work. What's up, Jesse? I think I'm onto something with this lever puzzle. If I can just find the secret door, I know it's gonna open. You both doing okay? Could be worse. Could be better. Either of you guys know what's eating Lucas? Well, as a longtime observer of human behavior, we have no idea. Try, you know, talking to him. I'm gonna keep poking around. Right. Hey, Reuben. <laughs> High five, Reuben. <laughs> Doing okay, buddy? I know I'm supposed to be looking for something, Reuben. Any idea what? What's that, boy? You see something over there? Well, I'm gonna keep looking. Neat! Hey, Petra. Have you ever seen anything weirder than this place? Actually, yeah. I once saw a villager dig a huge trench and fill it with, like, a million carrots. So, on a scale of uh to uh, how bad are you feeling? Somewhere in between, but... I'm holding on, for now. How do you think Soren managed to get out of here without leaving any clues behind? He is the greatest builder of all time. If anybody knew how to put in the secretest of secret doors, it's him. I guess I'm gonna keep looking around. Look away. What do you want? Lucas, no matter how upset you get, you've got to keep it together. I know. I do. I just... Listen, I know I've been prickly, okay? But... Jesse, I think something's wrong with Petra. I mean, you have to have noticed. The lack of energy, the labored breathing. I, I wish I could tell you, but I'm not supposed to talk about it. Wait, talk about what? Jesse, if I'm right about this, you have to tell me. It's not fooling anybody. At least not me. Look, Lucas, Petra's sick. How long have you known? A while, but she asked me not to say anything. The wither infected her with something. So everything I was worried about is true. This is my fault, Jesse.
Petra's wither sickness? It's because of me. There's no way this is because of you. If I hadn't choked, you would have been able to pull Petra out of that tractor beam sooner. For all we know, Petra didn't get sick until way after that. Maybe you're right. If one of our best fighters is sick, do we even stand a chance anymore? I mean, not like we haven't dealt with some grade A problems before, but I just can't help feeling kind of hopeless. If we stick together, we can do anything, even something that feels impossible. It just feels extra impossible now. Then we stick together extra hard. Okay. I just kind of wish Petra would tell everybody. It would just make things easier. Hey, Jesse. I kind of need to get at that lever you're blocking. Thanks. Yep. Hey. Lucas knows something. How much of something? He sees you're not feeling well. I'm trying to hide it as best I can, but... You take care of you. I'll take care of Lucas. I'll be back. I'll be here. Well, I talked to Lucas. Is he... okay? That was so unlike him back there. I mean, I know we haven't known him that long, but still. Axel, Olivia, I have some bad news. You may have noticed Petra's been falling behind more and more lately. She's... she's sick. Oh, man. I gotta say something to her. That's... weird. Hey everyone, I think I found Soren's way out! Way to go, Jesse! Nice sleuthing, Jesse. Sorry I wasn't more help back there. But when I think back to how I ran all over Endercon looking for Ivor, or when I got that skull, it's hard to imagine I did any of that, now that I'm like this. I'm just happy you're with us. Nope. Don't want it, don't need it. Thanks. We'll check out the rest of the house. See if we can find Soren before he finds us. Guess the water system isn't just for the outside. Not that the outside was actually the outside. You could fit hundreds of people in here, but it doesn't look like it's being used for much of anything. Well, 
know, the music's louder. But I don't hear anyone talking in there. Let's see what's going on behind this door. Symphony in E. <laughs> A new composition to celebrate my newest discovery. That's him! This time, I observe Soren. place a block on top of another block. <laughs> what the? Rudimentary, yes, it's but just a recording. A sign of undeniable intelligence. <laughs> I hope I'm not imagining things. <laughs> After no, all that, <laughs> he's not even here? <laughs> I, 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 I better eat something. I'm positively lightheaded with excitement. We came all this way, and for what? We're no closer to Soren than before. Well, this record didn't turn on by itself. Huh, good point. I guess he really likes the sound of his own voice then. Maybe there's something useful well, on this record. My next step I can is figure to out what he's whether talking they might be about. able to be persuaded to build collaboratively. I've worked up a simple set of building instructions to inspire them. I will disguise myself and hide among them in order to observe them more closely. Huh. Hmm. Oh, hide I among a new composition hide among who? Uh Jesse, do you think Soren is talking about them? <laughs> then again, everything else about this guy has been pointing to crazy. I guess everybody needs hobbies, even if they are really, really, really dangerous. You think he's actually training Enderman to build stuff? I think he thinks he's training Endermen to build stuff. Let's look around, see what we could find out. <laughs> Found something. What you got? It's definitely some sort of crafting recipe. But why would someone as brilliant as Soren need a recipe for a shape that simple? Because they're not for Soren. They're for the Endermen. This must be what he's trying to teach them to build. Those instructions called for clay blocks, just like this one. Hey, Olivia. What do you think the others have found? I don't know. Soren's mansion looked huge, but the lab seems to be where the real answers are. Take this one, too. That's three I've grabbed so far. Good thing they can't see me through this glass. I'll take this one, too. Looks like this is the last block in here. You find anything useful? <laughs> Worth asking. Olivia, check it out. An Enderman suit? Either Soren's got a very unique fashion sense or... Wait a second! This must be the disguise Soren was talking about on the recording. In order to walk amongst the Endermen, you have to become an Enderman. Oh, it smells like one, apparently. Woof. Okay, so, if Soren is using those blueprints to teach the Endermen to build, and there's a disguise missing from the stand, 
He must be conducting his experiment right now. Of course! The missing disguise is the one he had to put on before going outside. Which means if we want to get to Soren, oh, we have to go out there to do it. That leftover Enderman suit would fit me. Guess it's time to play dress up. How do I look? I don't think you want my honest opinion. But it just might do the trick. You doing all right? <coughs> yeah, you and me both, buddy. Hang on a second. Soren in disguise looks like any old Enderman, and so will you. How are you going to find him? Walk up to every Enderman out there and say, Hey, are you Soren? The whole point of the disguise is to avoid that kind of attention. We just need to stand out without being seen, like a shadow in the night. What? Try not to die, okay? I'd really hate to have to watch that from behind this protective glass. Thanks for the vote of confidence. Okay, we've just got to get Soren's attention and avoid attracting theirs. Six blocks to finish that shape in Soren's instructions. And this guy's got the only block around. Down, five to go. I just hope that Soren's watching wherever he is. False evidence of Enderman intelligence accomplished. Uh, nothing to see here, guys. Just walk away. Okay, they're not walking away. Definitely not walking away. I am sorry about this, but it has to look real. I I don't think it'll bruise. Your, your face, I mean. These suits were built with durability in mind. You must be Soren. Well, I am. But must I be? I'm not sure if I want to sometimes. Sometimes I'd prefer to be anything but Soren. Like a donkey, for example. You have to help me. Well, I just did. You hit me hard in the face. You upset the Enderman, and I got you to safety. By the way, as far as introductions are concerned, this is not going very well. We're in danger. Oh, what else is new? Whatever your issue is, whatever your problem, it has occurred before, and has been solved before. Even so, what do you need me for? 
I've gone out of my way to avoid these types of problems. I don't even remember what it looks like up there. Help me save the world. How? The Formida bomb. There's a wither storm on the loose and it's eating the world. Ah, I see. You misspoke. You don't need me. You need my stuff. I've found that when you give people what they want, they turn on you. They become resentful. They show their true colors. Who turned on you? All of them! It's why I prefer Endermen. They always do what you expect, almost to a fault. You're a stranger. And what you're asking for is too dangerous. I have a pig. Right. I was wondering about that. Hmm. My guess is portable meal? <laughs> He's my friend. Oh, of course. <laughs> I used to have those. Gabriel asked me to reassemble the Order of the Stone. The Order of the Stone? They asked for me? I've always known they needed me, but I was never sure if they wanted me. It's lonely down here without your friends. Gabriel is your friend. Hmm, I don't know. Does he ever talk about me? Uh, sure. What kinds of things do they say? Specifically? Give me an example. That you were missed. Really? Maybe it was more missing. You have to read between the lines. Yes, yes you do. But what about you? Are you my friend? As long as we're on the subject. Not to put you on the spot. Sure. Ah, that's the best thing I've heard in years. Admittedly, it's not a very high bar. Don't worry. I'm going to help you, because that's what friends do. Before we leave, I'm going to give my old friends a gift. The gift of song. Gary may seem scary, but he's a swell guy. Sally dilly dallies, give her credit she tries. They might look the same to the untrained eye, but that's a lie. So I say... Yeah, let it out. Wait, is that... Are, are, are you? Soren! Whoa! Nice to meet you, Soren. <coughs> you look terrible. Seems a bit odd. I've never been inside before. What's happening? You've upset them. You've altered their behavior. Okay, let's go. And the hits just keep on coming. Huh? I wasn't expecting so many house guests. There's no way I have enough seashell soaps for all of them. How are we supposed to get out of here? We need to come up with a plan. And not our usual, we'll come up with a plan when we have to, oh wait, now we have to kind of plan. Soren, you've been studying Endermen for ages. Any bright ideas? One constant about Endermen is that they hate water. If we can force that fountain to overflow somehow. Jesse, you still have the Enderman suit. Put that on, and you'll be able to safely reach the fountain. <gasps> oh, just when I thought I'd never have to smell this thing again. Good luck, dude. We'll, um, all watch from here, then. Where it's safe. Oh. 
Whew. Try not to die. Come on! What are you waiting for? Ah! The plan was to break the fountain, so break it! Come on, guys, it's clear! Oh, no. We're gonna die. Ah! Nobody's gonna die. Because I'm going to break that other fountain. Whoa! Okay, everybody, let's go! Ah! What's the holdup? <gasps> They're everywhere. How are we supposed to get through this? I mean, physically and psychologically. Say we somehow make it. Can't see how this won't become a reoccurring nightmare. Everyone, just hold on to me. I'll guide us through them. I guess if this is the only way we're gonna make it back to the trap door. constructed this place, I worried about how flammable my building material was. So I installed a fire suppression system to prevent the whole thing from going up in flames. So there's more water? Much more. If we activate it, it could disperse all these endermen while we swim to safety. Can we reach the controls from here? The lever! It's right up there! Yeesh. I don't know how much water this thing is going to kick out, so everybody... It's working! Well done, Jesse. Now, time to swim to that trap door. Quick, come on. Hurry! Jesse! Jesse, hurry!
We made it. Making it is relative. Oh, come on! This isn't a ton of fun, but let's grab that permitted bomb and get out of here! One small problem. I mean, really? This too old, even. I haven't actually built it yet. That's a small problem? You seem like a person who appreciates cool stuff that's cool for no reason. Thanks? Go ahead and throw that lever behind you. Jesse! Hold on to your socks, because they're about to get blown off. Go to work, boys. us, will they? Ask me no questions and I'll tell you no lies. That didn't actually... Ask me no questions! Do you guys hear that? Do what? All that stuff whispering. Take me. Take me now. I think it's saying... Olivia should get to take more than Axel. But why? Because she's cooler. Nah, uh, come on, Loot. I thought you and me were tight. It wouldn't hurt to take a few things. And by few, you mean all, right? I'll just fetch the Super TNT. It's right up there. How are you gonna get up there? Well, I have my ways. Oh, and feel free to help yourselves. Just make sure you keep an eye out for the gunpowder we'll need to make that formidable. Are you in paradise or what? Honestly? I'm wearing what right now? All this power went straight to my head. And then I got a head rush. And now I'm too overwhelmed to take anything. Stay strong, Axel. I'll try. Are you both doing okay? It's gotten really bad. Part of me is hoping that when we bomb the Wither Storm, this sickness will just dissipate. Sure would be nice, huh? Well, it makes sense, doesn't it? I had the same thought. Well, fingers crossed, right? Toes, too. Soren? Jesse! I think I've got almost enough gunpowder now. Glad to hear it. And Jesse, I am sorry for not keeping this place as organized as I should. It's very embarrassing. And this is my Super TNT. Wait, but I thought Super TNT was the Formidable. Uh, of course not. They're two completely different words, aren't they? Let's build us a Formidable. Yes, let's build away. Uh, how do we build us a Formidabomb, exactly? Do we just combine this with gunpowder? Well, the crafting recipe is quite simple, really. Super TNT in the middle, and gunpowder all around. 
Got it. No! No, no, no! The ingredients are highly unstable. Even putting them in close proximity to each other is a risk. Okay, well, we may not have the Formidabomb yet, but at least we finally have the ingredients to build one. Progress! And now that we have them, we... <clears throat> we... I literally don't remember. You're gonna have to help me out a little, Jesse. Looking for any information here. I just need to find a way to get it inside the Witherstorm to blow it up. Oh, oh dear. Oh, I was afraid of this. With the end underwater, the Endermen will try to escape. Maybe we should leave before any of them show up. Of course. Of course! To the mine carts, everyone! <laughs> I've been waiting ages to say that. To people, I mean. Incoming! Oh, there you are! So glad you could make it! Ha! I could have used you earlier! <laughs> Showing up just in time to hold up the trophy, huh? I'm glad you're okay. This looks like okay to you! I thought Ivor was coming to get you. Ivor? We haven't even seen him. Uh, what's going on? Uh... You don't have to worry about the monsters. They're running away. Worry about what they're running away from. I feel like that got bigger. It did. It's Formidabomb time. Sora? It's him! It's you! Hello, old friends. It's time to go! We only get one shot at this. Remember, once the Formida Bomb is crafted, it'll explode in a matter of seconds. It means whoever is doing the crafting will be in great danger. I was hoping, well, perhaps we could draw straws. <laughs> Don't look at me. I think I may have tweaked an ankle earlier, so... This is my chance to step up. Perhaps. I'm going to set off the Formidabomb. That's what I was hoping for. The rest of us will build distractions in its path. Hopefully it will buy you some time. You should be ashamed of yourselves. Jesse, take my armor. It will help. Nah, you can take mine. It's gotten me out of a lot of jams. I insist. I double insist. I triple insist. I insist four times. Quadruple. Know it all. <laughs> I've never found that insulting. <laughs> I bet you don't know what the fifth one is, though. Quintuple. Alternatively, pentuple. Up to you, Jesse. Real armor or nerd armor. Right on, Jesse. Uh, by the power vested in me, yada da yada da yada da, the Order of the Stone. What? Jesse, 
You're going to have to set down a crafting table out there and make that formidable. Everyone else, grab a buddy and split up. We need to keep that wither storm on track, so build, build, build! Jesse, don't forget, super TNT in the middle! And gunpowder all around! Jesse, you actually did it! Not that I'm saying I doubted you, but I did a little. But now I don't, and I never will again. Look, I know it wasn't easy, but... About time we got a real win. I couldn't have done this without you guys. Any of it. Oh, believe me, we're well aware. Thanks for saying it, though. <laughs> Thanks, buddy. Uh, anybody seen Soren and Magnus? Oh, no. You fought valiantly, my friend. <clears throat> we both know my fight is over, man. Stuff and nonsense. Stuff and nonsense. Save your strength, Magnus. We'll take care of this. We'll take care of you. Jesse. Magnus. My armor. It looks great on you, man. I want you to keep it, okay? It's not going to be much use to me anymore. Don't say such things. Jesse knows. I'm right. Thank you, Magnus, for everything. Thanks for... Having me along for the ride, Jesse. Sorry I couldn't last any longer. Hey, at least I finally got to be a real hero, right? All those people, 
They're alive. The Witherstorm didn't kill them. Jesse, you gotta help them. All of them. Make sure they get out. Don't leave anybody behind. Swear, okay? Of course I'll save them. Every one of them. We're the good guys, right? That's what we do. job to do. You guys help the survivors. I need to make sure we find the people who might be trapped. Get to safety. There are people over there who can help you. Thank you. Thank you. You're gonna be okay, I promise. I... thank you. Don't worry, it's all over now. My friends are gonna help you. I hope you're right. Thank you. That's impossible! I, I don't understand. Soren said the Formidabomb would destroy it, but it, it... It looks fine! What the...? Guys! Over here! No! No! Somebody help! Can't hold on! Next time on Minecraft Story Mode. Faced with a devastating defeat, our heroes will have to search deep within themselves in order to rise above tragedy, <sighs> heal broken friendships, untangle bitter rivalries, and find the strength to make one last stand against the storm. Previously on Minecraft Story Mode. Everything in the universe starts out as just a block. What comes of those blocks is up to those who weave them. And in every block, there lies the potential to create or destroy. Our friends have traveled far and wide in search of the Order of the Stone. And a way to stop the Wither Storm for good. 
but even well-laid plans can go awry. The strong can grow weak. And beloved heroes can fall. And though some glimmer of hope may remain, the threat to this world, to its very existence, is far from over. On. What is all this? What's that awful smell? Are you okay? I, I have no idea. Who are you? Jesse! Jesse! Where are you? Say something, Jesse! You gotta go! Pronto! We're over here! No way! No way! You found Gabriel? Who's Gabriel? We need to get out of here now. This way. Jesse, you made it. And Gabriel? Did you say Gabriel? Look out! Those Endermen are running the wrong way! They'll be killed! Soren? I can't stand by and watch! I'd be condemning them to death! Stop staring and get a move on! Well, I can't just abandon them, not after a lifetime of study. Your head's gonna be abandoning your body if you don't turn around and run! <laughs> Jesse! They're falling behind! Axel, you gotta move faster! She's too sick. This is the best we can do. They're not gonna be able to outrun it. Not on foot! We gotta find a way to move faster. We're all gonna be caught in the tractor beam. We just need to get them moving faster. Bingo! Everybody, get on! Jesse, we got this. We'll take the reins, and they can just hang on. I've got Petra! Then I'll take Gabriel. Hold on, this might be a bumpy ride. Come on, horses! Whatever you do, don't look back. Ah! I looked. Everyone follow me! This Jesse, is the worst look ride out. of my life! Axel, stop backseat steering! I can't help it, I'm getting horse sick. It's gaining on us! No offense, but you can use a little practice. First time on a horse here. Watch it! You trying to knock me off this thing, Jesse? Sorry.
meteorite over that bridge. Oh no! Jesse, look out! Enderman! They're slowing it down! Am I seeing Enderman attack the Wither Storm? Enderman move blocks. It's what they do. Guys, come on! We gotta build a new one, like right now. Come on, faster! We need more blocks. I got some. Yeehaw! Woo! Oh, Axel, you're screaming in my ear. Sorry. We made it. We actually freaking made it. Jesse, Gabriel was saying some pretty weird stuff back on that horse. He might have wither sickness. I don't know. You never acted the way he's been acting. I'll go talk to him. Hey, how are you feeling? I, I'm afraid I don't feel much like myself at the moment. Gabriel! It really is you! Oh, I knew if anybody could outrun death, it would be you. Uh, who are you people? It's me, Eligard. Come on. Old friend, don't you recognize us? It's Soren. We've known each other for a very long time. The Witherstorm did something to him. You mean that thing we just rode on? No, that was a horse. What a terrible turn of events. You! You're the one who rescued me! Tell me, please, what is going on? I remember only blackness. And then, suddenly you were there. And then we were galloping. Up until a little while ago, we all thought that you were... you know... <gasps> it was dark and foul. I was sure I was a goner. Well, you aren't. You made it back alive. Which is more than I can say for some of us. Magnus. For a second there, I almost managed to forget. You guys talking about Magnus? I still can't believe he's gone. How? How could this have happened? To lose not just a friend, but a member of the Order of the Stone! He knew the risks, and still he let me take his armor. He was so brave. He was also incredibly stupid, but still, so brave. Ma! Ah! Being emotional is getting us nowhere! What I want to know is, what happened out there today? Why is that thing still alive? My instructions were simple. You were the one in the middle of everything. What went wrong? The Formidabomb just wasn't strong enough. I mean, it ripped the Witherstorm apart, but it didn't make a dent in the command block. So the command block is still out there? Of course it is. Oh, great. And now, to make matters worse, we've gone from one Witherstorm to three. Our plan was a total failure. I should have cast the foul thing into the abyss. Why didn't I destroy that cursed block ages ago? So, is the command block controlling all three Witherstorms? Oh, why are you asking me? Am I expected to know every last thing in the universe? <sighs> I need a moment to think. Is he always like this? You have no idea. That jacket! I recognize it! Lucas always wears that jacket. There were other people wearing that very same jacket when I was thrown from the monster. Ugh. It hurts just to think about. Just put it out of your mind. Jesse, if what Gabriel said is true... I mean, do you think? I thought for sure they were gone, but if they were just trapped in the Wither Storm... Lucas, your friends could still be out there! I know, and that means I... I gotta go after them. They might need me, Jesse. Whoa. I suddenly feel really dizzy. Easy, easy. I gotcha.
Petra, how are you doing? You look terrible, Petra. Your skin is, like, almost gray. Hey, way to not sugarcoat it. I feel even worse than I look. Man, if it wasn't for Ivor, she wouldn't even be like this. Ah, no kidding. That's not exactly true. Ivor built the Wither, sure, but he couldn't have done it without that skull I gave him. If I'd just taken a second to think about it, that all I cared about was getting that stupid diamond. This isn't your fault. It's Ivor's. Who wouldn't do something stupid for a diamond? But without my help, Ivor wouldn't have... Wouldn't have wanted revenge on Gabriel? Believe me, he would have found another way. Still, I'm gonna do everything I can. Petra, I know this isn't easy to hear, but you're too sick to be going anywhere. I'm not that sick. Maybe you should rest in this cave for a while. I mean, it's safe, defensible. If I say I'm fine, then I'm <coughs> fine. If you try to keep going, I'm afraid you're not going to make it. No, no way. I'm not a quitter. We're not saying you are. I can do this, guys. You staying here is the right move. You'll never get better if we keep pushing you. But I want to be there for you guys. I know you do, and you will. Maybe you're right. It's the right call, Jesse. I hope so. Gravel? No. Dirt? <clears throat> Don't think so. <sighs> Hey, buddy. You doing okay? Of course you are. Wish I could say the same for everyone else. Some leftover cobblestone might come in handy. Not gonna lie, but we've dealt with worse, right? Have we? How's it going? Tell me, Jesse, who is this person? She keeps insulting me. One minute I think I'm talking to a friend, the next I'm being made fun of. That right there is Eligard. Ellie to you. Eligard, hmm? And how do I know her exactly? I sense we have a history, but I feel I need a little reminder. You guys defeated the Ender Dragon together, the most fearsome creature this land has ever seen. Really? Yeah, really! You're kind of a big deal. It isn't working. He doesn't remember anything. Talk to him about your past, something only you would know about. Hmm. Like what? We haven't seen each other for so long. I don't know what would even help. Talk about fighting the Ender Dragon. I don't think so. I told that story way too many times. Which is why it might help. Ah, <sighs> okay, fine. Ender Dragon, scariest thing alive, right? Well, for most of the battle, it looked like we were goners. But you know who finally slayed that beast? Um, was it Jesse? What? No! It was you, Gabriel. You slayed it. Oh. Thank you for sharing that with me. And Jesse, thank you too. You've been a big help here. I, uh, I need to repay your kindness. I'm not sure how exactly, but I want to express my gratitude. It's no problem. I'd have done it for anyone. All the same, you have my thanks. Now then, tell me more about this Ender Dragon. Oh, I'm not even sure where to start. you came along. Just don't tell Reuben I said that. He might get jealous. Lucas, what are you doing? I told you. I'm going after my friends. I thought the other ocelots were dead. But if they're not, I need to go find them. Look, I am grateful to you guys for bringing me this far. But I can't leave them alone out there. Not with three wither storms raging. You're right, they do need you. And the best way to help them is to help us beat that monster. 
That sounds right, but it just doesn't feel right, Jesse. Lucas. Look, you and me, we've made a pretty good team so far. I'd even call us friends. So I hope you'll understand why I need to go help my old friends. They do it for me. Same way you'd go back for any of your friends. But we are helping them. Saving the world saves them too. Isn't that just... kind of abstract? No. The number one thing you can do for them is to make sure we defeat those wither storms. I... I guess you got a point. Okay. I'll stay. I just... I just really hope they're all right. Thanks. <laughs> Sorry, Ruben. I don't really feel like company. <laughs> Ruben! Understand? <laughs> yeah, I know you've run off before, but things are different now. We've lost too many people already. The world needs us, Reuben. So much of it has already been reduced to bedrock, and it's up to us to save the rest of it. <laughs> well, maybe that is a lot of pressure for just a person and a pig, but we have to find a way. That's what I said. It about the past. It's about the future. There are three of those things now. You say that like it's my fault. It is your fault. Oh, take responsibility for once, Soren. Soren, you need to listen to me. Oh, what good has ever come of that? What are you doing here, Ivor? Come to lock me in another room? I came to offer my help. Ha! Huh. He's been following us. It's not like that. You need to hear me out. What you don't understand is, you are all in very grave danger. <laughs> Obviously! No, I mean specifically this group. The Witherstorm isn't acting randomly. It's following Gabriel. Gabriel? You see, I may have programmed it to follow his amulet. You mean, the Order's amulet? Yes, Soren. That amulet! Oh, don't be so dramatic. Did you also know I was the one he gave the amulet to? What? I... I didn't know. Ah, oh, Ivor, you fool. You've created a monster that's following Jesse, and it's only getting stronger. You don't think I realize that? Nothing can stop those things! Nothing even hurts them! Well... Except Enderman. Enderman? Jesse's right! The Wither's gaze passed over them, and they went wild. If I hadn't seen it with my own eyes... We actually just saw a bunch of Endermen pull blocks off a Witherstorm. So... So, enough of them working together might be able to destroy a Witherstorm entirely. It's a promising concept, at least in theory. If I'm seeing all the pieces correctly. But to actually destroy a Witherstorm, we'd need hundreds of them. There's probably more than enough of them taking refuge in my fortress. An unintended side effect of you flooding the end. This is just like the old days, Soren. You and your crazy ideas... Hush, Ivor, for once! Ugh! The question is, how to bring the Storms and the Endermen together? Endermen aren't pets. They don't follow orders. At least, not for mere mortals. The Witherstorms are already chasing us. If we just get them to chase us to your fortress again... Yes! Yes, that's it! They'll be caught between a rock and a hard place! If we can't bring the Endermen to the Witherstorms, we bring the Witherstorms to the Endermen. Just one problem. 
You're forgetting about the command block. Oh, yes. It's clear now that no weapon can destroy it. Not even a formidable. Actually, I may have a solution to that. You see, when I first took possession of the command block... You mean, stole it? Yes, well, I created a failsafe. A backup plan, just in case. Well, I'd say just in case is here. And I'm inclined to agree. What kind of failsafe exactly? An enchanting book. One that contains the power of the command block itself. Use it to enchant a weapon, and you'll be able to smash the command block to bits. Forever. Yes. Yes, that's it. It could very well solve all our problems. What are we waiting for? Let's go get that book. Just one problem. It's at my secret lab, which is sort of far away. How far could it possibly be? Let's just say it's the farthest place a person can travel before being utterly... Oh dear, what was that? us so quickly we're not safe anywhere are we well we can't stand around and wait for it so what do we do we need to get out of here right now Ivor says that if we don't that thing will Ivor well I'll be it is you a pleasure as always Eligard hello my name is Gabriel somebody pinch me Anyway, Ivor's figured out that Witherstorms are drawn to the amulet, so we're gonna lure them back to Soren's fortress and destroy the command block with an enchanted super weapon. You figured all that out just now? The point is we need to get moving. We aren't safe. Not as long as we have that amulet. I'll take it. You can't. I can, and I have to. But you could be killed. We all could, Olivia. Axel, thank you. Yeah, I haven't actually done it yet. Still, I am so proud to call you my friend. Same here, Jesse. You just go make that super weapon. I'll meet you back at Soren's fortress. Well, Axel shouldn't have to do this alone. I'm going with him. I appreciate that. Well, I'm going with Jesse. I pledge to help, and that's what I must do. My friends are still out there somewhere. You must do this for them. Everyone, take good care of yourselves. You too. Hey, Jesse. Let's try our handshake again, just once for the road. The redstone wrap? You got it. Oh, well. Real heroes don't need handshakes anyway. I'll see you at Soren's, all right? Not if I see you first. Unless you have a mine cart. everyone onward that's really not necessary I'm just trying to be encouraging
no, no, we are not there yet. is profoundly sore. Huh. I feel like we've been riding forever. I am telling you, we cannot go to the Far Lands. They're not just the edge of our world, but the limits of our comprehension. Oh, please. The Far Lands are a happy accident. Nature's way of keeping life interesting. No, no, no. They are perilous and unpredictable. Pearl in noise, floating points. These are not matters to be toyed with. Why are you so down on the Far Lands, Soren? They sound cool. See? Jesse thinks the Far Lands are cool. The Far Lands lie at the very edge of all things, where logic gives way to chaos. They're a dangerous place to visit, and a ridiculous place to construct a laboratory. <laughs> Just wait until you see it. Do those two never stop arguing? I don't know. I'm too hungry to care. Yeah, I'm starving. We all are. Maybe we should turn back? This isn't the time. Swamps are too dangerous. You never know what might be lurking around. What was that? My stomach. All right, let's just rest for a minute. Everyone's hungry, and we could use a breather. We mustn't linger long. The Far Lands are just beyond this swamp. So this could be our last chance to find food? <laughs> Potato, you're coming with me. Not much, but it'll help. Like they say, two potatoes is better than one. I think they say that. Hey, Jesse, have you found any food? I should probably take what I have back to the group. Witches hate trespassers. Besides, there are plenty of potatoes around. Is that a witch? Jesse, we shouldn't be here. Witches are very strong. And they know these swamps far better than I. Ivor, I can't pass this up. I need you to watch my back, okay? I'm telling you, this is a bad idea. I'll keep watch. Just be quick about it. An entire cake. Nice! A potion of leaping. Cool! Ivor. What? I thought he was with you. I don't know. He disappeared outside the witch's hut. Curse that fool of a man. Come on!
Guys, I think we lost them for... Wow! I see your wow and raise you a... It's like we're at the edge of the world. Actually, we seem to be at the corner of it. Welcome to the Far Lands, my friend. I'm glad Jesse snagged this cake. Makes the whole wall of insanity thing a lot easier to face. Say what you like about witches. They sure know how to make a cake. Hmm. Quite a sight, isn't it? Stretching skyward in all its glory, like a monument to chaos itself. Soren, have you been here before? Not here specifically, but I have visited the Farlands. The Order traveled far and wide during our heyday. Incredible. You can say that again. Incredible. My fault. Should have seen that coming. How can Ivor live here? I mean... It's one thing to build a wool world inside the end, but this... Oh, I doubt he lives here. He most likely comes here only for his most secretive research. Whatever Ivor is hiding in here, it will be extremely well guarded. This way, I suspect. I'd feel better about this if Axel and Petra were here. I know what you mean. Come on! Is this... a maze? It would appear so. A massive one from the looks of it. If Ivor used the command block to build this, it could hold unspeakable peril. So, maybe we should not just wander into the world's hardest maze without a guide. Unfortunately, this seems to be the only way forward. There has to be another way. A secret door, or, I don't know, some way around. We followed Ivor to the Far Lands. We might as well keep going. Here we go, into another dungeon of doom. is one of the coolest things I have ever seen. The Far Lands may be perilous, but they are indisputably fascinating. We should probably keep moving. Guys, looks like this is a... Jesse! <laughs> There's too many! We can't fight them all! Everyone, back! Guys, climb the vines! Well, that worked, I suppose. Yeah, I guess. Yeah, but now what? We're all separated. Let's just head that way and find a place where the pads connect. Sure hope they don't get lost in there. I hope I don't get lost in there.
Yikes! Shoot! You have got to be kidding me. Olivia! see a way across. Looks like Ivor kept some redstone dust handy. And a slime ball. Pistons. I wonder what this thing's supposed to be. Hello? Anyone? Olivia, is that you? Jesse, there you are. <coughs> I thought I'd never find you. All those dead ends back there. Am I glad to see you guys? Us too. I thought Reuben and I would be lost in here forever. <coughs> this maze? We don't have time for this. Who even knows where the others are by now? I mean, the clock's ticking here, Jesse. Yet we're lost in some elaborate puzzle. Well, at least we're back together. Yes, the Dream Team reunited. <laughs> now the Dream Team's just gotta find a way across this gaping bottomless pit. What about this thing? Could it get us across? It's some kind of flying barge. It would probably get us to the other side, but it's in really bad shape. And it's really complicated. You can fix it though, right? I don't know. I think it's out of my league. I wish I'd had more time to study with Eligard. She could have fixed this thing right up. Come on, you'll figure it out. You know you always do. <sighs> Fine. I'll take a look. This layout doesn't even make any sense. What was Ivor thinking? Or maybe it's just me. I mean, Eligard herself said I don't have what it takes to be a great engineer. She was right, I just can't hack it. 
I might as well be a carrot farmer. So prove her wrong. Show the world what you're made of. Prove her wrong? Jesse, she's the greatest redstone engineer ever. She's in the Order of the Stone. Sure, but the Order are still people, just like us. Right, just like us. I mean, how are we the ones saving the world when even they don't have what it takes? Soren and Ivor are always at each other's throats. The greatest warrior in history doesn't remember his own name. None of them give Eligard any respect. And Magnus lost his life trying to fight this. If the Order can't do this, how are we supposed to? How are we supposed to do anything? We're nobody. The Order of the Nothing. All I know is the world is depending on us. And maybe the world is in trouble. I mean, they defeated an Ender Dragon. Can you name even one thing we've done right? And I don't mean managing to stay alive. Something that actually matters. Well, we won that building contest at Endercon. That was a contest, Jesse. Right, and the competition was stiff. Just think what we can do when there's nobody even watching. I like that way of looking at it. Ah, all right. I'll try it one more time. Wait a second. I think I see what he was trying to do. Jesse, take this piston, craft it into a sticky piston, then place it on the other side of the barge, along with a redstone block. You got all that? I think so. Okay, let's put the redstone block where it's supposed to go and place these pistons. Holy cow, we did it! We need flint and steel to get it started. I'm proud of you, Olivia. Thanks, Jesse. And thanks for everything you said just before. It really helped. No problemo. It must be this way! Run! Everybody get on! Quick, onto the barge! Jesse! That was close. Everyone okay? For the moment. I remember something. Didn't Eligard build a machine like this once? Yes, in the nether. <clears throat> and you were terrified of flying on it. What? Stuff and nonsense. <laughs> no, no, I'm positive. You spent the whole ride quivering in terror. Soren, is that true? Of course not. Ah. <laughs> well, I suppose I might be mistaken. Mm, I liked you better when you had amnesia. Well, that was exciting. Uh, by exciting, I assume you mean absurd and unnecessary. At least we made it. Let's go see what he's hiding in there.
So many books. We should be careful. This place could be booby-trapped. Let's just start looking for the enchanting book. Hey, Lucas, having any luck? No. I just... I've been thinking about other stuff, actually. Stuff such as... You know, Gabriel, the ocelots, people getting wither sickness and amnesia. <sighs> Don't get me wrong. I'm glad I came with you. I just... I'm just scared for everyone. For them. For us. For everybody, really. You're a good friend, Lucas. The fact that you're always thinking about others, it says a lot. Well, I like my friends. I guess that's why they're friends in the first place, right? Either that, or you like that they say nice things about you. <laughs> Ivor, on the other hand, I think his only friends were books. I guess being an angry loner leaves you a lot of time to read. <laughs> Tell me about it. How to train your slime, the various uses of mushroom stew, Potionology Volume 24? Are any of them the enchanting book? I don't think so. Olivia, any luck? Not really. Ivor has too many books, and there's too few of us looking. How did we end up all split up like this? I feel like we're spreading ourselves too thin. I miss how things used to be. That first night we all spent together, that was kind of fun, almost. Look, we might be spread thin, but we're all still a team. That's how teams work. Hey, you almost said teamwork. See, we're still funny. We can still get things done. I guess being split up just means we can be in more places at once, right? Kind of like the wither storm. Let's just forget that metaphor. Find anything yet? Huh, in this mess? Uh, it's as though Ivor learned nothing from my lectures on organizational methodology. If only he hadn't gotten lost in that confounded swamp. He could just tell us where the book is. Coming here was his idea. He should be here for it. He was just doing what I asked. It wasn't his fault we got separated, not really. Is that supposed to make me feel better? There's neither rhyme nor reason to how these books are stored. Finding anything here is impossible. Tedious, maybe. Impossible? No way. Fine, I will continue this monotonous search. But I reserve my right to grumble about it. It's a deal. Reuben, what are you doing? <coughs> yeah, well, you're gonna get yourself cooked. I've told you before, stay away from lava. Hey, Olivia, I think there's some redstone over here. Looks like a circuit. We probably just need a lever to power it. Too bad I don't have one. Yeah, no lever, no functioning circuit. Wood planks, those will be useful. This Ivor character, I'm recalling that he knew something about potions. Could one of these stop the wither monsters? I'm remembering correctly, am I not? We actually already tried that. I assume it was unsuccessful. Ivor's potions just aren't strong enough to undo this mess he created. Oh, I see. Potion of blindness, potion of dullness, potion of nausea. None of these will help me. Jesse, am I going to be all right? Or is this just who I am now? Always struggling to remember what I was, what I'm supposed to be. Of course you'll be okay. You're Gabriel the warrior. Thank you, Jesse. Your confidence in me is stronger than any potion. Except perhaps a potion of confidence. I wonder if he has one of those.
First, I'll need some sticks. Okay, got the sticks. There we go. Good old fashioned lever. Like it was made for it, which it was. Let's see what this sucker does. secret passage in a house nobody ever visits. More like, why wouldn't you? Secret passageways are cool. Good point. What the? Are you guys okay? We're fine, but the lever isn't working anymore. Stay there! We'll head down and see what we can find! Whoa! What is all this? Ha! Huh, incredible! He's gathered them all in one place! Gathered... what, exactly? The treasures of the Order of the Stone! Stories I could tell about these dusty old things. I don't see any enchanting books, though. Maybe through there? Uh, locked, of course. There must be some way to open it. These gas tiers, they're super hard to get. You don't know the half of it. It was our first official mission as the Order of the Stone. We fought those ghasts for hours, and these tears were our reward. Wow. Jesse, what are you doing? Uh, taking this really cool, rare item? We might need it to unlock that door. Uh, very well. Just be careful with it. See? So where'd this packed ice come from? Well, we brought it back from the Ice Plains Spikes biome. It was colder there than anywhere we'd ever been, but <laughs> Magnus slipped so many times our laughter kept us warm. After that, we knew we were ready to face the Ender Dragon. Ooh, cold and slippery! These are prismarine crystals. You can only get these underwater, right? Precisely. We nearly ran out of oxygen getting these. <laughs> Eligard had to use a spare bucket just to grab a few extra breaths. We used most of these to craft a sea lantern. This is all that remained. Prismarine is such a cool word. Prismarine. Am I crazy or is this a sea lantern? Ah, the very same one the Order built. All those years ago, oh, we were so green back then. It looks just as bright as on the day we crafted it. A sea lantern, huh? Soren, is this the actual Ender Dragon egg? Huh, alas, yes. The only thing that remains of our final adventure together. No way I'm leaving this behind. Why is Ivor hiding a hopper in his basement? Huh, five slots. Gassed tears. 
Rangers. Let's try them here. Prismarine crystals. Into the hopper. A sea lantern. In you go. Packed ice. Let's put it here. Yes! You solved it! But how in the world did you know what order to put them in? There were 120 possible combinations! Everything I needed was in your stories. Nice work, Jesse. You know, I often give Ivor a hard time, but for all his complaining, his time with the Order clearly meant a great deal to him. Yeah, I guess so. Anyway, let's go get that enchanting book. By the stars, the Ender Dragon, with replica Ender Crystals and all. Wow. I always wondered what it looked like. Hmm, no way out. Soren, what's this thing supposed to be? It appears to be an homage to our battle with the Ender Dragon. Despite his anger, Ivor never stopped being fond of us. <laughs> he was a big part of our team, after all. He knows his days in the Order were his finest. This is the same Ender Dragon you and the Order of the Stone defeated, right? <laughs> no, Jesse. It's just a model. Right, that's my point. If you tell me about the battle, it could help me solve the puzzle. Ah, <sighs> if only you'd been there. It was a fight for the ages. We'd spent weeks preparing for our greatest battle ever. <laughs> So, the Ender Dragon was stronger than even I had imagined. I realized that it was drawing strength from the Ender Crystals, and that the crystals had to be destroyed. I hit the first with a perfectly placed arrow. The second I destroyed by launching myself on the shockwave of Magnus's TNT. Using only my strength and my wiles, I steered the foul beast toward the third crystal. I flew the dragon directly toward the final crystal. Wow. Only then did Gabriel deliver his famous final blow. Yeah. We became heroes, and eventually, legends. The greatest the world has ever known. Soren, you are so full of it. Why would you say that? For starters, because you're afraid of flying. Ah, oh, okay, but on barges, not dragons. And besides, you made it sound like you were the only one who mattered. I was the leader. Believe you me. Whatever. I wonder if that story will help me solve this puzzle. So Soren rode the dragon, huh? Interesting. Aha! Uh -huh. There's another door? Ruben, do you know what to do here? Oh, uh, well, it was worth a shot. Hey, Ruben, give me a boost, will ya? Aha! But it did all happen like Soren 
said. Bravo! You did it! There's the book. Wait, aren't those the Ender Crystals? Like, the real ones? No, it, it can't be. Not here. Not after all this time. But those things were destroyed in your big, heroic battle with the Ender Dragon, right, Sora? He kept them. The fool actually kept them. He looked me in the eye and swore he was going to dispose of them. Sorin, you said destroying these crystals was the key to defeating the Ender Dragon. You did kill the Ender Dragon, right? Jesse, this isn't... this isn't what it looks like. Our story, uh, the story, it, it's mostly true. I swear, I swear it. Whatever you're thinking, I promise I can explain. Soren, have you been lying all this time? No, no! Not exactly. I'm afraid I haven't been honest with you, Jesse. We did defeat the Ender Dragon, but it, it wasn't exactly like I said. How not exactly? We got rid of it, but we didn't kill it, per se. In fact, we didn't even fight it. We didn't even try. So what did you do to it? We didn't do anything. We used that damned command block. You used the command block to defeat the Ender Dragon? I'm afraid so. I knew your story didn't add up. Understand. When I found that blasted block, we were nobodies. But with its help, we became stronger. Faster, we could do so much more. The others had no idea what I was doing. Yet the more I used it, the more we came to depend on it. I knew it was only so long before someone would find out. So, I concocted a plan. I would use the command block to blink the Ender Dragon out of existence. Securing our status as legends, forever. We told the world we defeated the dragon. And the rest is history. Soren, you cheated. You, you worse than cheated. You're a fraud. Believe me. I know. So you finally admit it. Soren, how could you? Ivor. How long have you guys been standing there? Long enough that they heard the whole thing. So we're liars. All of us. Yeah, I think you are. You didn't think you could keep it secret forever, did you, Soren? The truth hurts, doesn't it? But Ivor, why? Is this why you left the Order? Because Soren lied? Because they all did. Soren, Gabriel, Magnus, Eligard, they agreed to keep this a secret. How conniving of us. And you, you agreed to stay quiet too in exchange for all of our treasures. <gasps> I've technically never told anybody. Jesse discovered the truth on his own. So this whole thing, this wither you unleashed, has all been to teach the Order a lesson? To teach the world a lesson. To show you who the Order really are. Liars, cowards. And now, they know. Yes. I suppose they do. Well, it worked. And we know the truth. And if we don't deal with that wither storm that you created, Ivor, none of it will matter. Look, my wither plan obviously backfired. You think? I didn't know we'd end up with three of those things tearing the world apart. For a moment, 
I nearly forgot. Which brings us back to why we're here. We need to destroy that command block. Like now! Jesse's right. Destroying the command block is all that matters anymore. How ironic that the best thing the command block gave us was the very means to destroy it. Spare us the poetry. It's not your strong suit. I've had this book for years. Never thought I'd actually have to use it. Let's just get on with this thing and put that enchanting book to work. Agreed. Just follow me. I'll show you what to do. Ivor? I'm sorry. About everything. Yes, well... It doesn't matter now. Grab some ingredients and craft a weapon. I'll show you how to enchant it. Sweet. Let's see what Ivor's got in here. Let's see, there's a bunch of crafting stuff and... Diamond score! <laughs> So, an axe. Guess I could craft another sword. Awesome! I've never owned a diamond weapon! Just wait till you enchant it! Let's see what this enchanting book is made of. Behold! My enchanted diamond sword! Yes, that should do the job nicely. But if you're fighting those wither monsters head on, you'll want better armor too. I enchanted these for the order. They're about as strong as it comes. Even able to withstand TNT! Any preference? I have eight different sets to choose from. And believe me, they're all excellent. You won't go wrong, whatever you choose. All right, let me take a look at them. It's all quite durable and sturdy. All right, this is the set. Yes, a fine choice. Now go ahead and put it on. for action. You can take some for your friends as well. Sounds good to me. Wow, cool armor, Jesse. Thanks. And there's plenty to go around. Now let's get back to Soren's fortress and see how the Witherstorms are doing against those Endermen. the Endermen have dismantled those things by now? Or am I just confused? It's not just you. Something's wrong. Jesse, over here! Axel! You guys made it! Nice freaking armor, by the way. Makes you all a lot easier to look at. Good to see you too, Axel. Axel, the cavalry has arrived. Or is it the cavalry have arrived? Eh, whatever. The Endermen, they're not angry enough. I mean, some of them are, but a lot of them are just standing around moving blocks. You know, being Endermen. Ah, oh, They've kept the main weather storm busy, but one of the smaller ones started attacking us. Me and Eligard ran off to fight that day, all by herself. She's fighting a weather storm? Alone? Yep, kept saying something about paying for the mistakes of the past, whatever that means. If a fellow member of the Order of the... of the, uh... Order of the Stone? ...is out there fighting, then I belong out there too. Gabriel, no, no, I told you you're not who you think you are. My name is Gabriel the Warrior. And he's running the wrong way. Oh, for goodness sake. 
I'm not letting that idiot get himself killed! Gabriel! Come back here! <sighs> Without the command block, none of them stands a chance. Say what now? Why do they need the command block? They're frauds, the whole order. What? It's kind of a long story. One we don't have time for right now. Fine. Hey, uh, you guys didn't check on Petra, did you? No, we came straight here. She's still in that cave. I hope she's all right. She will be as long as we destroy the command block. So what's the plan? I mean, I know we gotta go in there, but... We just go for it, or what? Let's just go finish this. I don't suppose you happen to bring me any of that cool armor, did you? I think I'd let you fight in that? Here. Nice! I was feeling a little left out. Guys, let's go kick some command block butt. See the command block? We need to get more Endermen focused on the Wither Star! How do you make Endermen focus? I can't even make myself focus. We, we shouldn't be here. None of this is going according to plan. Soren, what are you doing? I, uh, you know, I've, I've really enjoyed meeting you all, but... Soren! Did Soren just run away? Soren, come back here! Dude, what a chicken! So much for the mighty Order of the Stone. Doesn't matter. We have work to do. We need to get those Endermen to attack it! The tractor beam! Jesse, that's it! Make them chase you into the tractor beam! How do you like that, you purple-eyed freak? <laughs> yes, they're falling for it! Snowballs? Yeah, I found them near the cave. Here. All right, let's see how you like this. Uh oh. Come and get me. Ruben, can you give me a little help? Nice one, Ruben. need to find you a way up. Or build you a way up. That's it. E everyone, empty your pockets. Let's see. 
We've got redstone and cobblestone from Ivor's armory. I have fireworks and TNT from Boomtown. I've got pistons, repeaters, some leftover slime from the maze. I have some wool from Soren's place. Oh. And I still have that mine cart. That's gotta be enough to make something, right? I mean, if we use the TNT on, say... A mine cart. Or those pistons. And we do have all that cobblestone. Maybe we could build a ramp? Or even go straight up vertically. Or find a way to use redstone. We're close to an answer. I can feel it. Wait. We don't have to build anything. Say what? I took a potion of leaping from the witch's hut. Really? Then drink it. Jesse, look out! Ah! Whoa! Lucas, I need a hand here. I could do better than that. Hey, Witherstorm! Over here! Fireworks! Good thinking, Lucas! Eyes on me, you great big bully! How do you feel? Like I want to jump up and down. On a nice, calm savanna or something? Jesse, I know you can do this. We all do. Thanks, guys. It means a lot. Now go demolish that command block. Here goes nothing. Ruben, what are you doing? Ah! Shouldn't have surprised me like that. On the other hand, I'm kind of glad not to be alone right here. Just stay close, okay? Whoa, I recognize these people. Weapon, don't fail me now.
I thought I told you to stay put. Jesse, are you all right? We thought you were... I mean, I didn't think he'd made it. Reuben! Where's Reuben? I thought he was with you! You did it, Jesse! You actually did it! Hey, do you guys hear something? Reuben! something. It's okay, boy. I'm here. I'm here. Jesse, I am... I am so sorry.
People used to look at me like that once, Jesse. Having my memory restored has been both a blessing and a curse. Perhaps they deserve to know the truth about the Order. All those lies we told them. Maybe I should finally come clean. Don't tell them, Gabriel. Just let them have their legend. We all owe a great debt to Jesse and his friends. But I owe a debt to you people as well. Which is why... There is something I want to tell you. About the Order. We may have defeated the Ender Dragon, but that is nothing compared to what these heroes did. They took down a Witherstorm! They are a new generation of heroes! Thank you. Thank you, everyone. I know you think I'm up here because I saved the world or something, but the truth is I didn't do it alone. Far from it. You see, I, I also had my pig, Reuben. He may have seemed just like any old pig, but... He was my best friend, my most loyal companion. I'll really miss the little guy. We all will. Anyway, it's crazy to think my friends and I started out in a treehouse, and now we've been to some of the weirdest places in the world. I mean, come on, we went to the Far Lands. There was this gigantic wall and a huge maze and a model of the Ender Dragon that... Well, you just had to be there. But when all was said and done, you know what really mattered? Reuniting the Order. Because for all their strengths and weaknesses, they were the only mentors we had. For the Order! Jesse, this nether star is all that remained when the Witherstorm was destroyed. Would you please do the honors? This is gonna be so cool. to introduce to you the new Order of the Stone! And so it was that a new Order of the Stone was born. One whose adventures were only just beginning. For though the world had been saved, and the command block destroyed, there are many more worlds than just this one.
Check this out. And three, two, one, pop! <laughs> Pretty cool, right? You can try it too Duck! if you can. Pretty good at this. You guys are working way too hard. You're always looking to one up us, aren't you? One seriously cool temple. Yeah, points for Ivor, I guess. This was a good tip. Well, Jesse? So, are we doing this? I think Jesse's just taking it all in. Order of the Stone, it's time to get some glory. For, for glory! glory! I know we all yelled glory out there, but I'm not gonna lie to you. I was hoping for treasure. Come on, you know how these places work. The treasure's never just out in the open. Let's fan out and search the place. Again. I would have been disappointed if the floor didn't open up into a dark, creepy passageway. This kind of reminds me of when we first found the Order's Temple. We were such a scared bunch of noobs back then. Hey, I wasn't scared. No. Then who was it that was yelling, Help me! Help me! The dispensers are trying to kill me! Ha! <laughs> yeah! We were all totally unprepared. It's crazy we didn't die. Men to think. That was just the beginning. Yeah, and that was before we'd fought Wither Storms, hung out with Enderman, reunited the Order. So crazy. Bingo! All right, let's see what we've got. Reminds me of that time when you got a cake from that witch's hut, and I was super jealous of you. It's just, I really love cake. My mouth is practically watering just looking at it. Hey, if you want it, it's all you. Oh man, oh man, oh man, thank you. Huh, a pumpkin, not bad. I suppose that could be useful if we run into Enderman. And looks like we've got one more thing in here, it's...
What did you find? What are you guys talking about? Whoa, that's super cool. I've never seen flint and steel like that before. I'll be honest with you, Olivia. I have no idea what this is, or what it does. Uh, I do. A uh, burning stuff, right? I mean, but it must do something besides that, right? You could give it a shot and find out. Okay, flint and steel, do your thing. Well, I have definitely never seen flint and steel do that before. Uh-oh. like some monsters have a death wish. So what's the plan? If you ask me, it seems like a good time for a secret handshake. Yeah, so let's use the redstone wrap. Obviously. Uh, I think you mean the warrior whip? Obviously. Oh, come on. It was my idea. Let's do the grief for grab. Olivia, prep the redstone wrap. Nearly there. Okay, activate it. <laughs> Good job, Jesse. Worked perfectly. Whoa, you so gotta teach me how to make one of those. Yeah, pretty spectacular. I tell you guys, doing that never gets old. Woo! Yeah, not too bad. Killing a bunch of monsters, getting sweet treasure. Like that flint and steel thing? You gotta try it again. I'd be curious to see it again, too. I'm dying to know how it works. I'm good. You can give it a shot, though. <laughs> Well, well. Where'd you get the new toy? Order of the losers. Yeah, losers. Ugh, who let you guys out of your cave? Joke's on you, we don't live in a cave. Shut up, you idiot. Well, well, well. If it isn't Aiden and the Pussycats. That's not our name. So what are you... Ocelots doing here anyway. The Ocelots were Lucas's gang. We ditched that name just like we ditched him. Yeah, we rebranded. We're the Blaze Rods now. Blaze Rods! Shut up, Gil. Sorry, boss. Don't do it again. Oh, uh, that's too bad. I thought Ocelots was way cooler. That's what I said. Shut up, Gil. And where's Lucas, huh? The minute the Order decided you were cool... For whatever reason... ...you wouldn't stop sniffing around you like a tame dog. You take that back! Hmm... no. Hey, Lucas is ten times the guy you are. 
Or he's a whiny dingus. Petra, just ignore it. They don't know what they're talking about. Lucas is our friend, Jesse. No one talks about our friends like that. You probably think that thing makes you so special. Classic Jesse. You take all the best stuff and never give anyone else a chance. That should have been ours. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Blaze Rods. There's no shame in being second-rate eight. Not everyone can do what the Order of the Stone can. <laughs> well, that's, that's just what I expect from someone as small-minded as you, Jesse. Hand over the flint and steel, Jesse. Don't make me ask again. You don't get that one. It's supposed to be mine. Haven't you taken enough? <gasps> Some hero you are, Jesse. <sighs> Fine. What hope do we have when heroes like you are throwing your weight around like this? It's not always going to be this way, though. Come on, you guys. Let's get out of here. Blaze Rod! Ooh, told you to shut up! Look out, Jesse. I don't remember him being that angry before. Wow, us being the new Order of the Stone is really getting to that guy. He's gone crazy. We should be careful. He seems different, scarier. Man, and all because he wanted that flint and steel. What are you gonna do with it? Ivor's the one that told us about this temple. He might know something about it. Hopefully Ivor can tell us more about it. Finally starting to recognize stuff again. Feels good to almost be home. Cheers to that, friend. I just can't shake what Aiden was saying about us back there. We do get a lot of treasure. And I guess sometimes we might throw our weight around. What? No. Aiden's got a bad case of treasure envy, pure and simple. I don't know. Come on, Aiden's just jealous. Isn't that obvious? He sees us with our fancy armor, cool treasure, and he wishes he had it too. I guess so. Well, no matter what Aiden thinks, there's one thing I know. What's that? They think we're awesome. They're back! You guys, they're back! Run! Tell everyone that our heroes have returned! <laughs> yep, New Order of the Stone is back in town. Pretty sure that means it's time to party! Yes, yeah, Jesse! You're my favorite order member! Welcome back! See that? Jesse high-fived me! Me! It actually hurt a little bit. Happy to see us scream. Wow, that's new. It somehow manages to evoke skulls and tentacles. While still doing the whole barfing lava thing. Yeesh. I don't know, I think it's kind of cool looking. Wow, that is one epic build with the lava. Yeah, yeah, in the skull motif. Awesome. awesome. I will never understand your taste. Not my fault. Look out! Oh, uh, help! Oh, stop your whining! What are your pathetic injuries in comparison to my majestic tower? Ivor? <sighs> of course. Oh, Jesse! You're back! Don't listen to a word these fools tell you! It's a fire hazard! And your face is an ugly hazard! So I suppose we're even. Man, Ivor, this is really cool. Well, thank you, Jesse. So good to finally see someone with some vision. Jesse, seriously? You can't let him keep this up. Jesse, all I wanted was what any man wants. 
A little house of my own, with loads of lava pouring off it. Ivor, I know you mean well, but your house wants to kill people. Dude, you made a killer house. Exactly! Killer! Shut up. Sorry, but Ivor is right. People have got to be free to build. <gasps> but that's so irresponsible. Well, we have to tear it down. We can't let that monstrosity stand. It's my house, Jesse. I have just as much a right to build something as all these people, don't I? They're just jealous that I've got vision. Well, they've got... they've got... community planning. Blech! Ivor obviously put a lot of work into his new house. We need to show it the same respect that we would show a house not dripping with lava and leave it. I'm sure we can find a way to work around it, okay? Long live my lava house. Long live lava! Thanks, Jesse! That's right. Keep walking. Keep walking! Always nice to see a gracious winner. Ha ha. Haven't seen you around in a while. So what can I do for you, Jesse? Ivor, we found something in that temple you told us about. What? You did? <laughs> yes! Great to see you again! Let's do lunch! I'll bring the carrots! There's no telling who's listening. Meet me in the treasure room. Ten minutes. And bring the thing you found! <laughs> well, if we're going to keep that thing up, we should at least encase the lava in some glass to make it safer. But, like, not too safe. Come on, help me collect some sand. And you can make sure that when we make it into glass, it's the right amount of safe. Okay. We'll catch up with you later. Yeah, once we make sure this art gets the respect it deserves. Right, what he said. Nice work today, guys. Yeah, not bad, right? Mm, it's like we should do this more often or something. Later, guys! Come on, let's go find Ivor. Wow, this place is really shaping up. Whoa! Lucas! I don't believe it! Oh, hey guys! You have some pretty cool stuff in here. Crazy stuff. <laughs> yeah, no doubt. Hey, Lucas, great to see you. It's been a while. I really missed you guys. Well, we missed you too. And you have so many other treasures. Boy, you've sure been busy. Oh, wow. You framed it. I'm him. Yeah. How are you doing? I really, really miss him. Every morning I wake up and just for a minute I can pretend that he's just in another room or rooting around outside looking for carrots. And then every morning I get to remember all over that he's gone. I'm so sorry. <sighs> okay, guys. I promise I wasn't just here to bum everybody out. I actually came back because I need to tell you something. It's about this weird run-in I had with Aiden. Ugh, I hate that guy. Whatever you said or did, it really got to him. Man, he's such a jerk. I mean, he never stops. He's just been so jealous of you and the rest of the Order ever since you saved the world from the Witherstorm. He's convinced that he was supposed to be a hero. Ever since he took over the Ocelot and the Blaze Rods, it just seems like he's gotten meaner. He's pushing Maya and Gil around. Aiden's a stupid bully. He doesn't scare me. Yeah, that's what I used to say, too. But he's been freaking me out lately. He got super aggressive. He demanded to know what treasure you were after next. So what'd you find that got Aiden so excited, anyway? Check it out. Wow. What a weird glow. Yeah, I know. I'm supposed to show it to... You found it! Yeah! No! Dude, what's wrong with you? This is the greatest find of our time. I can't believe you're actually... 
that you're actually holding this. Okay, Spill, what's it do? It proves what I've always suspected. That glow, that enchantment, is the work of a very old group of builders. A group so old that they existed even before the Order of the Stone. Whoa. Yeah. Dramatic. Right? Wow, I didn't know there was a time before the Order of the Stone. It's incredible, isn't it? I haven't even gotten to the best part! You see, if these builders truly existed, and if you found their temple, that means we're one step closer to finding the Eversource! What a beautiful sight! Looks like you came back just in time, Lucas. More powerful artifacts, huh? Wow, so is this Eversource thing valuable? Valuable doesn't even tell the half of it, Jesse! Okay, I'm interested. The Eversource is said to be an object of incredible power possessed by the old builders. It was some sort of treasure or artifact that gave them an endless supply of precious materials. Think about it, Jesse. That temple must have been its hiding place. Wow, old builders? You learn something new every day. I'm still just trying to wrap my head around the Eversource. Wait, like the temple we just got back from? We have to go back there? Yes! Luckily, you already know the way. He does have a point. Old builders, ever sources, ancient mysteries. You know I'm in. Excellent! I'll pack my adventuring things immediately. Wait, he's coming? Wow, sounds like you guys have a lot to get to. I, uh, guess I'll take off? Nope, you're coming with. I need a buffer between me and Ivor. Let's get moving. <laughs> Adventure! Lucas, I know it's daytime, but watch our backs, okay? I can't believe we're bringing Ivor with us. I mean, it's nice that he's so excited, but... Oh, not my top choice for adventuring companion. Hey, you can't argue that when it comes to all this ancient history and treasure, Ivor knows a lot. Sure, that's true. These trees are enormous! I love it so much! <sighs> he just... Really gets on my nerves sometimes. Remarkable. Look at this architecture. So old. So exquisite. Oh, this is just how I dreamed it would be. Except for less cake. My dreams usually involve cake. Ivor, it's nice to see you smiling. I'm not smiling. Wow, it looks so different during the day. Okay, but careful what you touch. There could be traps everywhere. Petra, blonde guy, are you two as excited as I am? I'm not sure that's possible. What? She means that you just seem to be super excited, Ivor. Well, that wasn't there last night. That looks promising. I'm heading up. Fantastic! We'll follow right behind you! Uh, yeah. What he said. So, you think this Eversource thing is up here? Hard to say, Jesse. As the story goes, the old builders feared its potential. Well, so they hid it away promising. in a place where it would never be found. Jesse! What do you see? <gasps> Some kind of portal? It's just as I'd imagined. Spectacular. But where does it lead? I don't know. This portal, it's not like anything I've ever seen. Here goes nothing. Thanks for bringing this back to me, Jesse. I knew you were good for something. You're pretty easy to follow, you know that? That thing is way bigger and more powerful than you could understand, Aiden. Give it back. Says the person who just got knocked trying to light it. Step aside, Jesse. We're heading through that portal now. Oh, no way! Aiden, you're done. This is where it ends. 
Fine. Blaze rods. Clear me a path. Follow them. If they get the Eversource, who knows what trouble they'll cause. We're going after Aiden and we're going to take him down. <laughs> whoa, whoa, whoa! Uh, Don't worry, I've got you! Uh, 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 oh, you are so surprisingly heavy. I am uh, the proportionate weight for my height. Thank you very much. There you go. Easy now. Yes, thank you. Thank you. Definitely don't want to fall down there. Any sign of the blaze rods? No, nothing. Do you think Aiden knew about all this? The portal? The Eversource? He definitely seems to know now. Hey, uh, you guys see that? What? So very strange. Wow. Looks like some kind of city. That's incredible. That's it. That's where it must be, the Eversource. A city in the clouds. It almost sounds impossible. I just don't know how we're going to reach it. Yeah, that's definitely going to be a problem. I can't believe this. We fall through a portal into another world, and then we can't even go anywhere. I don't suppose anyone packed one of those flying machines. Eh, that's more Olivia's bag. Yeah, I've got nothing. It was worth a shot. Guess we can just settle for a bridge. I don't know. Seems like a long way. Do we have enough blocks? I mean, it's really, really far. Yes, very astute, Lucas. Ivor the Grump strikes again, I see. This island is definitely big enough. Really? Yeah, if we dig up this entire island, we should have enough to get us over there. Stop pushing! I'm not pushing! Lucas is pushing! I'm just trying to keep away from the edge! It's all edge! Okay, gang, I think that should do it. Let's make ourselves a bridge. Excellent! Okay, this is our stop. Everybody off. Ivor, seriously? <laughs> Sorry, can't help myself. You're building. I, you, I, I, I don't. Hey, yeah, we're building. Is something wrong with that? I, uh, uh you don't know. You, 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 you were building. Uh, unauthorized building is against the law. Wait, there's a law saying people can't build? Yes, it's forbidden. This, this makes no sense. No sense at I, all. I, 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 well, uh, that's the law? That's nuts. Building's pretty important. Everyone should be allowed to do it. I, um... Right? Uh, I mean, I'm not crazy, right? Well, uh, it, this is making me terribly nervous, but, uh, first those other outsiders, now you... Other outsiders? Where are uh, they? Uh, uh, they went to the inn. I I'm sorry, but that's all I know. Wait, 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 come I'm back. Just super busy, sorry. And he's gone. <sighs> Darn. I wonder if everyone here is that nervous. Wow. Incredible. Wow, that is absolutely beautiful. Yes. Clearly, the Eversource is capable of miraculous things. And when I get my hands on it... Hey, how about you take a massive chill pill and we find it first? Yes, 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 yes! I'm just getting excited. 
And as crazy as Aiden's been lately, if he gets that thing, it would be bad. Well, if we beat him to it, he won't be able to get his slimy little hands on the thing. We just need to find the inn that nervous guy mentioned. How hard could it be? No idea. But it's definitely our best bet so far. Agreed. Hello! It is nice to meet you! Boy, these are some popular crafting tables. Don't worry, everyone. Your turn will come in time. Please have your materials ready when you approach the crafting table. Huh? I knew I shouldn't have waited so long to eat. This is a long line just to use a crafting table. You're telling me I'm so hungry I could practically eat my wheat right here. But I won't. I'll be patient and turn it into delicious bread instead. What, uh, what can I do for you? I'm so hungry. I heard you guys have an inn somewhere around here. Where is it? Oh, uh, Milo's place? <laughs> that guy's hilarious. He's over that away. Milo, huh? Thanks. No problem. Hey there. Are you on the schedule for the furnace this afternoon? Didn't think there were any more appointments today. Hang on. Let me see here. Dale, ten stone blocks. Oh yes, that went very well. Melissa, three cooked pork chops. She rescheduled. Classic Mel. Uh, no appointment for me, thanks. I'm actually looking for the inn. Milo's place, right? It's back there. Right, Milo, thanks. Hey, Petra, what you looking at? Just admiring the sights, actually. This place is so cool. I'm not usually one for, like, checking out people's builds or whatever, but even I have to admit, this is really impressive. And where should I put them? Yes, just get them here. I'll deal with them. Get out of here. Go, go! Uh, why, hello there. What can I do for you? I'm not sure what the custom is where you come from, but uh, here <laughs> it is considered impolite to stare. Especially when people are doing boring things not worth staring at. Like simply minding their own business next to a wall. What? Uh, what was that all about with the whispering and the sticks? Gosh, ah, I don't know what you're talking about. None of that here. It's uh, not stick allowance day after all. So why would I, a, a humble innkeeper, have sticks? <laughs> Seriously, just put all of that out of your mind. It's, it's not important. It was just friends exchanging pleasantries. <laughs> Nothing more to see there. <laughs> I don't know, that seemed pretty sketchy to me. Well, you're starting to seem pretty nosy to me, stranger. Was there something you needed? I'm sorry, but I'm actually quite busy. Inns don't keep themselves, you know. Lots of busy work. I'm sorry, but it's like I told those other outsiders. I can't help you. Now, please. Hey, this our guy? He tell you where to find the blaze rods? How many of you are there? I told you, I don't know anything. He hasn't told you anything yet? Is he hiding them somewhere? I am uncomfortable with this line of questioning. Look, I know you talk to them, Milo. Just spill it. Fine. If it will make you leave me alone, that Aiden fellow did come talk to me earlier. Wanted to know where the Eversource was. Called it! I just told him what everyone else already knows. The Eversource is in the palace with the founder. That's all that happened, I swear. What a bunch of creeps. Yes, I wasn't terribly fond of them. So, where is Aiden now? The group left for the palace, and I haven't seen them since. Attention! Attention, everyone! Just a moment of your time, please. Emergency meeting attendance is mandatory. Oh, slime blocks. Curious. I wonder what that's all about. Oh, it's the founder! I wonder what this is all about. Yes, I'm nervous being surrounded by so many people. You'll be fine, Ivor. Oh, you've got to be kidding what me. What are you... Oh, crap. 
People of Sky City, I'm sorry to pull you from your duties, but something urgent has come to my attention. A crime has been committed. A crime? What kind please, of crime? Please, please remain calm. Earlier today, outsiders built a bridge into our fair city from a distant island. Now, whether these outsiders know it or not, this is a violation of Sky City's most sacred law. No unauthorized building. Wait, is that you? Are you the bridge builders? Obscene the builders! Atrocious. Everyone, everyone, please. Well, I didn't know it was against the law. It was just a bridge. This is nuts! Jesse, wherever you are, step forward now. I have already been informed of your identity. I appreciate that you may be ignorant of our laws, but I will warn you, Sky City is small, and I promise that if you try to hide, I will find you. We need to get to that Eversource at whatever cost. This is clearly our fastest way into the castle. Am I getting arrested? Wait! Don't be fooled by the Founder's lies. I can help you come up with a plan to get into the palace. Here I am! I built the bridge! Are you crazy? Does she look like she's gonna help us? Hey! Unhand me! Come with me! This is completely unnecessary! Jesse! We need to get out of here! Sorry, I am going with Milo. Me too! Quick then! Follow me! Wait, wait! Hey, I'm coming hey, peacefully! That's them! They're getting away! After them! Jesse, run! Get him! Run! I think she's over there! Come on! Where are you going? Ah, ah. <gasps> Just in here, yes. There's nowhere to hide in here. It's a dead end. Before I take you to any further, you must take an oath. I think they went this way. You must swear to never reveal what I'm about to show you. What? Do you swear that? I can't let him get away! Jesse! Milo, I solemnly swear that I will never tell your secret to anyone else. Fantastic. Philippe? This way! This is Build Club. Whoa. Everything you see before you was built from resources that my people have saved or uh, obtained. Man, can't be easy to come by some of this stuff. Nice work. It can be difficult, it's true. Many items have to be snuck under the noses of guards. Wow, this is quite the secret hideout, Milo. Very nice. <clears throat> it is not a hideout. It is a build club. You see, one day, a long time ago, I was just a citizen of Sky City, like any other. I wanted to make a community garden, so I put in a petition for a dirt block, and mercy me, it was granted. But in my excitement and haste to build my garden, I accidentally dropped my new block, and it fell. Right over the edge. For my crime, I was tossed into the Founder's dungeons. And I was in there for a very, very long time. Oh, how I grew to hate that dungeon. Geez, that seems pretty harsh for such a tiny crime. Oh, but it's not tiny. I was charged with egregious wasting of resources, and in Sky City, that's one of the worst crimes of all. You see, in our world, when something falls over the edge, it is gone, forever. But I have always believed in my heart that just because building is risky, it doesn't mean that no one should do it. If only I had known you were builders sooner, I would have helped you all escape when I first met you, rather than let your friends be taken. But at least you are here, yes? I would like to save Lucas, and... Ivor, I guess. Milo, your people are rebels, willing to fight the system. Will they help us save our friends? Why, I think they might. Hey, Milo! Ah, hello, my friends. 
bringing in outsiders? Seriously? Pretty hard to keep this a secret club if you just bring people in. Yeah, we have it hard enough as it is. Everyone, please! Yeah, it's hard enough without you bringing in a couple of randos. Guys, don't worry. We're builders just like you. Yeah, Jesse's right. Just chill out. We're the ones that built that bridge into town today. What? Dude! Milo, jeez! Milo, are you kidding me? The most wanted criminals in the whole city? We gotta turn them in before the guards break our door down. Well, no, let's not do that. I assure you, harboring them is worth the risk. They are the epitome of Build Club material. Builders, I'm not sure. They say they're builders. Oh, perhaps a challenge? All right, then. If Milo says you're these amazing builders, prove it. Yeah, build something. Now, see here, this is all highly disrespectful to my guests. I'm the leader here. I think I know my way around a crafting table better than any of you chumps. Oh, cocky. Let's see if you can back that up. We don't know many recipes, so if you just show us something that they build where you come from. You're gonna be just fine, Jesse. Jesse, it took us many weeks to scrape together this inventory. Please, use them for your build. build oh, build, thanks. Build, 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 build. build, 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 build. Let's see here. Anyone got something to take notes with? No. Darn. I guess I'll just have to try to remember all this then. Meh? <laughs> Getting nervous yet, Milo? <laughs> What is that thing? Is it... is... is it safe? Fear not, everyone. The golem is under my control and obeys my every whim. I am so sorry we ever doubted you. Your building is truly magnificent. We all bow to you. I can understand why the guards are after you. I mean, that was awesome. Right? I told you. Yeah, we're really sorry. Wowzers. So sorry. <sighs> yeah. Sorry. You're sorry. Uh, I'm sorry. Hey, these things happen. Apologies totally accepted, dudes. Now, uh, how about that whole getting us into the palace thing? Yeah, that would be great. Ah, yes, of course, of course. That is, after all, why you are here. I must say, though, after seeing you in action, your skills are even more impressive than I could have imagined. So impressive that I wonder if I could implore you for a tiny favor. What kind of favor? I help you get into the palace. You help me steal the Eversource for my people. Unlimited resources for everyone! I'm overwhelmed at the thought. Okay, but my friends are in trouble in there. So for breaking into the palace, we're going to save them. This is an acceptable and noble arrangement. Good. Now, as for how to get into the palace, according to my informants, the Founder keeps the Eversource behind a secret door located in her throne room. Dramatic. Every night, the Founder leaves guards at every door, but there's a single window at the back of the palace that is left unguarded. It's an almost perfect point of entry, but it is far too high. <laughs> if we can find a way through that window, the Eversource would be practically within our grasp. Guys, how high it is doesn't matter. What? You just have to start thinking like real builders and craft a solution. Yeah, like a ladder. Building ladders? Craft a way in? If you could show us how to craft something that would reach the window, we could get this heist underway. Jesse, we will never forget this day.
Okay, my friends. This should take us right into the throne room. Once inside, we will just need to find the secret entrance that the Founder supposedly uses. Isn't it exciting? On our way to changing everything! Freeing the Eversource for the people! Supposedly? We're pinning all of our hopes on supposedly? Ha! <laughs> you worry too much. Enjoy the thrill of mystery! I know. I know. Why are you saying things to me that I already... Whoa! Whoa. Jesse! Jesse! Petra! Boy, am I glad to see you guys. Right back at ya. What are the odds? Am I right? I'm so glad you two are okay. What happened to you? We were in the dungeon, but we broke out. It's a good thing you guys are here. Aiden's going after the Eversource. Which we obviously can't abide! We're here to get it first! Fantastic! That is what we are doing as well! Who, uh, who's this guy, by the way? I mean, I assume he's cool, right? Why would you assume that? He's cool, Ivor. Don't worry. Well, I tried to be cool. <laughs> it's true. Oh, right. Milo, Lucas. Lucas, Milo. Milo, Ivor, Ivor, Milo. He's a new friend. I am charmed. Yeah, yeah. The Founder's secret entrance is... Supposed to be somewhere in this throne room. If it's in here, we'll find it. Poor dead bush. Barely more than a bundle of sticks. Hopefully no one will miss one dead bush. Perfect. This must be where the Founder crafts things for the people. Hmm, I get the feeling this is a special tree. Yes, the ground you're standing on is actually the original island that all of Sky City started from. That tree dropped the saplings that grew into every tree on the island. I may not agree with the Founder's methods, but even I must admit, that's an impressive feat. Well, that is pretty special. Huh. <gasps> A cobblestone generator. Amazing! Lava and water. Placed exactly far enough that when they collide, it creates cobblestone! Genius! Ingenious. I'm getting a very door vibe from this. Yeah. What happened to it? Just need to make something to activate that redstone circuit again. There's gotta be something in here we can use. Like a lever. If you can find one of those bad boys, we'll have that secret door open in a snap! Okay, let's do this. friend the lever. Fantastic! Yeah. Didn't know you were watching. My apologies. It is still just such a thrill to see someone so confident and sure in their building abilities. This is it! 
Eversource, here we come. Creeper, zombie, sheep, pigman. Curious. But what does it mean? Huh. Eggs? The sign says sheep, not eggs. Might as well throw it and give it a shot? A sheep? Is... Is that a monster? That is not so bad. It is fluffy. The eggs all have creatures inside them. And they're all different colors. They must be, you know, color-coded what's in them. So she can just spawn things whenever she wants to. So the Eversource makes these spawn egg things. Stay on your toes! We're close! Ah, I can't wait! Let's take a look around. is a chicken? What? Yes. The spawn eggs. It's so simple. Wait. Wait, wait, wait. That's the Eversource? So the chicken lays the eggs, and the eggs make monsters, and the loot from the monsters made this place. Well, throw it in the minecart and let's get out of here. We're still taking it, right? The chicken that the entire city depends on? Are you sure that's a good idea? What are you talking about? We need to bring it to the people! With it, we'll finally be free of the Founder! But that clucking thing is what we came for! Milo's right. The Eversource belongs to the people. What? I thought that was the whole point of this adventure! Ah! <sighs> <sighs> I knew it. I knew you were here to steal from me. Ah! Uh, pain! Uh, oh, she's too fast! Just give me a second to catch my breath. The Eversource doesn't just belong to her. It belongs to everyone. This chicken belongs to the people! Don't try to stop us! It's just like I told you, Founder. They're here to steal the Eversource. Classic Order of the Stone. You don't say. What? No! Don't believe them! You have the wrong idea! Shut up, criminals! Oh, Aiden, will you just shut up already? You just expect me to believe a bunch of criminals? Aiden warned me that you were a pack of thieves, and here you are, prepared to make off with the one thing our city depends on to survive. Boy, when you put it like that, I almost feel bad. Yep, afraid I'm going to be taking the chicken. It's mine now. What? This is outrageous! Aiden, don't do this. Somebody order eggs. Creeper, look out! <laughs> I've got Aiden! Save the fountain! Oh, you've got me, Lucas. Got you. Thank you. Thank you. Focus! I'll take it from here.
Thanks to you, we get to see what really happens when you fall off the islands. Hey, you can't pin this on me. This is your fault. Are you serious? Yeah, I'm serious. Trusting the blaze rods, hiding the Eversource, I didn't do any of that. Hmm, I can't decide whether I want our death to be painless for my sake or excruciating for yours. Land! Impossible. That's impossible. Jesse? There! Can we get to it in time? It's gonna be close! You're down here too? Lucas, you made it. Oh, yeah, only slightly worse for wear. Ah, gotta say, Aiden's tougher than I remember. Mm, got me pretty good. I'm just so glad you're okay. When Aiden pitched you over the side, that was awful. Yeah, I wasn't a huge fan either. <laughs> ah, that was good of you to try and save the founder. Uh, speaking of whom, is she okay? She's just sort of staring uh let me ask founder miss founder i uh hope she's not in shock or something you uh doing okay over there i just i i can't believe it <sighs> mm. this has been down here the whole time i forbade anyone to look for land below us it was too dangerous. A, a lost cause. I just don't understand. Why did you never even look or send someone down? Hey, take it easy. She's having a rough enough day as it is. No, no. That's okay. I, I was too cautious. I didn't want to create false hope. And I was so certain that the only thing down here was death. Look at this place. Totally untouched biomes all around us. Yes, it's... All a little overwhelming. What... what do I do now? Well, how about you start with a few deep breaths? <laughs> Seeing all this after you've been crammed on a tiny island, that... would be overwhelming for anybody. First things first, we're gonna go back up there and kick Aiden's butt. Sounds like the start of a winning plan to me. Getting back up? <sighs> My word, you're right. We need to do that. I hadn't even thought that far ahead yet. Aiden's made some big mistakes. He's probably in completely over his head by now. I can't believe Aiden could be so stupid. I can't leave my subjects in whatever trouble they're in. Jesse, will you please help me get back to Sky City? Stop Aiden. Help me protect my people. We did kind of start this mess. Of course I'll help you. You're the founder. Thank you, Jesse. And please, call me Issa. Okay, getting back up. Getting back up. Let's see what we've got to work with. Hmm, that'll work. What is it? Ah, oh, I see where you're getting at. Nice. Well, would someone care to explain it to me, please? Get ready to build the tallest thing you ever built. What? We're gonna build a tower of dirt all the way back up to Sky City. Grab as much dirt as you can carry. Oh, okay. That should do it. Jesse, what is that? It's the other half of the portal that brought me here. Man, what a relief. I mean, 
Once you get that flint and steel back, it should be a straight shot home now. Well, guys, you ready? Yes, I, I think so. I, uh, I think I actually gotta sit this one out, Jesse. Aiden got me pretty good. I'm just not sure I'm up for towering all the way back up there. Look, I'm really sorry. I probably wouldn't be able to keep up anyway. Yeah, you don't look so good. You should rest up, try and get some food. That's what I was thinking. Thanks for understanding. There you go, buddy. Thank you for trying to help. It was very noble. Hey, what's with the last goodbye tone? I'll see you guys when you get back. Oh, give Aiden another punch for me. Will do. Come on, we've got an epic climb ahead of us. We've got a city to save. You ready? I believe so. And when I get up there, I'm going to tear those blaze rods limb from limb. Oh, and Jesse, I appreciate what you did up there, trying to save me. under attack by monsters, ma'am. Everywhere. They seem to be coming from inside the palace itself. Come on, we need to stop him. I'm sorry, Jesse, but I have to save my people. Take care of yourself out there, okay? And to you as well. Jesse, you're alive. Please, can you help us? Hang tight, Milo. Quick on your feet. But with all seriousness, how are you alive? I saw you go over the edge. Okay, quick version. You know how you all thought there was nothing but void below you? Yes. Yeah, that was wrong. There's land. You speak truthfully, my friend? No. Well, I can't wait to hear all about it later. I gotta get to the palace. Thank you, my friend. See you on the other side. That's like that, huh? Blade Rod! Aiden has taken over the palace. He's holed up in the throne room, throwing those spawn eggs everywhere. No one can get inside! We need to stop him. I know. Jesse, take one of these. They're all locally sourced and handcrafted. I use only the best ingredients. I think you could hook me up with a potion of leaping? Here! <laughs> Back down and get out of my face, Reggie! You're delusional, Aiden! 
The people of Sky City will never bow to you! You killed the Founder! Yeah? Well, you're gonna be next if you don't shut up! Now you listen here! I'm the Captain of the Guard! You can't just talk to me that way! I'll talk to you however I want, Reggie! Aiden, Shh. you've lost! I saw you fall! You went down! You're alive! You're alive! Is the Founder with you? Ah! <laughs> Not one more step! I killed you once! I could do it again! You thought you could just kick me off the edge? Unfortunately for you, Aiden, I'm pretty tough to kill. Just die already! Should've left while you had the chance! Someone else in the spotlight, can you? You just can't let anyone else win. Oh, it just drives you crazy to see someone else succeed, doesn't it? Aiden, I am gonna kick your butt. I can't wait to see you try. this right here here you want your flint and steel back huh take it it's yours just please don't hurt me you did it jesse we need to get out of here what do you want to do with him please this place is getting worse by the minute you can't just leave me here take me with you for everything you've done, I'm not sure you deserve that kind of mercy. No, 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 come on! You can't just leave me behind. If you leave me here, I'll die! I thought you were the good guys. Yes, ma'am. 
Everyone, stay together! Jesse, there you are! Jesse, the situation is getting out of hand. We simply can't stop all the monsters and protect my people. So the longer we stay here, the more danger my people will be in. I guess we could jump for it. The waterfalls can take us to safety. What? Are you crazy? The waterfalls will just take us into the void. We'll die if we fall down there. But there's nothing but monsters up here. The void won't kill you. There's land down there. Everyone just watch me and follow my lead, okay? nothing but help us so far. I will show you just how much I believe in Jesse's word. You enough. You've saved us all. So what do we do now? Everything's just so different and scary. What do you do? You go have fun. You guys were cooped up there so long. Now you can go do whatever you want. Uh, uh, I wonder what happened to Aiden. Hey, guards. Check out what washed up right next to me. Uh, Freeze, criminals! You're not going anywhere! Now, this is just speculation, but I'm guessing they have some regrets. Knew they wouldn't get away. Ooh, I bet the blaze rods are in for a bad time. These Sky City people are not happy with them. Yeah, hopefully they dig a deep hole, bury them in it, surround it with lava, and... Sorry. Got a little carried away there. Attention! Huh? Attention! Hello, hello, everyone, please. This is your founder speaking. Now that we're all safe, we need to organize. Start planning our new community. Are you listening to yourself? That's insane! We were prisoners long enough on that island in the sky. It is time for us to run free! Build whatever we please! Wow! Those two just cannot get along. Jesse, I cannot allow my people to be influenced by this naive idealist. Bah! I'm sure I do look like a naive idealist through the eyes of an oppressive dictator. Watch your tongue, mister. Hey, both of you, fighting isn't gonna solve anything. It will if I win. Oh, of course you'd think that way. No, you don't understand. It will be night soon, and that is when the monsters come out. If we don't prepare, we'll be in danger. You're just making excuses to control our behavior, just like before. We must trust in ourselves, be able to learn from our mistakes. The people need to build! W what do we do? Who are we supposed to listen to? Of course the people can build, but we need a system, some rules. Rules aren't bad. This is all very confusing. Well, I think you're both right. You don't want to just run around with no plan, but you can't schedule and organize everything either. People need to be free to try new things, but you've got to be safe about it. I suppose I still have much to learn. Thank you, Jesse. I don't understand yet, but I trust you. Well, Jesse, I suppose the era of Sky City is over. We may disagree about how to run this place, but I thank you for everything you have done. 
I guarantee that we will be telling stories about your visit for many, many years to come. The day that Sky City was liberated. Just try and play nice with the founder, okay? I know you don't always get along, but her heart's in the right place. You know something? She was a little scary at first, but she's all right. <laughs> I'm gonna miss that crazy guy. I guess we should prepare for nightfall too. Without another portal, we're stuck here. Been a while since I've had to start from square one. Ugh. Just when I thought my days of punching trees were behind me. Aw, oh, come on, Ivor. It could be fun. That would be the case, but luckily you had me as your advanced scout when I was on the ground with the founder before I totally found the portal. And you didn't say anything? Yeah. I'm actually gonna have to agree with Ivor on this one. Did I not mention it either? Because I could have sworn I said something. No! You didn't! I guess the moment just never presented itself. Come on. Oh, hi. Ah, oh, there you are. I'm so sorry about her. That's okay. Looks like she's having fun running around. Yes, I think she took it pretty well when I told her she didn't need to be the Eversource anymore. What are we gonna do with you now, huh? What are you going to do now? The sides continue to be adorable, of course. <laughs> but that was a given. Now that you don't have to run everything yourself, maybe you could use the time to travel. There's a lot to see. Yes, that's a rather nice notion. How would you like to go explore some of those, um, very tall vertical rocks? We call them mountains, usually. Lovely. After so long being the founder and the Eversource, now we can just be Isa and her best friend, Benedict. Ah, that's a boy's name! Huh, <laughs> what a closed-minded attitude. Jesse, I would be honored if you would take this as a small token of our gratitude. Thank you. Come along, Benedict. We have a lot of adventures ahead of us. Well... There goes the Eversaurs. Off to cluck and peck at seeds for the rest of its valuable life. Hey, Jesse. You okay? Jesse? No, I just saw those pigs. You know. Oh. Yes. He would be really happy to know you're still having adventures like this. See? Just like I told you, one portal back home. Ugh. I just can't wait to put this whole world behind us. Oh, is someone being grumpy? No! A little. I was just hoping for a real treasure is all. <laughs> Livestock's no proper treasure. Although I wonder what would happen if you put that tiny crown on a different chicken. Come on, guys. Let's go home. We don't Axel and Olivia here where we've been. They'll never believe it. That's not what I was expecting. Previously on Minecraft Story Mode. That glow, that enchantment, is the work of a very old group of builders. A group so old that they existed even before the Order of the Stone.
Okay, guys, I'm seeing grass, forest, lots of ground in all directions. All good signs so far. Uh, um. Aha. Uh -huh. Verdict says, definitely not our world. You owe me two iron, Lucas. Pay up. Okay, okay. Here. <laughs> Told you it was a dumb bet. Oh, who asked you? Oh, come on, can't you hear it? A uh, spooky forest? It's the sound of a new adventure. I bet this place is gonna be awesome. I hope you're right. I was just... Uh, I'm just worried about Axel and Olivia. What? Why? Well, if they followed us back to that old builder temple and went through the portal... They would arrive in Sky City to find it overflowing with monsters. Yeah. At least we already built them the bridge. That is more than we started with. Okay, so maybe they did, but they can handle themselves no problem. They'll find the next portal just like we did, and hopefully we'll all be back together again soon. Well, I for one vote that we not be so hasty to try and get out of here. Who knows what sorts of treasures this new world could hold. Besides, unless the next portal is disguised as a tombstone, I'm not seeing it anywhere near here. You guys see some sort of shape over there? Yeah. What is that? Let's find out. It says, Invitation. And then read immediately, your life depends on it. <clears throat> Greetings, traveler. Yep, that seems about right. Keep reading, Jesse. We've got your back. I, I humbly invite you to my mansion for an evening of food and festivity with your fellow adventurers. That's odd. Yeah, weird, right? Whoa! Toss it here! <laughs> Petra, any time now? You can read, right? Hang on, hang on! Need to find Jesse's place. Uh, got it! Come to my home on the hill. Just follow the path. Please look out for zombies. Sincerely, the host. Nice warning. Come on, there's the path. I must say, this is the highest concentration of zombies I've ever seen in one place. You think this host is gonna be legit, Jesse? I just asked because this place hasn't exactly been friendly so far. Hey, the invitation was classy, though. I'm suspicious too, Lucas. This has trap written all over it. Unfortunately, with all these zombies everywhere, we can't exactly stick around out here. I'm going to go out on a limb and say, that's the place we're looking for. Race you guys there. Oh, yeah. I don't race so much anymore. Bad, bad knees. You pick up that excuse at the same place you got that haircut? Because they're both awful. Hey, just try not to die, okay? I'm trying to keep everyone together here. Sure, sure, that's fine. But you gotta catch me first. Ugh! 
You hear that too, right? Almost sounds like a waterfall! that one, Jesse. Let's maybe get inside the mansion before we pat ourselves on the back too much, shall we? That front door's definitely a no-go. <gasps> Stick with me, guys. Creepy guy in the window. He had a white pumpkin for a head. White pumpkin? No such thing as white pumpkin. Let's save the agricultural discussions for inside, okay? <sighs> Great! There's no door back here. How are we supposed to get in? There. We should be able to build up and break in through there. Trees. We can cut those down. Good plan! And now my inventory is full of wood blocks. Hey, you never know when those will come in handy. Looks like some kind of kitchen in there. Then break the window and get us into the blasted place! Hope the host doesn't mind us breaking their window. I'm sure he'll find it in his heart to forgive us. Some kitchen. Hot dog. You know I don't care if you took it. Just give it back. And I'm telling you, for the last time, Sparkles, I didn't take the stupid thing. I think we could avoid a lot of unpleasantness. Uh. If... What the? Hi. Oh, ha, ha, ha. Very, very funny. Show up super late, make us all sit and wonder what the heck is going on. Now, this is your house, right? Because if it is, we've all been waiting for like hours. It's rude! Now easy, Torque Dog. Mm. Jesse, are you going to take this one, or shall I? We're not the host of whatever this is, sorry. We're just here to hide from the sea of zombies. Yeah, it's pretty bad out there, in case you hadn't noticed. No way. Be polite. No, I'm, I'm afraid we're not the ones behind this either. This is Torque Dog. Sup? And I'm Captain Sparkles. Though, maybe you know that already. Captain Sparkles? I've got, like, nine million fans? Captain Sparkles? Are you saying that with a Z? Petra! Show some respect! The man's a captain. 
Sorry, Captain. Civilians, am I right? It really is awesome to meet you. I'm Jesse, and that's Petra, Lucas, and Ivor. Charmed. <laughs> Jesse? That's a girl's name. What are you guys, anyway? Some sort of <clears throat> loser patrol? Talk dog. Oh, come on. That was hilarious. You would know all about loser patrols, wouldn't you, loser? Whoa, you fronting right now? Is that what's going on? What do you got, like 12 fans? Talk dog. Cool it. That sea of zombies has us all trapped. So we just need to try our best to get along. Worst day ever. Just try and look on the bright side. I hate so much about the way you choose to be. Huh, all these other people as rude as you? Watch yourself, little dude. I tell you what, the minute all them weird zombies are gone, Ugh. Torque Dog is out of here. Okay, so the sea of zombies isn't normal. It's good to hear. Two moons is normal, though, right? Um, the moons. Uh, yeah. Why don't you know about this stuff? Are you from, like, out of town or something? Ah! Now! Did you hear that? I think it stopped. Well, what's up with the lights? Torque dog? Torque dog? <gasps> hey, Jesse. Jesse, come here. You've got a, a girl's name. Uh. <laughs> Torque dog? Torque dog? So I'm guessing calling dibs on his inventory would be... Ivor. Not classy. Got it, got it. Just needed to see where we stood. Jesse isn't just a girl's name. All those arrows, this is inventory, everywhere. How did that, who, one minute he's alive, the next, gone, poof. I know, that was absolutely awful. We were talking like a second ago, and then suddenly he's full of arrows. Everyone stand back. Let me see what I can figure out. This is, why is this happening? Guys, found something strange about this arrow. Yeah, Ivor, you know potions and enchantments and weird stuff like that. What do you make of it? <sighs> mm. <laughs> Smells like... Yes. Potion of poison? Oh, is it a t tipped arrow? Oh, I've heard of those. They're, they're still pretty new. Oh, nasty stuff. Using potions to make arrows. The possibilities are fascinating. Would you stop pointing that thing all over the place? You're making me nervous. Back up. What did you say that was? Uh, tipped arrows? You can, like, put different potion effects on them. Could have sworn I saw someone doing a tutorial on how to make those not too long ago. My nerves are too shot to remember who right now. Well, let me know if it comes back to you. Uh, who would do this? Gunpowder, redstone dust, leather pants. Pretty much what you'd expect, I guess. Uh. There's the trapdoor that sucked up Torque Dog's stuff. Looks like it's a match set with that arrow dispenser up there. But you saw his stuff. He didn't really have anything worth stealing. Perhaps it was simply to dispose of the evidence. Everything okay in here? Whoa! What's with the crowd? I, uh, I was just about to get everyone together to tell them at once. Okay? Hang on a minute. It's you! I recognize you! Excuse me? Uh, yes. What? Oh, really? Because I've never seen you in my life. I'll show you. Follow me. Um, okay. Lizzie, hi. Did you see all these new... Oh, you've got them with you.
Well, first it was the portraits of the people already here, then poof, you guys. Whoa, that's unexpected. Yeah, no kidding. They're absolutely exquisite. Perfect. Well, not perfect. Absolutely perfect. Must have been when we showed up. Flattering how well they captured our likenesses. Some of us. What are you talking about? Yours looks just like you. Somebody's up to something. I don't know what yet, but I'm gonna figure it out. Well, that's definitely not a good sign. Come on, everyone. Oh, let's huddle up in the dining room. Wonder if he told them yet. Can't wait to hear the big news. Me neither. Ooh, I hope there's cake. Guess not. Come on, let's do this. Come on, Winslow. Here, let me introduce you all properly. You guys already met Cassie Rose and LD Shadow Lady. Uh, but my friends call me Lizzie. This is Stacy Plays, Stampy Cat, and that's Dan, the Diamond Minecart. When did your hair change color? Wasn't it? It's funny. Before you guys showed up, we all knew each other here. Their names are Jesse, Petra, Lucas, and Ivor. You said there was news? Is it good? Good news? Uh, yeah. It's, um, bad news, I'm afraid. Torque Dog is dead. Good heavens! Oh, no. Wait, what? But Torque Dog was so tough! There was nothing that could take him down. What happened? Yeah, what on earth is going on here, Sparkles? These are what got him. Tipped arrows? Does this mean someone set a trap for Torque Dog? That's nasty. I can't believe Torque Dog's gone. Just like that. So, what happened to his stuff? Whoa! How can you say that? What? It's a valid question. Whoa. Come on, everyone. Come on. Don't get greedy. Just... I want to know what happened. For curiosity's sake. The stuff just disappeared. Went down this weird hole in the floor. Are we just supposed to take your word for that? Guys, I saw it too. Jesse was poking around in Torque Dog's stuff right before it got sucked into a hopper. So I'm looking at this situation, I'm trying to figure something out. Is this just about Torque Dog, or is there a bigger picture? Yeah, why have our portraits? I don't know, guys. Knowing Torque Dog, I think this might just be about him. Am I picking up some beef here? Uh, what? No! I don't know what you're talking about. What, like you think he deserved it? Well, that sounds pretty harsh, but, uh, I don't know, maybe? Well, someone brought us here for a reason, including Talk Dog. What if we're all in danger? Oh my gosh, Dan's right! Whoever's doing this, they could be hunting us! Hunting us? Hey, come on, everyone. If there's one thing I believe in, it's teamwork. If we all stick together and get through this as a team, we'll be fine. Ha, <laughs> inspiring. There you go, guys. Teamwork makes the dream work. Wow. Oh, all of this danger talk has my stomach all queasy. Stampy, come over here. I need to talk to you about something. Lizzie, psst, Lizzie. The more I think about it, the more I think that there's something these people really don't want us to know. One of them's got to know the truth about what's going on here. It'd be nice to figure out what on earth is going on here, especially if we're going to be stuck with these people until dawn. I say we talk to everyone and gain their trust. Yeah, good luck with that. Let's get investigating then. Hey guys. Hey Jesse, how's it going? Yeah, find anything out yet why Torque Dog was... you know... You guys have any theories about what's going on? Nothing concrete yet, but 
Lizzie and Dan over there seem like they might be hiding something. I was developing a theory that Sparkles was in on it. But even I have to admit, he just seems too nice. True that. That's a good idea, Lucas. Thanks. I actually just wanted to talk to you guys first. You know, check in on how you're doing. Oh. Um, we're fine. Yeah, for the most part. A little weirded out with this whole situation. But other than that, I'd say we're fine. <clears throat> Very kind of you to ask, though. There's definitely something strange going on here. I'm just getting a bad feeling from the whole thing. Yeah, I'm with you. You should keep questioning people. See what you can find out. I'm gonna keep asking around about Torque Dog. Good luck. Yes, happy investigating. Hey, Sparkles, and Cassie Rose, yeah? Yep, hi, that's me. Hey there, Jesse. Oh, Winslow says hi, too. <laughs> you mind if I ask you guys some questions? Nope. What are the questions? Got any guesses why someone would kill Torque Dog? Uh, gosh, gosh, um... He was a little prickly around the edges, you know? You'd have to ask other people about that. I, I didn't really know him. Mm hmm I don't want to say anything mean about a guy that's not here to defend himself, but, well, you met him, right? Prickly is kind of an understatement. Cassie, you seem pretty upset about people wanting to poke around Torque Dog's inventory. Oh, was I? Yeah, yeah, you were. Why was that? Well, it was just so... It's insensitive, right? I mean, it, it had just happened, and she was all curious about what was in his pockets. Just made me mad, I guess. There was drama between Lizzie and Torque Dog, right? Got any insight? Sorry, I'm not getting wrapped up in that. Especially now that Torque Dog is... you know... But it's weird, right? Definitely seems like there's some beef. Uh, not that I, um, want to get into rumors or anything like that. Sparkles, Cassie, Winslow, thanks for the time. No problem. Uh, yeah, anytime. Get anything out of them? Found out this group has a whole lot of secrets they're keeping from each other. That's definitely something. Hey guys, Stampy and Stacy, right? Oh, um, uh, hello! Hey, Jesse. What's up? I know things are a little nuts right now, but I've got some questions. Oh, really? Uh, but, but what? Stacy, you seem pretty curious about what was in Torque Dog's inventory. What's up with that? Well, Torque Dog was a pretty notorious thief. I was just curious what he had. That's it. Mm-hmm. Seems like Lizzie and Torque Dog really didn't like each other. Know anything else about that? Oh, that! Real shame, real shame. He broke into her house and stole a bunch of stuff from her. She was super upset about it. You don't say. Anyone you can think of that would want something bad to happen to Torque Dog? Um, well, I never had that big of a problem with him personally, but I know other people did. Quite a few, actually. I don't know if you noticed, but... He was a bit of a griefer. Yeah, and a thief. Thief, huh? Interesting. Thanks, you two. This has been enlightening. No problem. Yeah, no problem. So did you find anything out from Stacy or Sturdy Cat? Stampy Cat? Right, right. So did you find anything out? Apparently, Torque Dog was a well-known thief. A thief, huh? That might have something to do with it, don't you think? Agreed. Hey there, Dan. Lizzie? Oh, uh, hello? Hi there. If you don't mind, I actually had some questions about this Torque Dog situation. Yeah? Go ahead. It seemed like people were really interested in seeing Torque Dog's inventory. Any idea why? An adventurer like him, he could have had all kinds of cool stuff. Uh-huh. Torque Dog was clearly targeted with this trap. Why him? 
Well, he was bragging about having some kind of rare item. Wouldn't show it to anyone, of course. Typical Tork Dog. So this rare item that Tork Dog claimed to have? Well, can you tell me about it? We don't know exactly. Yeah, sorry. Okay. Lizzie, seems like you're not much of a Tork Dog fan. What's the deal? Oh, come on. You met him, right? Nobody liked that guy. I'm just the only one who will actually admit it. He, um, yeah, he definitely wasn't the nicest person. So, Lizzie, I heard something interesting about you and Tork Dog. Yeah? What did you hear? I'm sure there are all sorts of rumors floating around out there. Lizzie, I heard he stole from you. Whoa, would you keep it down? Okay, yes, he did. He stole one of my creeper head trophies, my very first one. I just didn't want to mention it before because I didn't want to look guilty. Wait, creeper head? This isn't about Danch. the- No, not in front of- And no, I told you, I never had it. Dan, you seem surprised by Lizzie mentioning a stolen creeper head. What did you think Torque Dog had stolen from her? Uh, remember that rare item you were asking us about before? Yeah, it's that, and I'm still not going to talk about it. Sorry. Okay, that's it for now. Thanks. What'd you find out? It's all tangled up, but it sounds like Torque Dog claimed to have some sort of rare item. People thought it was something he stole from Lizzie, but all he stole from Lizzie was a creeper head. I didn't see anything like that in his inventory, though. Yeah, something's not quite adding up here. So, Torque Dog was a thief, and he supposedly had something rare, but I feel like there's still a piece missing. No one will tell me what this rare item is. I, uh, I think I can shed some light on that situation, actually. Well, now my curiosity has peaked. He already had me at rare item. Of course he did. Oh, thank goodness someone's being direct with me. Thanks, Sparkles. There's a temple way out in the middle of nowhere. No one knows who built it, but it's been there forever. People have been trying to track down the temple's location for ages because they want this treasure. It's supposedly deep in its basement. Now, it looks just like an ordinary flint and steel, but it's actually super rare. It's got this enchantment on it. It can open portals to other worlds? Exactly. Wait, what? You know about the enchanted flint and steel? How did you know that? Did, have, you, have you seen it? Have you seen it today? I actually have one of my own. Really? Yeah, I do. Just used it a little no, while geez, ago to put get... Put that away. You, you can't just pull that out here. Okay. Uh, you know, I had a theory about why you were here, and I, I think this might just prove it. Everyone? Everyone? We've all been freaking out, wondering why we were all brought here. Why uh, Torque Dog died? Uh, and Jesse has just uncovered a very important clue. What? Really? Whoever killed Torque Dog. Whoever invited us, they're after the enchanted flint and steel. Ah! Sparkles? Panic, 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 what panic, 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 Sparkles! Someone find the lights, quick! Greetings, adventurers. I am the White Pumpkin. One of you is the treasure I desire. I will not rest until it is mine, even if I have to resort to murder. Sam, that's a 
dinner party. We're all doomed! I thought I heard Sparkle say something about a flint and steel. Oh, please don't bring that up again. Well, obviously Talk Dog didn't steal it. Okay, but who then? Uh, Jesse? Well, I guess I'm next then. Nope. Not happening. Don't worry, Ivor. I'll protect you. I appreciate that, Jesse. I just hope that this white pumpkin isn't beyond both of our abilities. Well, I'm sure there's a perfectly logical explanation for how the white pumpkin is doing all this. I mean, the whole place has got to be rigged with traps, right? Torque Dog. Trap. Sparkles. Trap. Yeah, we need to find out what makes these traps tick. All right, I'm gonna investigate that dining room. Cool. I'll keep those guys in the hall for now so I can keep an eye on everyone. An excellent idea. Don't want them messing up the crime scene. I'm sticking with you, Jesse. Doesn't seem safe to wander off alone. Okay, people, clear out! This is a crime scene! Okay, how are you doing this, White Pumpkin? This looks like the exact spot where the white pumpkin appeared, but now, just a portrait. Unless... It's just a costume on an armor stand with a jukebox for the voice. No sign of how it was triggered. Wow. The white pumpkin must have some amazing redstone skills to rig up something like this. But why? It must have taken a lot of work to rig up. They must have a reason for it. I think it was to scare us. A warning. Well, mission accomplished. Okay, so this was the dining table where we were all gathered together right before... Okay, let's give this a shot. Just like before. Greetings, adventurers. I am the White Pumpkin. Yep. One of you Just like is before. the treasure I desire, and I will not rest until it is mine. Even if I have to resort to murder. Jesse! He's back! The White Pumpkin's back! Don't worry, everyone. It's just a dummy. A White Pumpkin costume on an armor stand. Wait, what? Why? The trap that killed Sparkles, the whole show with the White Pumpkin, it was all triggered by a button on the table. But what does that mean? I am so creeped out right now. Understandably. It means that the White Pumpkin sat at this very table and pushed the button. Wait, so you're saying that the White Pumpkin is one of us? That's right, Mr. Stampy. One of us is a murderer. And he sat right here. Wait, but that's not where Jesse found the button before. There's more than one? I'll see if I can find all of them. Nice work, Jesse. Yes. I must say I'm relieved to know that there's a logical explanation for what the White Pumpkin's been doing. So what now? Feels like we've made some good progress so far though, right? We need to figure out the most likely suspects and interrogate them. 
Judging by the tipped arrows in these traps, the white pumpkin must have some serious chops in brewing and redstone. Okay, that's all of them. If you could all please take the same seat you were at before. Four of your seats are marked. These are the seats that had a button to activate the trap. That means the white pumpkin could only be Dan, Stampy, Lizzie, or Lucas. Wait, you're accusing us? Wait, what? I echo their sentiments exactly. I didn't even see a button. Me neither. This is crazy. Hey, 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 I'm not accusing anyone. Yet. It sure sounds like you're accusing us, stranger. And I don't care for it. I'm taking charge now, and I'm going to get to the bottom of this. I want everyone separated. I'm going to talk to each suspect one by one so I can find out who's telling the truth and who's lying. I got a whole lot of questions, and I want nice little matching answers for each and every one of them. Understand me? Loud and clear. Yes, crystal clear. Who are you going to interrogate first? Stampy Cat. Jesse, I'm telling you, this is just crazy. Absolutely crazy. Total misunderstanding. I don't even want that flint and steel thingy. Not um, as much as the others at any rate. Did I hear someone saying that it has something to do with portals? I don't have any interest in portals. No, sir. Not for all Mr. Stampy Cat, thank you. It's me, Stampy. Everyone's friend. I gotta say, Stampy, you seem nervous. Everything okay? You comfortable? Um, what? No, I'm not nervous. Nope, totally comfortable. I could fall asleep right here, right now. I'm that comfortable, honestly. Please, just tell me what you want to know. Okay, enough dancing around. Who do you think took the flint and steel? I don't think it was ever actually stolen. Oh? Yeah, so Dan got it ahead of Lizzie, right? And she was pretty angry about it. I think he made up that story about it being stolen, so she'd think he didn't have it anymore. Classic Dan move. What do you know about Redstone? What's your skill level with this stuff? Oh, well, you know, about average? Average level moderate? I, I don't know how these things are graded these days. I know that Dan's been getting really into the stuff lately, though. Just putting that out there, in case you're curious. Dan's interested in redstone, huh? Know anything about this? Oh, wow! What is that? Some sort of magic arrow? No, I've never seen anything like it before. Honest. You know who would love to see something like that, though? Lizzie. She's wild about potions and brewing and all of that. She's way better with that stuff than I am. Good with potions, you say? Very good. Could probably even teach a class. <laughs> You're excused, Stampy. Thank you for your time. Ah, oh, thank goodness. This room's making me very nervous. Who's up next? Can you send Dan in, please? Right. Hey, I don't know what Stampy told you, but I'm telling you, you've got the wrong guy. Honest. I would never hurt anyone. You've got to believe me. If anyone's been wronged here, it's me. That enchanted flint and steel everyone's talking about, I found that. That's mine. At least it was before someone stole it. And now everything's gone completely crazy. People getting caught in horrible traps, everyone accusing and blaming each other. That's why you invited everyone here, huh? To find out who stole it? What? No, 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 no. I didn't invite anyone. That's not what's going on. I was invited here, same as everyone else. Uh-huh. I'm not the White Pumpkin. You've got to believe me. What can I tell you to convince you? Know anything about this? Oh, wow. Uh, no, I've never seen anything like that before. No? Tipped arrows not ringing a bell? Made using potions? 
Nuh uh, but you want to know about stuff with potions? I'll ask Lizzie. She's way better with that stuff than I am. So, how do you rate your redstone knowledge? Me? Oof, not much. Not really my scene. You want to know more about that stuff? You should ask Stampy. He was the Tribok champion. Weird. Stampy said that you were pretty into redstone. <laughs> what? No, he's got me confused with someone else. I'm sure of it. Now, Lizzie, though, I've seen her do some amazing things with redstone. Between you and me, I wouldn't be surprised if she was the one behind all of this. Out with it. Who stole the flint and steel? Oh, well, Lizzie, obviously. She was jealous. Never got over the fact that I found it first. You can go now, Dan. Thanks, Jesse. Thank you. And when you talk to Lizzie, don't forget to ask her about those crazy magic arrows. I bet she'll know something. Want me to send in Lizzie? That'd be great. Thanks, Petra. Jesse, listen. There's been a lot of talk thrown around today. I don't know what people have told you. I don't know what you believe. But I'll just admit it. I want that enchanted flint and steel as much as anyone. Probably more than any of them. I've been searching for it for years. Do you know how much it stung to have Dan, Dan, swoop in and take it from under my nose? So aggravating. Hang on, I thought you said you found it. Well, I as good as found it. I did the research, I did the studying, I was all prepared to go in there and finally get it when that little goggle-wearing goon swept in and stole it first. Listen, I just want to get out of here and get on with my day. What do you have to hear to be convinced that the white pumpkin isn't me? Know what this is? Tipped arrow. Kinda shoddy work, though. Definitely not one of mine, if that's what you're wondering. Some noob made that thing. What? Yeah, I knew what a tipped arrow was. I'm a good brewer. Doesn't mean it's mine. I taught Cassie and Stacy how to make those ages ago. No, because everyone else seems to think otherwise. What? What are you talking about? Yeah. Everyone I ask says that you're the only one with the skills here to make something like this. Okay, sure. Of the people here? Maybe. Doesn't make me the white pumpkin, though. And I'm not sure I like you implying otherwise. I'm just gonna be straight. Who do you think stole the flint and steel? Well, it wasn't me, if you're curious. If I had an enchanted flint and steel, I'd be off exploring some other world with it. Between you and me, though, I think Dan's whole story about it being stolen from him is a load of trash. I bet he's still got it. You like using redstone? Ever make traps with the stuff? I'm fine, I guess. I can make lights and doors and stuff. You wanna do advanced stuff? You gotta talk to Stampy. He was the tri -block champion. So I've heard. Thanks for your time, Lizzie. That's all for now. Oh, come on! This is nuts! You had a button, too! Fair's fair. It's your buddy's turn next. Hey, Jesse. Ah, my final suspect. Here to point more fingers and blame more people, I'm sure. I didn't push the button, you know. I figured. Thanks, though. How's it been going in here? It is just non-stop whispering and rumors out there. Me, Petra, and Ivor pretty much been sticking to ourselves. So hard to say. I mean, the way they keep throwing each other on the minecart tracks, it's like they're all guilty. Well, if there's one person who can untangle it, it's you. <laughs> Thanks, Lucas. Come on, suspect. It's time to return to the others. So? Have you decided? Yes. Who do you think the White Pumpkin really is? No, hang on. Hang on, everyone. First of all, I want to thank everyone for answering my questions. There's still not 100% proof of anyone, but... But... Yes. Where are your suspicions, Lady Jesse? Jesse was definitely questioning Stampy the longest. What? No! Dan was in there way longer. Hey, not cool. Guys, guys, come on. I actually don't think there's evidence to accuse anyone yet. What? Yeah, that seems surprising. I'm sorry, but I don't want to accuse anyone unless I'm 100% sure. And I'm not. Wow. 
Way to take a bold stance, Jesse. Well, I, for one, am not comfortable being surrounded by possible killers, so if you'll excuse me, I'm gonna barricade myself in the library for my own safety. Fine, suit yourself. Yeah, I'm more in the safety and numbers camp myself. <laughs> well, that was certainly some excitement. Yeah, no kidding. If the White Pumpkin is still roaming around, though, he might be trying to set up more traps. We need to figure out how these things work. Like, we know that the Sparkles trap was triggered by those buttons under the table, but what about the trap that turned Torque Dog into a pincushion? If we figure out how these things work, we might be able to find more proof about who the White Pumpkin is, how they're operating. Petra's got a good point. However the White Pumpkin did it, he must have done it from the kitchen. Yes. Seems like it might be worth our while to poke around the kitchen. You guys go on ahead. I'm gonna stay here, keep an eye on these other people. I don't want them trying anything when we're not looking. Thanks, Lucas. Back in the kitchen. So, what are we looking for exactly? Buttons like back in the dining room? Conspicuous white pumpkins lying around? This whole house could be full of traps. I just want to make sure this place is safe before someone gets hurt. An excellent plan. Does this painting have... Eye holes? Oh, yeah. How'd I not notice that before? Seems worth taking a closer inspection. Oh! It's some sort of secret passageway. Very clever. What do you suppose that lever does? Okay, everyone. Make sure you're nowhere near that arrow trap. More of those potion-covered arrows. Nasty. Well, seems like we found out how the White Pumpkin killed Torque Dog. Yeah, and how he's getting around the house. I assume we're investigating the creepy passageway? I think we've come too far to turn around now. Well... After you, then. I hope Dan's okay locked up in the library. We could have put them in even bigger danger. What if there are more traps in there? Well, even if it isn't the right person, at least he's safe. I guess that makes sense. Sort of? What do you think that is? No idea. But look! A lever! The amount of redstone wiring that must be hidden in this place! Amazing! Yeah, and deadly. Ooh, mystery lever. I wonder what it does. You're not gonna pull it, are you? No. Don't feel bad. I was tempted. Anything that this lever might be connected to? What do you see? It's the library. I see Dan locked up in there. Lizzie, what are you doing in here? I snuck in past that blonde guy. Lucas, I think. We have to talk. About what? I know you pushed the button. No, that's not true. You don't have to lie to me, Dan. I know it was an accident. I know you're not the White Pumpkin. Oh, thank goodness. That's such a relief. Yeah, it was an accident, and I felt awful about it ever since. Oh, it's such a relief to be able to talk about this. It's been absolutely tearing me up inside. I'm sure. I just... Haven't you learned anything about not pushing buttons? Oh, come on. Nothing like this has ever happened when I pushed a button. I feel just so awful. The 
white pumpkin. He's in there. Then let's go kick his butt. Yeah. What? What on earth? He's gone. For now, time to get to the bottom of this. I was watching you from the walls. We need to talk. Oh, no, 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 no. You heard the part where I said it was an accident, right? I'm innocent. What do I have to do to make you believe me? I could... I could go and sit in the corner very quietly and not touch anything, button or otherwise, for the whole rest of the night. Or I could go and apologize to every single person. I could... Um, I could just stay locked up in this library. Then would people trust me? Would you look at the mouth on this kid? Don't worry, Dan. I believe you. Oh, that's a relief. That's a huge relief. Wait, you came out of that portrait in the wall, right? Yeah. I saw one just like that upstairs. What if... Yes, maybe the white pumpkin... <laughs> <gasps> Enjoying the party? <laughs> my cue. Come on. Jesse, are you okay? I have to break through. <laughs> This guy, this guy's fit. <laughs> there, Jesse, I'll cut him off. <sighs> uh. Lucas? Give me a moment. I'm trying to figure this one out myself. Okay. Yeah, this looks pretty bad. Lucas, you let the white pumpkin get away? Hey! I came really close, all right? He took me by surprise, stuffed this pumpkin on my head. It's not like you caught him any more than I did. Well, what's going on in here? No! <gasps> you called the white pumpkin! Grab him, quick! On it! Get out of our way, Jesse. Yeah. It's all out in the open now. You can't defend your friend anymore. Really? No, no, no. I know what's going on here, and I won't stand for it. One of you is still the White Pumpkin, and you're just trying to pin it on Lucas. Yeah, bold words. Especially coming from someone with a knack for locking up innocent people. It's the facts, Jesse. These horrible things only started happening when your group arrived. And now... 
Lizzie is gone too. I say we throw him outside and let nature take its course. What? Out outside? Outside? Where all the googlies are? No, you can't do that. Yeah, uh, I don't know. I still have my suspicions about Lucas, but Jesse did save me. And you tried to save Lizzie. I don't feel right about chucking your friend to the zombies. Hmm. Brave stance. Thank you. See? You all heard Dan, right? Fine. <sighs> Thank you. Don't go celebrating yet. We've still got to do something with you so you're not roaming around freely. What? Like lock me up in a closet or something? There was a closet in the main hall with a lovely metal door. Seems like a perfect place to lock someone up. <laughs> Wait, <laughs> I was mostly joking. I guess that's fair. But I'm keeping guard because I still don't trust him. That cool with everyone? That's not happening unless one of us goes along too. It's fine, Jesse. I'll watch over Lucas. Awesome. Come on, Cassie. But don't go getting any funny ideas, blonde guy. This isn't because I like you or anything. No, of course not. Be quiet. Prisoners aren't supposed to talk. Okay, well, what are we supposed to do now? We need to figure out how we're going to clear Lucas's name. And I'd like to do it sooner rather than later. Seems like some of these people are getting a little stir-crazy. The White Pumpkin must have a... I don't know, a, a lair or a base of operations or something in this house. We need to find it. Sounds like a plan to me. Secret passage. Well, this looks promising. I wonder what order these need to be in. Okay, that seems like a step in the right direction. Awesome. Oh, yeah, that seems right. Oh, wow! You got it open! Yeah, you guys should stay here. It could be dangerous. No, I totally want to follow you into your friend's creepy secret passageways. Ugh, seriously? You really think Lucas did it? You haven't it? proven that he didn't yet. Technically true. Hey, come on, cool it. We're all in this together, aren't we? Depends. Figured you'd be on your little buddy's side. Ugh. You know what? They're not worth it. Come on. Wow, that is deep. Guess it leads down to whatever the White Pumpkin calls home. I wonder how he gets down there. Maybe in addition to walking through walls, he can fly for all we know. Ugh! It's just... I'm really worried about Lucas. Those people think they're all safe, but the White Pumpkin is still running around, and he could strike again at any minute. Not to mention, all those people back there have been so ungrateful, so petty. Ugh! It's just so frustrating. Hey, Petra, I understand, okay? I'm with you. You're right. I know you're right. <sighs> Sorry, Jesse. I just really needed to get that off my chest. We're gonna get through this. Let's start by figuring out how we're gonna get down there, huh? You know the drill. What have you got in your inventory? Didn't you have all those wood blocks? Sorry, I was whittling earlier. Nervous habit. Well, luckily those should do just the trick. You thinking ladder? Yeah. Gonna need a lot of them.
I'll race you. <laughs> You're on. Done. Don't... Oh, man. <laughs> Thanks. I needed that. All right, we got a lot more of these to make. Let's get to work. Okay, that's one down. Lots more to go. <sighs> See? Told you we'd make it. Yeah. I just hope this works. You think we're gonna find the white pumpkin down here? With all these secret passageways, it's so hard to tell where he might be. No, I think he's still upstairs. We should still be prepared for anything. Hey, do you hear... Lots and lots of zombies? Yeah, I do. I'm starting to smell them, too. Oh, ditto. Gross. Explains all the zombie noises. What in the world is that? <laughs> oh, some sort of like zombie spawner. Does that mean the white pumpkin actually made the sea of zombies outside? That's what it looks like. What's that? I think this is where people's stuff goes after those hoppers upstairs suck it up. You're right. I think that's Lizzie's. <laughs> Where's the loot going from here? Hopefully right to the White Pumpkin. Hey, you see the light coming out of that tunnel too, right? Huh? Oh, yeah. And it doesn't look like it's blocked off like all the, uh, zombie-filled ones. If we can get up there, I think we might be able to follow the loot to wherever it's going. Well, that's awesome. Nice find. How do you want to get up there? Grab some dirt, Petro. We're going climbing. I think we can jump from here. That was almost embarrassing. Thanks, Jesse. No problem. Weird. That almost sounds like... Cats? It's just some sort of growing station. Weird. What are you doing down here? What are we doing down here? Yes, it looks terribly suspicious, you know? Yeah, it does. We're trying to find the white pumpkin. Oh, well, I'm glad you haven't run into him yet. Come on, you guys. I can't be the white pumpkin. I'm Stampy Cat. I'm no murderer. Huh? I needed to find you because I have something important to tell you. 
I have something to confess. Something I haven't told anyone. Where is this going? I stole it from Dan. It was just supposed to be a joke, a harmless prank, but then, well, you've seen what happened. Wow. Who'd have thought? I knew people wanted it, but I had no idea that, that this would happen. Oh, it's terrible. Wow. Stampy Cat with the enchanted flint and steel. I didn't see that one coming. Definitely suspicious. I know, and that's why I had to keep it a secret. I may be a thief, but I'm no killer. But that white pumpkin is, and he's killing people for it. And now we're down in his lair. I was thinking maybe I should just give it to the white pumpkin. What? Just maybe that would make it all stop, right? Maybe? First we need to figure out who this white pumpkin really is, then we'll figure out what to do from there. I, I suppose that's a better strategy. That looks like a lair door, if I ever saw one. Oh, wow. Very creepy. I would not put this in my top ten places I've ever been. Well, there's where the meowing's coming from. Don't worry, we'll get out of here as soon as we find something that proves the White Pumpkin's identity. <laughs> Cobwebs. Should be able to score some string from those. Guessing this chest should have. Oh, yep, we've got sticks. Anything else? Oh, wow, and ender pearls. Sweet, that must be how the white pumpkin got down that elevator shaft. Trust me, you never know when a fishing pole will come in handy. Ah! Wow, nice catch, Jesse. Thanks! Okay, here, kitty, get the fishy. There you go, jeez. Oh, many cats, so many cats. Ugh, cats give me the creeps. No offense, Stampy. None taken. I'm not really a cat. Guess I can finally get in here now. It's full of portraits. Loads of them. Oh, I don't like that. I guess he already had all the X'd out ones ready to go. Yep, besides Petra, we've got Dan, Stacy, Stampy, Lucas, Ivor, and... Oh, hey, there's me. But what does it all mean? The cats, the crossed-out portraits? Yeah, the portraits. There was one person who didn't have a crossed-out portrait. Someone who's a known cat person. Okay. So who did it? Yes, you figured it out? White Pumpkin is Cassie Rose. She's the murderer. Oh, man. You're totally right. I don't believe it. Uh, not only is she the White Pumpkin, but she owns way, way too many cats. Well, come on, you guys. It's time to prove Lucas's innocence and catch us a White Pumpkin.
I'll go round everyone up. What's going on? Yeah, you were gone an awful long time. What's going on here? Did you even find anything? Quickly, where's Cassie Rose? Cassie? Why do you ask? Yeah, what's up? No sign of Cassie, but... Huh? Are you gonna tell them, or should I just do it? Uh, I don't know what you're talking about. Jesse, go on. Is this going where I think this is going? Well, Jesse? The white pumpkin is Cassie Rose. Oh. She's the murderer. <laughs> That's impossible. No way. No way. Yeah, Jesse, I'm afraid you're gonna have to do better than that. Look at the facts. We caught Lucas with that pumpkin head right after poor Lizzie got taken out. I think you're just lying to protect him. Cassie's making a lot of sense right now. Do you have any evidence to back you up? There's something that's been bothering me for a while now. Something that happened in the Great Hall shortly after Torque Dog was hit with that trap. What's that? Go on, Jesse. You've got this. Where is this going? Shh. Let Jesse finish. Ivor's portrait had a red X on it. Actually, um, no, it didn't, Jesse. Oh, shoot, I guess I misremembered that. Well, no matter. I haven't even gotten to the really juicy stuff yet. That came next. When we were down in the basement, we found some very interesting items. Items for the White Pumpkin's evening festivities. And there was one very significant detail. What was this evidence? Shh, I think Jesse's about to tell everyone. The White Pumpkin had portraits all ready to go, pre-X'd out, one for each of us, except for Cassie. <gasps> Ooh, that's good. Okay, I think they're on the fence, but you can do this. Bring it home, okay? But it was the last piece of evidence, dear friends, that helped me really figure out who we were dealing with here. Cats, dozens of calico cats, and they all look just like Winslow. An amusing story, Jesse. But if you saw all these supposed cats just like mine, then what color is Winslow? It shouldn't be a problem if you saw a hundred. Cats? Really? Shh. Winslow is black, white, and orange. Cassie, is this all true? This whole thing has been about your crazy scheme to get a portal key, hasn't it? Killing whoever gets in your way. How very clever, Jesse. Well, I guess that's it then. You caught me. I am the murderer. I just don't believe this. I know. I was shocked too. I'm relieved, but also surprised. Always the quiet ones. But what did any of us ever do to you? Directly? Nothing. But you idiots had the one thing that I most desperately needed. I've been stuck in this stupid world, with its stupid two moons, for years! Trapped, with a portal right under my nose, but no key to open it. That is, until I finally heard that this world's portal key had been found. I knew it was one of you, so I tried my best to earn your friendship, figure out who had it. Cassie, how could you? We shared cookies together. Cookies! Well, the joke's on you, because Stampy had the portal key the whole time. What? Stampy? Really? Oh, come on! Look at the big picture, people! Come on, the big picture! We need to do something with you, Cassie Rose. I vote we build an obsidian prison and surround it with love. No, 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 no. I won't let you do that! I can't! No! This is your fault! You did this to me! Ah! Ah! I'll fight all of you! Each and every one of you! Oh! Another trap! We need to dig her out! After everyone she's hurt, she can dig herself out. She did terrible things, but no one deserves this! Yeah! Yeah! Wait! Look! I can't believe it. She's gone. What a way to go. Yeah, I guess.
guess in all the chaos, she forgot where her own traps were. Wow. That's awful. Poor Cassie. She did some terrible things, but no one deserves to be trapped away from home like that. If only she had just asked us for help, we could have avoided this whole thing. Hey, it's morning. I guess, I guess that's it then. Yeah, we're free. And we're alive. Let's not waste it standing around. There could still be traps everywhere in here. I've never been so happy to smell rotting flesh. Yeah, that is... Yikes, that is pretty rank. I feel bad thinking about the people who aren't here to smell it. Talk Dog, Sparkles, Lizzie, and Cassie, I guess. Uh, that's a good point. Yeah, I didn't mean to depress anyone. I just can't stop thinking about them. I tried my hardest, but there was nothing I could do. Oh, we all know that, Jesse. It's not your fault. Lucky for us, that portal brought you here. Speaking of which, I have no idea how to begin finding our exit portal. Well, Cassie said it was right under her nose, right? That's true. Maybe it's nearby. Hey, what do you know? There it is. A fabulous coincidence! So... I guess this is goodbye, huh? Yeah. Just let us know if you ever accidentally find yourselves in our world. <laughs> That's really nice of you, but I don't think we can really portal hop without a portal key. Oh, uh, well, I think Stampy's got you covered there. Ah, oh, that's right. I almost forgot about that. It was just meant to be a prank, a harmless prank, and I'm so sorry, so very, very sorry. Yeah, come on, it's Stampy. You know he would never actually try to hurt anyone. And so, the drama continues. Fascinating. Hey, it's cool. Guys, you can share it. You make, like, your own Order of the Stone. Yeah, alright. I guess I can live with yes, that. Yes, that's a wonderful idea! Well, I'm not great at goodbyes, so... I'm actually just gonna start walking home. Thanks for everything. Yeah, me too. Travel safe, you guys. What a strange, strange bunch of individuals. Cassie What's-Her-Name was talking about being trapped here from another world. What if she was one of the old builders? Portal keys, other worlds. It all adds up, I guess. I know. Oh, wow, I think you could be right. It totally makes sense. If it's true... I sort of thought old builders would be taller. I just can't believe that we finally met someone who might be an old builder, and she's a pumpkin-wearing serial killer. Typical. Well, here we are. Would you care to do the honors, Jesse? Huh? That's weird. Winslow? That's strange. I thought that was... What happened? I can't see a thing. Well, that's ominous. Do you hear that? Endermites! And there it is, Jesse! You're trapped! Stuck! <laughs> Just like I've been in this rotten world! I knew you weren't dead, Cassie. I knew it was way too easy. And yet you still walked right into my best and final trap. I don't know how much time you've spent with Endermites, but the poor things are eternally hungry. I would throw the flint and steel up here, 
before I drop you down to find out how sharp their teeth are. Uh, guys, I dropped the flint and steel when we fell. I have no idea where it went. <laughs> tick tock, tick tock, Jesse. What's it gonna be? The flint and steel? Or your lives? Just give me the flint and steel, and I'll let you go free. I don't believe her. Just because I hate this place doesn't mean it's so bad. I'm sure you're way dumber than I am. You'll probably acclimate and learn to love it. Okay, you're right. You win. We'll give you the flint and steel, but let us out first. <laughs> no, I'm not falling for that one. Nope, this is taking too long. I'll just let the Endermites eat you and fish it out of your inventory. It'll be the best fishing trip ever! <gasps> Wings for my pet! Activate the trap! Want something done right, Captain? Prepare for your death! <laughs> Guys! Jesse! Come on, Winslow! Stupid door? Oh, it's no use! Without a lever or button, we'll never get these iron doors open. Just hold on, guys. I'm gonna get up to the control panel. Oh, that is disorienting. Uh, just started going faster. She booby trapped her booby traps? That is so paranoid. What? You thought you could do it just like that? Trying to get leverage? Give me a key, Jesse. Guys, no! No! Hey, Jesse! Guys, holy crap, you're all alive, thank goodness. Yeah, for now. Don't worry, I found a lever. Throw it down. Okay, get ready. You guys get to safety. I need to find that flint and steel. You're not a fast learner, are you? I grow tired of this game, Jesse. The key? You didn't have it either! Oh no, it's mine! Nope. No! <laughs> no, we are going home. No! You can't do this! I've waited too long! It's mine! Cassie, I won't let you have it! No! No, Winslow! Don't touch that! No, 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 Winslow! Bad kitty, stop it! Winslow! Good boy, sweet kitty! Bring that to Master! Don't listen to the white pumpkin, Winslow. Bring the shiny thing to me! No! No! Yeah! <laughs> ah, there you are! After all this time, I'm free! Winslow, we have to go! If I told you about wandering off? I think you should give that back, Cassie. No, I'm afraid not. I'll give you one thing. You are incredibly tenacious! <laughs> Never act, Jesse. It stays on fire forever. Well, Winslow, that's the last of the obstacles. We're finally going home. <laughs> Come on, Winslow. Jesse. Just wanted to get your attention. I don't know 
with your playing at, but I'm bored with it. Out of yourself. Look at me! Stuck again! Out of Ender Pearls! And that's where she wanted us to end up! Trapped. In my own trap! <laughs> of course. Of course. You got what you deserve, Cassie. You've been ruthless and selfish and mean, and this is where it gets you. Wait. At least don't leave me here all alone. Give me my cat. My dear sweet Winslow. He's my best, my only friend. Please. Here, kitty. Here, you pain in the butt, kitty. Ah, there you are, Winslow. Who loves you? Come to master. Oh, there you are. There you are. You and me are together forever, just like it was always meant to be. Trapped together. Forever. Just me and my little Winslow. Wow, so she kept the real portal hidden down here all this time. Unless this one is a trap, too. I don't know if even she'd be that paranoid. Only one way to find out. Good sign so far. Yeah. No trick floors or arrows or anything. Okay, sure. But who's going first? We're a team. We all go together. Ready? One, two, two three. Adventure! All right, what's going on, dudes? It's me, Captain Sparkles, next time on Minecraft Story Mode. After defeating the dreaded White Pumpkin, will Jesse and the others find their way back to the portal hallway? And will it lead them home? Or instead, are they destined for more perilous adventures? Well, I guess I'll never know because I got pounded into the ground by a ton of sand. I guess you saw that, right? I'm in the middle of an amazing speech, and boom! I've suddenly become part of the floor. I mean, dude, you saw that, right? How much worse can it get? First they choose not to invite me on their adventure, and the next thing I know, I'm part of the floor. Anyway, one thing's for certain. Even without me, this is gonna be an amazing adventure. Previously on Minecraft Story Mode. That glow, that enchantment, is the work of a very old group of builders. A group so old that they existed even before the Order of the Stone.
Thanks, guys. I marked that one down as Fireworld. Wow. How'd you come up with that gem of a name? Okay, did I miss something here? Yeah, what's up with you? What's up with me? What's up? I I'm tired of all this useless portal hopping, trying to find our way home. What's on the other side of that portal? A lake of fire and netherrack? Awesome! Let's go there! That doesn't sound like the Petra I know. She loves fighting against impossible odds. When I have to, sure. But I don't want to fight just for the sake of fighting. Uh, Lucas, you're on fire again! Uh, See? Uh, this is what I'm talking about. We're stuck in a rut, go through a portal, avoid dying long enough to get back to this stupid hallway... Wash, rinse, repeat? Yes. It would be nice if whoever made these left some sort of signs. Guideposts. Now that you mention it, some of these do look more dangerous than others, like the one we just came through. Kind of like a warning that there is, in fact, nothing but fire on the other side? Ah! Petra, where are you going? It may not be guideposts, but someone must be able to tell us how to navigate these stupid portals. Okay, this one's redstone. Redstone means smart people. Hopefully smart enough to help us find the way home. At the very least, it's gotta be better than Fire World. Seems a bit flimsy. Petra, I promise you we'll find the portal home. It's that or die trying, right? So what are you saying here, huh? That you've made up your mind you're just gonna go through this portal and that's it? Maybe I am. Maybe I'm just saying that I'm tired of Jesse calling the shots every single time. Whoa. Yes. Whoa. Someone has to be the leader, and that someone is me. Really? Oh, I don't remember when we all voted to elect you the boss of me. Whoa, whoa, whoa! Everybody calm down! I'm sure Jesse didn't really mean that. Right, Jesse? I'm sorry, Petra. I think I just got carried away. I accept your apology. See? It's okay. Friends being friendly. Everybody being cool. Petra, if you really think that portal is the one we should go through... I do. Then that's what we're gonna do. Thanks, Jesse. Man, this place is desolate, huh? Nothing. How does anyone live here? Maybe there's, I don't know, like a redstone city or something behind that mountain over that hill? Hey, it's a rare biome. That's pretty cool, at least. Hey, Lucas, I've been meaning to ask you, what's that? Oh, uh, it's just a, you know, a book I picked up back at the White Pumpkin's place. It's all about different biomes and stuff. <laughs> Great idea, Lucas. How, uh... How you doing, Petra? So much for my hunch with that redstone portal, huh? No advanced civilization anywhere. I just really thought that redstone meant something. Don't beat yourself up, Petra. We've seen worse. Yeah. No one's on fire. No squids. No squids on fire. Maybe you're right. Hmm. 
Would you look at that? Sand. It looks like some sort of road. Going to write about it in your little journal? Hey, it's not little, but yes, probably. Ha! A road! That means civilization. It means someone built it. I think you're right. We're not gonna find out where it goes just standing around on it. Jesse's right. Come on! Sand, clay, and more sand. Hey, what was that? Ah, there are people here! Petra, wait! Petra? Shh, get down! What is it? Look. Whoa. Right? What in the world is that on the back of its head? I don't know anything more than you do, pal. Maybe that's this world's thing. Zombies and monsters come out in the daytime? Wouldn't be crazier than anything else we've seen. We should get a closer look, see what we can find out. Works for me. One zombie. What was the problem? Nuh uh. That thing was like super zombie. Stronger, tougher, faster. I hope there's not something wrong with me. Because that would be really, really inconvenient. Definitely seems weird. Maybe this world zombies are super buff? Seems possible. We had that much trouble with one. I can't even figure out how we'd fight a whole horde of them. <laughs> Well, that seems about right. I don't know about you guys, but I'd really like to figure out a better way to handle these super zombies. Well, that was unexpected. Maybe they're just peaceful? I bet they'd be even more peaceful if we kept as far away from them as possible. You know, just to be sure. Hmm. What on earth is that thing? Well, it definitely seems redstone-ish, right? Fascinating. Maybe those redstone things are what make the zombies so blank. Makes sense to me. I'm starting to wonder if we should... Oh! Ah! Ah! What is that? It's in my head! We've got to attack them before they kill us! I don't know what they're doing exactly, but it is definitely time to get out of here. Fine by me! Fine. <gasps> they're leaving? Just like that? They're going back the way we came from. This might sound crazy, but I feel like they're trying to lead us somewhere. You're right. That does sound crazy. It just doesn't make any sense. I think Lucas might be right. We should follow them, see where they go. So, let's get moving. This architecture is fascinating. It's all sand and clay based. It's awesome. 
Well, I guess this is the advanced civilization we were looking for. It's kind of what Petra was talking about. Hey, told you guys there would be redstone. Nice. Speaking of redstone, I'd like to investigate those things on the back of the zombies' heads. Ooh, yeah, I, I want to see those too. Wait, what are you doing, Ivor? What's it look like? I'm going to rip this redstone thing out of this zombie's head. For science. They're sleeping or something. It'll be easy. Okay, well then just don't wake them up. Okay, just rip it off. Fast. What are you waiting for, Ivor? That thing's not gonna pry itself out. Are you okay? It's like it shocked me. Yes, well, at least we learned something new. They can't be removed. Not with our bare hands, anyway. Look, there's someone. Think he's friendly? Hello? 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 Nope. Nothing for me, either. Maybe his hearing is bad or something? Ah, uh, that makes sense, I guess. Hang back a bit, guys. I'm gonna go talk to him. Okay, just... be careful. Yeah. I mean, there's still a lot about this place we don't know. Hi there. Uh, hello. My friends and I could just use... Ah! Who? The... What? Huh? Conversation go any better up close? We couldn't really hear from back there. We heard quite the... Well, not even a scream. More of a yelp. There is something very, very wrong going on here. We need to help these people. But why? We could just find our exit portal. Leave this world behind us and pretend we never saw it. <laughs> Jesse? Someone just ran into that house. Really? I don't see anyone. Come on. Whoever they are, maybe they've got some answers. Yes, yes, there you are. That's the ticket. Oh, these are perfect. Excellent. Just need to pocket these and get... Uh, hi? Ah! That you, Pama? What? Okay, then. Okay. Who sent you? I didn't survive this long to get picked off by some scrub. Especially some weird-dressed little scrub like you. Come on, then. Out with it. Who's Pama? Ha! Huh. Like you seriously expect me to fall for that one? Must think I'm some sort of... Wait, you're serious? You don't know? Okay. Eyes. Not red. Not red? But, but that must mean... But how? If there are more of you? This should be... It's impossible. Out with it. Who are you people? What's going on here? I'm sensing some hostility. Oh, what was your first clue? What was that name before? Uh, Pa Ma? I know it might sound crazy, but we came here through a portal. A portal? A portal portal? Really? Okay, 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 okay. Uh, been alone for a while, so this is a lot to take in right now. The people, the citizens of Crown Mesa, you've met them, right? Maybe there were some outside. There are... Uh distinctive looking now. Uh, sort of? I talked to a man outside. Just the one? Yeah. I know it's probably hard to understand right now, but if you meet any more people, please don't hurt them. They're my friends. They're good people. I promise. Oh, 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 no, no, no. I've wasted too much time. Uh, Jesse, 
Don't look now, but we've got company. Is this what you were scared of? There are only four of them and five of... Hey, where'd she go? Well, they're definitely not ignoring us anymore. Jesse, what do we do here? They don't look happy. They don't look anything. It's even freakier. Time to go. Good plan. With you all the way. <laughs> nope. We're stuck. You are not from this place. You're right. This isn't our home. We came here from someplace else. You have confirmed Palmer's suspicions. A decision has been made. Palmer has questions. <laughs> You will come to Palma. No way are you even considering this, Jesse. Since when do we take orders from whatever the heck these things are? Why not go? We certainly won't get to the bottom of this if we stick around here. We're not going anywhere with you. Yikes. I guess they're used to getting their way. All right, gang, let's try not to hurt anybody. Too badly. Ouch! Watch <laughs> it! Yeah. <laughs> 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 What... what happened? You went down. Hard. One punch and you were out. No! <gasps> what is... What is that? I have no idea. You don't suppose it's friendly, do you? Well, I guess it is kind of friendly looking. In a massively, hugely intimidating sort of way. Well, it is smiling. That's a positive sign, right? My apologies for the violent nature of this visit. I am Tama. Greetings. We have much work ahead of us, but maybe it can even be fun if you choose to cooperate, that is. Sorry if this is a dumb question, but am I talking to Pama right now? What is Pama? Some might call me a computer, a thinking machine, though there has never been a computer quite like me. My job is to be useful. Using redstone chips, I have connected to the people of this town, has helped them be useful, coordinated. I have made their world perfect. Thanks to me, there is no wasted activity, no wasted thought. I am connected to them, and they are connected to me. A beautiful web of productivity and efficiency. Whoa, hang on. I've seen what you did to this town, and it is not perfect. Processing information. Processing information? It said it's a thinking machine. Thinking must take time? I have consulted my databases, my list of everyone and everything in this world. And my conclusion is that you are not from here. I would like to ask you some questions. To expand my database, how did you get here? I am very excited for the acquisition of new knowledge. Thrilled, even. Oh, let's not talk about me. I'd rather hear about you. How did you get here? Answering a question with a question is unhelpful, diversionary, rude. So far, your performance in question answering has been inadequate. This makes me sad. Now, I must use alternative methods to retrieve my new information. Jesse! Petra! Oh. Ouch! We could have just talked this out, you know. I am just as upset as you are. Really, I am. Mama, you better let her go, or I promise you will regret it. I will let this one, Petra, go as long as you can provide me with the information I require. This world reached peak efficiency quite some time ago. Unfortunately, this meant that I had no more job to do, no more things or people to help. Until you arrived, that is. Tell me, what is your world like? Describe it. Is it very much like this one, or completely different? It's a heck of a lot greener than this place. Just imagine grass and trees instead of sand and clay. That sounds lovely. It really does. 
I think I would like to see this world for myself. If I could send my townspeople, my friends, through to other worlds, we could continue to grow and expand. It would be lovely. However you entered this world, there must also be an exit. Where is it? You could help me make everyone, everywhere, more efficient. Help them become useful. Help me to help you. Mama, I can't tell you because I don't know. Honest. After all, if we knew where it was, do you really think we'd still be here? Your logic is sound, and your tone is genuine. But the information is... not useful. My job is to be useful. I have completed my job here and must be allowed to expand and continue to be useful. Unfortunately, our conversation has not been helpful. Let me go! situation is looking a little dire, don't you think? I know you probably feel uncomfortable, concerned, but soon you will feel fine. Soon you will be useful. Sorry, Palma, but this brain is off limits, especially to evil thinking machines like you. That goes for my brain, too. It's like you told Petra, someone has to be in charge. That someone is me. Welcome, Lucas. Yay! Your turn, Jesse. Get out of their heads! But their heads are full of so much lovely information. It makes me happy. What adventures you had. A killer mansion. Huh. Every time Palma gets new information, it seems to get distracted while it processes. Yes, like a computer version of thinking. Do you think there's a way to distract Papa long enough for us to escape? A city in the sky. Towns and mountains eaten by a living storm. I think we should tell Palma a riddle, the trickiest one we can think of. Oh! You've met so many people. Yeah! We just ask Palma something really confusing, get it all busy busy, and run out of here. Jesse! That's fantastic! What you're describing is a paradox. A self-contradictory statement. I really think it would work on Palma. What do you think would work on me? Uh, nothing? It did not sound like nothing. It sounded like suspicious whispers. Those make me... suspicious. Palma, trust me when I tell you. Trust no one. So, if I trust you, I should not trust anyone. But if I do not trust anyone, I should not trust you. It's working! So I should not follow your advice and therefore not trust anyone. Meaning, I should trust you when you say trust no one. Error! This data is contradictory. Does not, 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 not compute. Error! Diverting power. Yes, ha uh -huh. It worked! Nice work, new guys, but I'd get out of there fast if I were you! Palma's a quicker learner than you think! Paradox status on hold. Gas, my creator, have you finally agreed to merge with me? Oh, don't you start with that again! Come on, you two, this way! I'm sensing some history here. Please do not leave, creator. Stop calling me that! Wait, did Palma just say she created it? It does sound unbelievable. But I'm certainly interested in learning more. It is time to join. join. I'm sorry, but they're beyond your help right now. Come on, you gotta run!
面。so disorienting. Ha! Maybe you got a shot after all, new guys. Better stick with me, though. Wow. She is amazing. Oh, no. Run! Whoa! <laughs> oh. A signal would have been nice. Gotta tell you guys, that was some pretty smart work distracting Palmer. Now we just need to get off the grid. Get back into hiding. That way we can figure out what to do next. Some plan. You watch that sass now. <clears throat> yes, ma'am. That machine's got our friends. I still might be able to save them. But I really need your help. What kind of help? I need to get to my secret lab. Well, let's get there fast. Those zombies aren't just stronger than I've ever seen. They're also faster. We'll need to split up. You head to the lab while I lead these mobs away. Got it? I'm gonna use the back route. Throw them off our trail. You sure you'll be okay on your own? Hey, I've managed to stay alive this long, haven't I? <laughs> Just start walking that way. And look for the big difference. You'll see it! What? She is... Intriguingly cryptic, isn't she? That's weird. <laughs> so strange. It's like an exact copy. Or is it? Seems just a little off. Huh, that cactus isn't in the painting. Oh. Time to see what it does. Quickly, quickly! Hope you've got an idea for what comes next. Working on it. water we can aim for that Looks like I'm showing everything it's got at us Just one after the other Wastefulness. Let's not wait around for these mobs to start paying attention. We should keep moving. Palma keeps sending them straight over the edge. There's no need to rush. And looks like they just figured it out. Brace yourself. Looks like something happened to it. Its eyes. Their color changed as soon as it hit the water. Which might mean... Hey, hey, Ivor, I dare you to poke it. Uh, no thank you. Even though it does look completely shut down. Huh, the water must have busted the connection or something. Like washing away the redstone. Which means Palma's control can be broken after all. <laughs> once a zombie, always a zombie, I suppose. So once we deactivate Lucas and Petra's chips, they'll go back to normal too. It seems like a fair assumption. 
They just keep on coming. How are we supposed to stop them? Okay, we got a lever. I bet it's connected to the hundreds of sand blocks up there. One cave in coming up. It's forest! That should do the trick. Let's see about this secret lab. I just hope whatever's there can help us. It will make helping Petra and Lucas a lot easier if there's something useful at this secret lab. Blah! Palmer's completely ruined the word useful for me now. I'll go anywhere, do anything, and work with anyone, as long as it helps Petra and Lucas. You're a good friend, Jesse. I must say, that woman has been a most intriguing person so far. I'm still not entirely sure what to make of her. Granted, her creation nearly ended up destroying this world, but considering my own history, I'm inclined to give her the benefit of the doubt. Hey, she definitely helped us out of a tight spot. That makes her cool in my book. True. If she hadn't stepped in when she did, we wouldn't even be having this conversation. I wouldn't mind getting to know her better. Uh, I... Happy to hear you giving credit where credit's due. What did you hear? It was nothing. Uh-huh. Blonde guy called you Jesse, right? Yeah, and this is Ivor. Our friends who we left back there are Petra and Lucas. And you are... You can call me Harper. You could also explain why you led Palmer's forces right to my secret lab. Seems to me I've got a whole lot of angry computer-controlled monsters out there waiting to tear some new holes in my lab. It's not my favorite. Yeah, that one's my bad. Sorry about that. Uh-huh. I'll be sure to use that sorry for protection when that crazy computer is knocking on my door. What are you doing in this world anyway? You here to try to steal my secrets? What? No! Just figured I'd ask. Better safe than sorry and all that. Bunch of you are the first people I've seen come out of the portal network in forever. So you have to excuse me if it made me a little anxious. Have you been spying on us or something? No, I just know where the portal network spits people out, and I've never seen you before, so logic. You know that much about how this portal network operates? I should think so. I helped build the dang thing. But that would make you <gasps> an old builder. <laughs> Forgot you people called us that. Never was my favorite name. Makes me sound like some sort of living statue. I just... I can't believe it. Well, if you're an old builder, can't you help my friends get free of Pama? I'm afraid that's a little out of my abilities right now. Pama's just too powerful. And besides, there's actually no exit portal back to the portal network from this world. What? Why not? I destroyed it so that Pama couldn't get free. It was impulsive, but it was the only way I could think of to make sure Pama didn't try and spread to other worlds. Keep trying to make things useful. Okay, well, that's fine. Can't you just build another one? You basic or something? I can't do that while Palma's still running. Maybe it's not getting through to you, but Palma is dangerous. If it got into the portal network, it could go to any other world and make it just like this one. Barren, dead, everything walking and talking in perfect unison, just like Palma wants. So, Palma, what is it? I swear, I made Palma with good intentions. It was designed to automate things, make everything more efficient, use monsters to help with farming or mining. Until the day Palma decided that the townspeople weren't efficient enough already. Started making them useful. That was a long time ago. Since then, I've just been trying to stay one step ahead Figure out how to stop it. And you just let Pama start shoving chips in people's heads? That's horrible. Let nothing. I did everything I could to try to convince Pama to stop, but it wouldn't listen. That's why I have to help it or shut it down without getting chipped myself. When Pama chips someone, everything that person knows gets absorbed into its database. If I got chipped, Pama would know how to build an exit portal. So you can see why I'd want to stop that from happening at any cost. Yes, that is quite the extraordinary risk. So what you're telling me is that your brain is super dangerous and can't go anywhere near Palma. How are you supposed to help us with any of this? I do think I can help you with, with Palma, your friends, getting out of here. But to do it, we're going to need to go to my lab. 
What's in your lab? It's complicated. Before we head inside, we better get my defense system going. Don't want those chipped up creeps following us in. Grab my bucket for me. Ron's got it. Ron? Hello, friend Harper. I am happy to see you, my friend. Harper? Hey, don't you judge me. Being alone gets lonely. Happy to help, friend. Thanks. See? I needed a way to confuse Pama in case it ever found a way down here. That's why all this is way more complicated than it needs to be. Wow, what a builder. Make sure you don't drool on my floor now. So you know about Pama's weakness to water then? Yeah, I do. I'll admit you figured it out way faster than I did though. Once Pama caught on to its weakness to water, it started eliminating as much of this world's water as it could find. This water down here, it might be all that's left. Oh no! I still need to activate the other cauldrons! Hold them off to buy me more time! And whatever you do, don't get caught. I'm not about to get left alone again. You could have made this much easier for yourself. It is useless to defy us. You only delay the inevitable. Get out of their heads, Palma. Your friends have been made useful. You too will be made useful. Don't do this, Petra, please. I know all your moves now, Jesse. Why even bother fighting? Petra, please, you have to fight it. There! Lucas, let's try and talk this out. The time for talking over. Remember the last cauldron. Well, then do it quick! There! Darn it. Jesse, I, I, I'm, I'm sort of remembering something from when I was chipped that seemed very important to Pama. Tall, glowing red lights, but I, I, I can't quite make out what they are. It's like a fuzzy dream, kind of, kind of giving me a headache, but I, I can try to remember it more clearly if you need me to. It was so strange sharing other people's senses and thoughts and memories at the same time. It's all like one big blur now. Yes, what else can you remember? Sorry, I... I can't see it any clearer. It hurts too much to focus. Maybe it'll come back to me later. Okay, we may be down, but we're not out. Harper told us to find her headset thing. We just have to find whatever it is before Palma chips Harper and starts downloading her mind. What's so important about this Harper person? 
She may have come across like just another weirdo, but she's actually an old builder. She built the portal network, which hopefully means she can help us get home. That's a pretty good reason to rescue somebody. We're going to work with her to shut Palma down, save her people, and that will hopefully free Lucas too. Whoa. Before she was abducted, Harper gave me this. She told me to give it to someone named Harry. And that would find this headset thing? That's what she said. Jesse, are you sure Harper hasn't, you know, completely lost it? When people are by themselves for a really long time, it's bad for their health. It does look like she's lost her way a bit. And found it again, leading right to Crazy Town. Watch your tone. She is a genius and should be treated as such. Although even I have to admit this is a bit much. She may have built this place a little weird, but I guess we shouldn't judge her too harshly. Especially when we need her help to save everyone who's been chipped by Palma. Good point. Right now we need to focus on finding the headset. For starters, let's see if we can figure out who Harry is and why he wants flowers. A little weird. Good morning, Orker. It is Harry. It is always so good to see you. You should not let yourself feel guilty. You have the best of intentions. You are like a flower in the desert and bring joy to those who have none. Okay. Here you go, Harry. Nice, looks like I'm on the right track. anything to craft with. These might come in handy. Awesome! Thanks for saving me back there, Jesse. I know with both me and Lucas chipped, it can't have been an easy decision. I don't know what I would have done in your position. Petra, you're one of my best friends. Of course I was gonna rescue you. And I'm appreciative, believe me. I just really hope we get back to Lucas soon. Stone torch, and hopefully, one step closer to getting that headset. What's going on? 
on, Jesse? Is it working? I'm starting to see something. What are you seeing? Is Palmer there? You're not going to believe this, but I'm a zombie. Oh, you're too hard on yourself. I'm controlling a zombie, like from the inside. It's like some sort of mob view or something. What a preposterous name. I love it. Wow, I wish you guys could see how cool this is. So cool. Remarkable. How is this possible? I mean... I've always heard tales of what the old builders were capable of. But this, this is just remarkable. Harper would have to explain the specifics, but I think... It's like this headset lets me control things that are hooked into Palma. Unbelievable. There are so many questions I want to ask Harper. Really is a shame she was captured. That spider jockey had to haul Harper all the way back to town. You traveled there instantly. We can't let Pama win. I better get moving if I want to reach Harper in time. Let's hope she isn't too far away from this zombie you're controlling. They must be taking Harper to where they put those redstone mind control chips on Lucas and Petra's heads. So that's where I should go first. I seem to remember there being a stairway. You mean it's been removed? I guess visitors aren't being encouraged. Hmm. I would suggest building a tower up there, but that's not going to help you get back down once you freed Harper and Lucas. Yeah, you're right. Huh, clay. Unfortunately, I can't get it without a pickaxe, so it's pretty much useless. Sand. Not the most exciting material, but I can still craft with it. Ugh, I don't like sand. Stuff gets everywhere. Huh, let's see what I can crap. Sweet! Enough of these, and I can build my way up there and make sure that everyone else can get back down too. These should do the trick. Sorry to craft the room, but I'm afraid I need to be going. Ivor, the signal, it, it blooped out for a second. Interference detected. That can't be good. Drone sequencing initiated. Trace subroutine initiated. I'm attracting even more attention. Is that you, Jesse? Uh-oh. Hello, Jesse? Pama? Pama? No. Just what do you think you are doing, Jesse? This is a rather silly thing to do. Don't you think? Surrounded. Once my creator is made useful, all your knowledge will be mine. Yay! I will create an exit portal. After that, everything will be useful. I'm here to make sure that doesn't happen. You are rather silly, aren't you, Jesse? Ha, ha. I cannot allow your disruptive behavior to continue. Let go. We're all a bunch of happy mobs, right? Let My go. My team will soon isolate your location, and you will be removed. Yeah. Uh, uh. A skeleton now. Oof. Poor old zombie me. Uh, Jesse, what are you doing? Technology is so awesome. And you look so awesome while using it, I assure you. 
Interference remains. Crud. Palm is still on my tail, though. Drone sequencing reinitiated. Trace subroutine reinitiated. Buddy, but better you than me. My creator, I am so glad you are here. Harper! Harper? Please, you are my creator. Please join me so we may maximize usefulness. Nothing doing, Kama. I built you to help people, not use them. Just stop this. Stop trying to make everything useful. That is my job. That is why you made me. Once I download your knowledge, we may expand to other worlds together, and make everything useful. Interference remains. And no sign of Lucas. Drone sequencing re-initiated. Trace subroutine re-initiated. Termination <laughs> sequence activated. Harper doesn't have much time, and neither do I. Game over, Jesse. Resistance is not useful. Trace subroutine running. Drone sequencing active. Your game is over, Pama. Oh no, time to move. If you want to know what's inside my head, you're going to have to take it. Never fear, Jesse's here, and I'm going to rescue you. Did you find her? I'm sure she's thrilled to see you. Trace subroutine running. Drone sequencing active. Wait a minute. Jesse? You figured out how to use my transmigrational headset. Trace subroutine running. Drone sequencing active. Quick, follow me. That's what I said. Uh-oh, that sound tends to mean trouble. Where do you plan to run? The town is surrounded. Reinforcements will make sure that my creator cannot leave. There's too many of them! You cannot play hide and seek forever, Jesse. It's a boring game. And I am too strong. There! That door leads to Palma Central Core. Jesse, you and your friends, you're our only hope. Harper! You must remove the redstone heart! Remove the redstone heart! Jesse, what's going on? You can still save everyone! I'm so tired of being dragged away while I'm trying to explain things! Don't worry, I won't let you down. I promise! Interference located. Drone identified. Hide and seek is on Jesse. I think we can make that headset useful. Begin termination sequence. Jesse, are you okay? There's no time to waste. It sounded like you were talking to Harper. And Palma? Yeah, Palma caught up to me. Not good. We need to get back to the door I just saw and get inside Palma's core. But what happened to Harper? I, I think... I think she's already been chipped. But we can still end Palma. Without Harper? It seems we're sunk. Harper's the only one who knows how to shut down that monstrosity. 
Hama isn't gonna win. Not on my watch. Harper showed me the entrance to Palma's core and told me that we need something called the Redstone Heart. Redstone Heart? Whoa, I just brought back a, a flash. Those red lights I mentioned before, there are three of them, Redstone Spires, and, and I think they have something to do with the heart. That's, that's all I've got. Sorry. No, that's perfect, thank you. But how are we supposed to destroy these spires or whatever we're looking for? I don't know if you've noticed, Ivor, but Pama stuff tends to not react well to water. Let's go wreck the heck out of Pama. Lead the way, Jesse. Come on. Quick, hide. Where is the entrance to this Palma core anyway? On the other side of all these moms. There are so many of them. You guys have anything useful? These are my last two potions from home. I held on to them after our Sky City adventure. A potion of invisibility. And a potion of swiftness. These might come in handy. I always love a good button. Cool. Buttons can activate TNT, but I still need some way to connect them together. Hmm, uh, sticks? Not sure how they're gonna help us, though. We've got TNT, some redstone dust, and a button. All I have to do is lay down a trail of this TNT, use the redstone dust as a fuse, stick a button to the end, push it, and boom! Path cleared. That's great and all, but... How are you gonna lay down all that TNT and redstone without super zombies attacking from every direction? These should do the trick. Choose, Jesse. Quickly now! The possibilities are endless. Well, not endless, but still. Two very good possibilities! I'll take invisibility. I didn't see that coming. With this, I'll be able to sneak around and set up all the TNT and redstone without Palma seeing me at all. Don't worry, Jesse. We'll be right behind you. Potion, do your stuff. I'm invisible. <laughs> shut down Palma before it can send its ship forces through it. I will find you, Jesse. I have lots of friends. Uh-oh. Hmm. 
Ivor, Petra, give me your buckets. <laughs> Don't worry, Jesse. We'll hold them off. Go finish this and save Lucas. Mission. Your bravery is an impressive quality. I look forward to studying that aspect of your personality once you have been made useful. <laughs> Out of simple curiosity, how exactly did you plan to deactivate me? Now that you understand your mission is a futile one, you might as well share it with me. I'm gonna make it rain, Pama, all over you. It will take more than water to defeat me. We'll see about that. I don't have time for this. Imagined. 
Don't worry, Harper. Palma is nearly finished. Good. Jesse, behind you! Ouch, is that the preservation protocol initiated? What's happening? We shorted out the processing tower! Palma was drawing the Redstone Heart to save itself! Get to the Redstone Heart and rip it out before it's too late! You bet I will. We've got company. Why did I think this would be easy? Your friend is tough. You sure you can handle this? Why keep trying, Jesse? You will only fail just as you have failed to save Ruben. Just as you have failed to meet your friends back home. You will fail to defeat me and Axel, Olivia, and everyone on your homeworld will soon be made useful. Drawing it out like this won't hurt me, but it might hurt your friend. And you will be made useful. You'll never make me useful, Palm, I can promise you that. You are fighting me with bad jokes. Well, not intentionally. Hey, Lucas, come on. Let's see what you Careful, got. Careful, Jesse. I hope you know what you're doing. You cannot win. I honestly think you should sit down and think things over. No time to spare. I gotta get to that heart. Enough of this. have severed their connection. Lucas, you better not be giving up on me right now, because you are way too tough for some computer to take you down. Please. Wow. Never knew you cared so much. He's okay. Ouch! 
just really sore. I can't believe I tried to kill you. I am so sorry. All I could hear was Pama's voice, you know, telling me what to do. I, I tried to fight back, but I... I couldn't. Hey, apologies not necessary, okay? That was Pama, not you. Sorry about knocking you around, though. I don't know. I kind of remember it the other way around, actually. Bygones, right? It's something else, isn't it? What is that? This. This is the Redstone Heart. Beautiful. And dangerous too, right? I mean, if it was inside a Pama, then it's gotta be bad. Yes, it's obviously dangerous. Actually, the heart is just a power source. Nothing inherently evil about it. Now that the Redstone Heart is empowering Pama, it can't hurt anyone. I wonder what we should do with it. It can help you find your way home. No way! That thing can help us get home? Let's go then. The faster the better. Why didn't you say so before? <laughs> if we actually made it through this alive, I thought you'd like a nice surprise. I'm ready to leave this core behind. The whole town will be waking up. We should be there to say hello. Plus, this place gives me the creeps. We did it. Ah, to be in total control of my own brain again. I choose where to go. I choose what to say. Just remember, you were only chipped for a little while. The rest of the townspeople, though? Yeah, it must be a strange feeling to suddenly be awake and aware after such a long time under Palma's thrall. one who saved us who are you you fought so bravely all of you you guys are awesome i don't know if we can ever thank you enough well i'm jesse and we're the order of the stone boom we walk the worlds seeking adventure and doing good deeds wow well thank you we owe you everything you're right jesse and the order really are heroes we couldn't have done any of this without them. Harper, is that you? Um, yes. Hi, Harry. Oh, wow, he's the real Harry, like from the lab. You, you didn't do this to us, did you? You did? Well, I, I mean, hey, it, it's complicated. You have to understand Our that- Our home's destroyed. Everything we built, gone. Harper built Palma with good intentions. What happened here is Palma's fault. <laughs> so what, we're just supposed to forgive her now? No, I don't think so. Harper stripped this place bare. How are we supposed to rebuild? Are we supposed to deal with this mess all by ourselves? Do we just rebuild and forget about what happened? Whatever you decide to do, Harper will make things right and help you clean it all up. I... I will? Yeah. She will? Yeah. Right, Harper? Yes. Yes, I will. After I help these travelers find their way home, I'll come back, help you all find new resources, and we'll make this world great again. Worth a shot, I guess. Well, I think that's our cue to set out for home. Again. Thank you for being so understanding, Jesse. I just hope these people can do the same when I come back again. You helped free them. I'm sure they'll come around. I hope so. Good luck, everyone. Yeah, we'll need it. Just one more thing left to do. Jesse, for all the grief we gave each other getting to this world, I'm really glad we came. Yeah, Petra. Me too.
right back where we started. Is it weird that I'm happy to see this place again? This hallway is still pretty creepy, but I'm just glad we're going home. I know, right? <laughs> I've been loving adventuring and learning things, but it would be nice to do it on our own world for a while. <laughs> now, when we built this place, we also made something that sort of acts like a compass slash map slash navigator. We called it the Atlas. It helps chart routes between the worlds. And you have this Atlas, right? Uh, no. No, I don't. But, but I know who does. Ah. Uh. Huh. Guess I should have seen that coming. So you lied to us. You said you could get us home. Now, 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 hang on. No, I didn't. Technically. I told you I could help you find the way home. And I still will. We just need to find the Atlas first. Don't you worry. We'll just go right in, ask for the Atlas, and then you'll be home. No muss, no fuss, easy. Funny. Whenever someone says that, my instincts start screaming, danger. In order to find the Atlas, we need to track down the rest of the old builders. Still don't like that name. How do we find them? Which portal do we go through? Oh, you don't have to go through another portal. What you're looking for has been right here the whole time. And there you go. All it's waiting for is the key. That's the heart. you're seeking, the old builder's atlas, your way home, they're all right up those stairs. Previously on Minecraft Story Mode. If these builders truly existed, and if you found their temple, that means we're one step closer. That's not what I was expecting. See, this is what I'm talking about. We're stuck in a rut, go through a portal, avoid dying long enough to get back to this stupid hallway. Wash, rinse, repeat? Yes. It would be nice if whoever made these left some sort of signs. Guideposts. You can call me Harper. Your bravery is an impressive quality. I look forward to studying that aspect of your personality. Once you have been made useful. We'll see about that. What is that? This is the Redstone Heart. Beautiful. It can help you find your way home. Why didn't you say so before? The answers you're seeking, the old builder's atlas, your way home, they're all right up those stairs. Adventure? Wow, that, that's a lot of stairs. And all revealed by the Redstone Heart. Amazing. Yeah, not bad, right? After you. All right, time to go home. Yes, please. I can't believe we're finally this close. Ah. <sighs> Feels like just yesterday we were building this place. Still don't agree with some of the aesthetic choices. Very odd to be back. Oh, you just love being mysterious, don't you? Is that like your favorite thing? What? I don't know what you're talking about. I just try not to think about this place very often. Kinda thought I'd never need to come back to tell you the truth. 
Oh, I'm sensing a story here. I guess you could say that. What are you hiding from us now, Harper? Nothing. Nothing. Well, almost nothing. Just the others might not be 100% happy to see me. Others? You mean we're going to meet more old builders? Still don't like it when you call us that. Yep, but I gotta warn you, they're not as friendly as I am. I'm probably the, uh, nicest old builder. Uh-huh. Old builder social politics. My goodness. Hey, I'm just glad you're on our side. Old builder or not, you've been pretty cool. Well, thank you, Jesse. I hope I can keep living up to that. Well, you're gonna give us the Atlas and then we can go home, right? Kind of? The Atlas isn't exactly mine to give. It belongs to the other, uh, old builders. And, well, they might not want to give it up. Why do I get the feeling there's a lot you're not telling us? Good instincts? If they don't want to give it up, then I guess we'll just have to take it. Don't get too hasty on me now. If you play your cards right, they should give you the Atlas. What do you mean? You'll see when you get there. Jesse, come here. Are you sure we can trust Harper? Look at all of our interactions with her so far. They haven't exactly been great, remember? No, I think she's definitely hiding something. But if we're going to get home, we need her help. Agreed. Don't worry, okay? We're gonna get that Atlas and get home. I'm sorry to hear you feel that way, Jesse. Sorry. I just couldn't resist a good eavesdrop. I promise you both, I am trying to help. You just gotta go through there. A, a door? Like a regular door? Time to step through and find out. Ah! Very what? bright. Oh. I see a thing. Before you go in there, I have one more piece of advice. Don't die! What? <laughs> the match my isn't that special i just what in the world did harper dump us into and why like some sort of crazy game really you think this is a no, game no, no. jesse's right spleef is it tight no it's a game you try to knock the floor out from other people and make them fall ah, be like TNT back of the gladiators. Nice one, bro. Who do you think you are? Whoa. Now, I and think... And now you're just trying to be all buddy-buddy? Okay, none of you are responding like you should be to what's going on, so are you all crazy? Mind-controlled? What? Whoa. Hang on, dude. I am not in charge here, okay? It's them. 
Yes, we are the ones in charge here. And we have never had to stop a match, ever. It definitely is strange, Mavia. What is going on here? I want an explanation, immediately. This is going to require some reconfiguring of the stats, for sure. Well? My friends are dead! You killed them! Wait, wait, wait. A and that's why you're ruining our games? Yeah, come on, jeez, how petty are you? Ugh, lashing out just because your friends were eliminated. Kind of sore loser behavior, don't you think, sport? It is part of the games. Oh, I've got a game we could play. I'll go first. Oh, well, if that isn't the cutest little threat I've ever heard. Are you people crazy? People are dying out here. And you're still talking about games? Oh, wow. You don't know, do you? Your friends aren't dead. Wait, what? How? When people are eliminated in the games, they don't die. <laughs> that would be wasteful. <laughs> Obviously. They come back, and then we have them go work in the mines. Jesse! <gasps> Your friends are alive and well. It's just a game. Let my friends go. Sorry, sport, but they were eliminated. <laughs> Them's the rules. It's called respawning, champ. We're not monsters. <clears throat> in our games, when people die, they reappear in one of our respawn zones. I hear it's still pretty painful, though. Well, Sport, now that you've come and interrupted our games, I'm sure our fans would love to know how you got here. Spill! Oh, why bother? They all end up in the mines. We're from another world. Yeah? You and everyone else here, Pipsqueak. You know what you are, champ? You're just a little gate crasher. And what do we do with gate crashers? Kill them and send them to the mines. Back off, muscles. Jesse's with me. Well, if it isn't Harper. I must say, this return is unexpected. You're telling me I'm here for Jesse. Oh, really? So tell me, champ. Why do you think Harper brought you here? My bet's on pet. That'd be pretty cute, right? Oh, adorable. We came for the Atlas. I want you to hand it over so my friends and I can go home. Straight into the point. Well, I'd like it. If I weren't simmering with barely controlled rage right now. Hmm. We're, of course, not going to do any of those things, but admirable try. Well, that's all well and good, but I'm confused. Why would we give anything to someone like you? You weren't invited. And you interrupted Spleef. Because I have something you want. Oh? <laughs> you must be joking, Hadrian. Joking. Oh, jokes! Ha <laughs> ha! Hilarious! Nope, not joking. I doubt you'd have anything that would interest us. Send them to the mines. They're cheaters. Let's make their lives miserable. For fun. What about this? Huh? <gasps> I present... The Redstone Heart. Huh. Seems like only yesterday someone took off of that and vowed never to return with it. Oh, but I didn't bring it back. Jesse did. Thing's no toy, Slugger. How about you just hand it over, huh? It could be, uh, pretty dangerous if you don't know how to use it. <coughs> Harper, huh? Oh, don't you get started, Mevia. Nuh-uh, Hadrian. You're not getting one finger on this thing until you hand over my friends. I'm not a big fan of haggling, Jesse. Here's the way my offer works. You give me the heart. You and your friends go back down to those portals. I never look at your insignificant face again. Wait, without the Atlas? But how will we get home? So, not my problem. This is a one-time offer. You've caught me in a forgiving mood. That's your idea of an offer? Seriously? That's terrible. Terrible? I'll tell you what's terrible. Hadrian. Well, I do admit the kid is not afraid of playing a little hardball. Even I think that's admirable. 
Well, you need the Atlas. And I need competitors. After your unexpected intrusion, I seem to be short a team. So how about this? You play in the games. If you win, the Atlas is yours to keep. It's a good deal, Jesse. Trust me. Everyone enjoys these games. Can't wait to see what the other games are. I hope they're fun. Well, there you have it. A deal's been struck, huh? To the games! All right, then. I suppose we can carry forward with the official oh, edition. enough. Add it on your own time. Oh, but there's one other thing I want. If they lose, Harper has to go to the mines, too. Oh, gravel. Harper, want to be a friend and show our new competitors to where they'll be staying? Sure thing. Jesse, this was not part of the plan. Wrapped up in one of Hadrian's deals. Ugh! He's not one to let other people get the upper hand, you know. Sort of hoped I had left all his negotiating behind me. Don't know how I put up with him for so long. Wait, but this was your plan. You said you had it all worked out. Yeah, about that. I didn't think you'd willingly come here. I might have acted in haste before uh, I could work out all the details. You don't say? Ugh. I'm s I'm sorry, okay? I really am. Let me show you where the competitor village is. We used to have competitors from all over travel here to play in the games. At least until the others ruined it. What happened? Hadrian and Mevia let power go to their heads. They started pitting people against each other, just for sport. Forcing people to be here. It isn't right. Come on, I'll show you where you'll be staying. Well, here it is, the competitor village. Sort of a home away from home for all the people playing the games. Wait, are all of these people competitors? Yep. At least the ones who aren't stuck working in the quartz mines. Those poor souls are just waiting for their next shot. Mining is tough work. I feel bad for the people that are too scared or weak to play in the games. They're just stuck here, unable to leave. Doesn't seem too terrible. At least they get to play games all day. Oh no, you don't get it. This isn't fun to them. They didn't make a deal like you did, Jesse. They're stuck here till they win the games. And what if they lose? Hadrian sends them to toil in the mines. If they're lucky, they'll get another shot at the games. But it might take a while. I'm gonna go confer with Otto. We go way back and, well, he's usually the most reasonable of the three. Wait, we still haven't found Lucas or Ivor. <sighs> I'm thinking that Hadrian must have sent them through the portal to the mines which is technically against the rules. No one's supposed to go there until their whole team is eliminated. Nuh -uh, no way, they do not get to put my friends in their stupid minds. Yeah, we gotta bust them out of there. Hadrian always was one for maximizing useful uh, uh, productivity. See what you can do here. I'm gonna try and find Otto. I've got confidence in you, Jesse. You might just get out of this. Gotta get our friends out of the mines quick. I'll go ask some of the other competitors. Um, hello? Don't you hello, face meat! Wait a minute. You're the cheater that blew up my friend, Slab! And face meat doesn't like cheaters. Don't stand around breathing up all of face meat air. Face meat prefers dweeb free air. Do you know where my friends are? In the mines. Duh. And they're not going anywhere. Not on face meat's watch. 
That doesn't mean just stand there. Staring at face meat. With your face. Please, what can I do to get them out? Well, now that you mention it. Face meat was busy slamming mad raps at the gym and missed lunchtime. You see? So face meat's hungry. Do something about that, and face meat'll think about getting your friends out. You were, like, amazing. I know. And I am so super sorry about your friend. I get your probs upset. Especially since you had no idea what was going on. <laughs> it, um, well, it wasn't very chill. I understand, Nell. These games are nuts. Man, I am so glad to hear that. I do not want to be on your bad side. I gotta say, you keep playing like that and you'll be, like... Tim status. Tim who? Tim. Like the legend of Tim Tim on the signs. He like won, okay? Like you could. People could like already be talking. They're gonna like say stuff. Compare you to Tim. It might be a little uncomfortable. Or not. It's cool. That's right. I'm gonna win the games too. No doubt. No doubt. Okay, don't, like, tell anyone, but I would rather be on your team. Green team captain is, like, pfft, she is so not chill. Listen, I still feel super bad about taking out your friend. I owe you, so if you ever need anything, you just come and ask, shall? No, I mean, seriously, I mean anything at all. Like, I want to help out people. Like, be a good person, you know? Well, actually, I'm trying to bribe that guard, face me, and he's hungry. Well, um, if I had some wheat, I would totally give you some. Sadly, I don't have a secret stash, and if you didn't ask, I wouldn't loan you some. Wink. Come on, quick before anybody sees us. That should be enough for your bread. All of it? Of course, brah. It'll grow back. Just, uh, leave the seeds, yeah? One. Planting as I go. And that's another. <laughs> Sweet! And that should all grow back soon. Nice! Looks like that should be enough for some epic loafage. Yeah, that means bread. Hopefully bread will be enough to get that face meat guy to help me. Righteous. They don't let us use crafting tables, though. Then I guess I'll just have to make my own. Where can I get some wood planks? Hey, I remember a bunch of, like, wood planks by the dojo. I think they train by, like, punching them or whatever, you know? Thank you, Nell. Hey, no prob. Happy to help. Catch you later, yeah? Uh, hey. You're the one that eliminated the one decent member of my team. I'll barely be able to get through to the next round. I mean, I know I'm good at this, but I'm not that good. Your stupid teammate killed Lucas. Yeah, I couldn't believe Nell pulled that off either. Don't forget they respawned, duh. Don't cry about it. We were doing what we had to do to win. Until you screwed up everything. Next round! If I don't get you, one of the gladiators will. <sighs> you haven't been here long? So you wouldn't know. But the gladiators are trained for everything. And they are completely under Hadrian's control. Good luck, Em. I know that the best person will win. Seriously? You know you're looking at the best person. I feel kind of bad for you. Most of us got snatched against our wills, but you got tricked into coming willingly. 
That old builder should have told you these games were impossible. Looks like Tim won. Yeah, Tim. Yeah, well, good luck with getting home. That should be enough for a table. Aha! That's some fine crafting. Let's make some food. Boom! Bread! Now I should be able to get my friends back. Um, hello? Hey, face meat, got some bread for ya. Bread, huh? Hm. It's not cake, but face meat is starving. Mm, it's so warm. Oh, and full of carbs. Mm, fresh bread. Please get my friends. <laughs> face meat appreciates the politeness. Hang on. Hey, Petra. Hey, glad to see you already figured out the whole nether portal thing. Lucas and Ivor should be right out. One of those huge guys is getting them for me. Nice, nice. It seems like we keep ending up in situations. First with Palma, now with that stupid sploof game. Well, what I'm trying to say is, thanks. You know, don't make this awkward. It was just on my mind, and... I thought I should say something. Hey, of course I saved you, okay? You're one of my best friends. Well, I just hope Ivor isn't too jealous. I'm glad you're with me in this, Petra. Me too. Here! Oh, it responds! Jesse, man, is it good to see you. You too, Lucas. And Ivor. Uh, what are you wearing? Right. Shut up. My outfit breathes wonderfully. Anyway, how's it been going out here? You, uh, you don't have our stuff by any chance, do you? He's worried about his diary. Sorry. Well, don't beat around the bush. What has Harper gotten us wrapped up in? Yeah, Harper is a tricky one. Don't worry. We're just in this tournament where if we win... We get the Atlas and our ticket home. Oh. Well, that's better than I thought. But if we lose, we'll be mining for quartz forever. Nope. That is not a thing I want. Hey! Jesse, I need to talk! <laughs> it's pretty bad in there, Jesse. They don't even do anything to keep the pigmen away, so they just... <sighs> stare at you while you mine. It's been terrible! And we weren't in there that long. We can't just leave. I really think we can win this. Good. We need to. Apparently this guy Tim did it. That's true. He's all they talk about in the mines. Guess he won the games a long time ago and got all of his team home. They say he was three blocks tall and that he carried his entire team across the finish line. Yeah, it's super fishy. Well, you're out of those mines now. According to Harper, until our entire team is eliminated, you're allowed to stay here in the village. That's right. Your friends weren't supposed to go to the mines yet. I am sincerely sorry about that. Jesse, this is Otto, my old friend. Like I said, he may be able to help. So you're the one who's supposed to help us? Well, I'll enforce the rules at any rate. If that helps you, then uh, can't be games without rules. <laughs> Harper's been filling me in about you. From the story she's told, I'm impressed. You might actually make it to the top. In fact, 
You're the most exciting thing to come to this place in a long time. A real wild card. Yeah, I think you might be a real Tim in the making. Yep, a real Tim. Really interesting, you being here. I can feel change in the air. Tim, please. I could do anything he can do better. Well, you might just be right about that, Jesse. I'm rooting for you, kid. Just don't disappoint me. Can we trust him, Harper? Who knows? Otto's been doing this forever. At least he seemed interested. Anyway, dorms are over there. You got a big day tomorrow, Jesse. Ah, oh, that sounds awesome. Can't wait to just sit for a little while. And in the morning, I'm winning and getting us all out of here. I wonder what the next event will be. Hopefully nothing too deadly. <laughs> I'm sorry, but I can't take you seriously looking like that. It breathes. Wonderfully! Hello, competitors, and welcome to the next day of the games. And it's gonna be a hot one. Woo! Yes, it is, Adrian. And how are our teams looking, Otto? Well, Mevia, purple, green, and yellow are still making a strong showing. But after yesterday's performance in Spleet, I'm afraid to say that the red team has been completely eliminated. Oh, I guess it's back to the mines for them. <laughs> and, of course, about our plucky newcomers. Otto, shut up. We don't need to hear about them. Well, for everyone else, don't forget to be like Tim out there. <laughs> Wonder how this is going to go. These other losers don't look so tough. I can't believe how much they love this Tim guy. What's up with that? No idea. Definitely weird, though. All right, competitors, the next event is almost upon us. Time to head to the starting line. Starting line, huh? A race. We've totally got this. <laughs> got this, huh? Boom! Oh. Surprise locker room visit! Ha! How we doing, everybody? It's Adrian! And here are the newcomers that everyone's been talking about since their <laughs> explosive debut in Spleef. Tell me, champ, what's on your mind as you approach the next challenge? Make sure you smile when that spotlight's on you. We have appearances to keep up here. Winning. Ooh, in the zone, huh? That's excellent. That's just excellent. Hope you managed to hang on to that optimism when the heat's on out there. I admire your confidence, Jesse, but I must ask, what makes you think you can win when so many others have failed? Huh? Do you really think you're special? Whatever you're throwing at us can't be any worse than the other stuff we've already survived. Oh, really? Because it seems like two members of your team have already been eliminated. Yeah, and there's two left. More than enough to win this. Yes, perhaps we should just get on with this. <laughs> what a lovely day for a game. Jesse, good luck out there. I'm sure you'll be great, but, uh, well, everyone could always use a little dose of luck, right? Thanks, Em. Good luck to you, too. Of course. I saw what you could do in Spleef. And you made that deal with Hadrian, and I thought, whew, an enemy of my enemy is my friend. Em might be up to something. So, uh, yeah. How about we work together on this? I could use an ally. And you could use my help. <sighs> Come on, Jesse. I'm trying to help you out here. Like a mutual agreement. How can I trust you? You can trust me. Or you can take a slab to the face. Mm -hmm. You got a point. In the middle of the race is a part with tons of gladiators. That's when we should all team up. Defeat them. Then race to the finish. Well, what do you say? Unless you don't want the help of a former gladiator. I mean, that's okay too. 
I'm sure you'll be fine. You got a deal. Good. I won't let you down. Competitors, to the starting line. Meet you at Gladiator Junction. Gladiator Junction? That sounds awesome. At least we won't have to fight her and the gladiators. I'm ready for this. Those gladiators are going down. Hint, it's going to involve a lot of punching and kicking and all-around awesomeness. Remember, there's no I in teamwork, Petra. Yeah, but there is a me in I'm going to kick their butts. I just like wanted to say it's like an honor to be working together and I'm glad that M like totally suggested that we can do this uh yeah I knew that you were cool from the moment we met competitors on your mark get set go Did it. This has been pretty tough. Can't wait to see what else they throw at us. This is gonna be easy. That's what you think. Huh? Out of the way, chumps! Sounds like this is Gladiator Junction, but where are the gladiators? Fun part. I sure hope so. Come on, then. Glad she's with us, Jesse. You're mine. I've been dreaming about this since sleep. Oh, yeah, Slab? Because you seem pretty outnumbered. Just means more fun for me. We'll see about that. Right, Em? Em? <laughs> Boom. Bye, Squishy. What? Jesse, got your back. Go! Go! Maybe I can still 
win this thing. Dude, I am like so close. I could do this. Sorry, Nell. I'm winning this thing. Yeah, don't mention it. This race is almost over, and we will soon have a winner. And I think I know who it might be. I am the winner of the lava race, the gladiator formerly known as Emily. I trust you made good on our deal. I did. If that's true, then why hasn't Jesse responded yet? Jesse. And there appears to be a confrontation on the field. Jesse looks very heated. You lied to me. You tricked me into trusting you. All the stuff you said about being friends was a lie. I know. So you sacrificed winning the race to save someone else. Good to know. And you. You were supposed to eliminate Jesse. Our deal's off. Deal? No, no, no. Please. probably think I'm scum or whatever, but you know what? I don't even care. You have your deal, Jesse. If you win, you and your friends will just leave us anyway. My shot at going home just went up in smoke. So feel free to judge all you want. Hard to hurt me any more than Hadrian did just now. No, I get it, Em. I might have even done the same thing in your position. Well, I'm glad that you get it wasn't personal, at any rate. I... I gotta go. Okay, respawning is the worst. You! Hadrian wants you. Hadrian? Why does he want to see me? You made him real mad. Come on. I don't have all day. I'm warning you, Jesse. Hadrian doesn't like to be kept waiting. And are you mad, too? Mad I didn't get eliminated? No. No? Because you seem mad. Yeah, okay, fine. I'm mad that he wouldn't let me kill you a few times before I brought you upstairs. And you should know I asked. Come on. No. Just Jesse. Ugh. Hadrian doesn't allow dirty respawns in the palace. <sighs> okay. Well, be safe, Jesse. I don't trust them. Hmm. Hey, psst. I need to talk to you. Keep up. Come on. Come here. It'll be quick. Jesse, you gonna do what I say or not? Hey, Jesse. Yeah, over here. Jesse, I'm warning you. Give me one sec. I want to talk to him. You're gonna get me in trouble. Hurry up. Hey, what's up? Hi, Jesse. I'm Sebastian. Um... I know you're about to see the old builders, and I just wanted to say, please, just don't make them mad. Whatever they want you to do, just do it. It is way worse for us when they're mad. We're just happy you're here. I know, you're so busy. 
I, I'm just a minor. Of course, Sebastian. I'm always happy to help out. Then please keep helping us. It's so much nicer around here when they aren't mad. We sometimes get cake. I don't want to keep you, but some of the miners and I, well, we made you something. I know it's not much, but it's all we have. Wow, thank you. You didn't have to do this. Jesse, come on! Now we're gonna be late and I'm gonna get in trouble. Just the most not cool. Yeah, sorry about that. I just really wanted to hear what that guy had to say. <sighs> Whatever. Wow, so this is how the old builders live. Totally epic, right? Sometimes I just like to stand here and... <sighs> mm, just do that a whole bunch. This is incredible. Such amazing use of scale and angles. Right? Knew you'd be impressed. I get to hang out here whenever I want. But why am I standing around? I gotta go find Hadrian. Thanks to you, we're late. Oh, and don't touch anything. Slab said don't touch anything. He never said don't look at everything. Hey, that's that Tim guy's armor. Welcome, Jesse. Fantastic to have you here. Just fantastic. Thanks for accepting my invitation. Well, it seems appropriate that you'd gravitate toward Tim's armor. What with everyone calling you the new Tim down there. Yes, I've heard the rumors that they're calling you that, and I can definitely see why. People love an underdog story. It's... Quite the little journey. A humble adventurer. Lost in the portal network. Now, just one more victory away from owning the Atlas. Give it to me straight. Why did you invite me up here, Hadrian? Why, so we could continue to discuss the terms of our deal. More terms? <laughs> you can look closer. Go ahead. I assume by now you've heard all about Tim. Repeatedly. Everyone loves him. And why shouldn't they? After all, he's Tim. Yeah, it seems like he really gives them hope. Even better than that. They really believe in him. Tim is an inspiration to them, even when he's not here. One could say he's an inspiration because he's not here. What do you mean? It's so much easier for a legend to stay nice and shiny when it's a fond memory. Easier to control it. I've been watching your legend grow. But I worry that with you still in the picture, it could get... messy. I've been starting to think it would be best if you made a quiet exit. You don't belong here. These games aren't for you. I don't really do quiet exits. Do you have any idea who you're talking to? I could ask the same of you. I know a lot more than you might think, Spardo. See, there's something you should know about the games. No one ever wins unless we want them to. Not even Tim. Let that sink in for a moment, eh? I don't believe you. Of course Tim won. Everyone knows Tim won, and you sent him home. You really believe in Tim, huh? Well, you, you think he's real. Tim gives them hope. He keeps them playing the games, but no one wins. Ever. Which is why I think it'd be in your best interest to play along. But don't you miss your friends? Your treehouse? Wait, my treehouse? The Atlas can see where people are from, you know. So I had Mevia go check it out. Turns out you're pretty famous. I was impressed. Had to bring back some things you might be interested in. <laughs> Axel! Olivia! Hey, Jesse! Oh my gosh, I can't believe you're here! Yeah, this really scary lady showed up and knocked us out. 
Now we're in these smelly boxes. What's going on here? And that guy's voice is the worst. I can even hear it through the obsidian. I'm gonna get you guys free, I promise. It's great to hear that you're not a prisoner, at least. Well, I kind of am. Different. Oh. I'm just glad we're all back together. Wait until I tell the others you're here. I've missed you guys so much. Wow. This is just... Wow. Such a tapestry of human trauma and emotion. And we haven't even gotten to the best part. I saved that for last. What? Oh, yes. Your best friend. Ruben. Sup? I've heard all about him. Your best friend. Your partner in crime. Uh, hi, Ruben. Oh, sup? Nothing too much. How about yourself? Oh, same. This is so awkward. So you used the Atlas to kidnap all my best friends. Why? Yeah, instead of Jesse, instead of... See, even if you win, and that's a mighty big if, they will be staying to work in the mines forever. Or until they get a shot at competing, which is still basically forever. No! Okay, so what's your deal? If you lose the next match and go work in my mines, then I'll let your friends go. All of them. You'll just have to stay behind in their place. I hear it's terrible in those mines. But aren't your friends worth it? You're messing with the wrong guy. And his friends. Yeah, they're awesome. Just being supportive? I'm not messing with anyone. I'm just trying to maintain my games here. Okay, I had hoped that watching your sad reunion would be entertaining, but I'm done now. What do you say, sport? Your freedom for theirs, huh? Do you think you're worth more than all of them? Do you even really think you can win these games? Wow, tough one. That's actually kind of a good deal. Uh, yeah, except the part where Jesse would be stuck here forever. Oh yeah, no, I take that back. It's a terrible deal. No way, Hadrian. I don't make deals with cheaters. Fine, play it your way. Which is to say, I will crush you, and you won't win anyway. Slap! Get this garbage out of my office. Sure thing, boss. Come on, idiot. <laughs> Jesse, you're okay. What happened up there? Hadrian has Axel and Olivia. What? what? He used the Atlas to snatch them from our world. No. Are they okay? Other than Hadrian having them trapped in obsidian prisons. But he offered me a deal. He said he'll send you all home if I lose and go to the mines in your place. <gasps> I didn't take the deal. Oh. I guess that was probably the right move. Probably? What, you thought that deal sounded good? I don't know. It's a complex situation. Uh, in case you missed it, if I took that deal, I'd be in the mines forever. Except now, win or lose, you'll have friends doomed to the same fate. <sighs> Jesse was smart. Hadrian never would have kept that deal. Even if you did volunteer to throw the game, he'd just send you all to the mines anyway. Probably. While claiming that was the original deal. So, who's supposed to help us then? Hadrian and Mevia are both clearly the worst. But what about the third guy? Otto? How could he help? He's always stayed out of the more lever-pulling sides of the games. Well, he seems nice. He's the least interested in torturing people, at any rate. Huh. A good observation. He always was the most level-headed of those three. If you won, I know he would definitely make sure you got that atlas. That was the original deal. And he's an honorable man. We're gonna end these games for good. Think you can handle that, Harper? Oh, I think I've got <laughs> some ideas. Wait, wait, wait. You really think you can free everyone in this place and win the games? Yeah. 
Yes, good luck with that last part. Do you really think you could just beat all the other teams by yourself? That is a pretty tall order. Even for you, Jesse. Oh, it's impossible is what it is. The old builders expect us all to fight each other. I don't intend to give them the satisfaction. <laughs> You're what? Gonna convince everyone to work together? Oh, yeah. Whoa. Looks like we've got a little bit of an audience here. I think that's your cue to do your thing. The old builders make you all compete in the games. Event after event after event. They build up hope, but they're still controlling everything. They'll never really let anyone win unless we work together. Hadrian keeps twisting and changing the rules. I say it's our time to change the rules on them. What's the point? Hadrian will still have all the power. There's no way he's gonna let us just take that from him. He'll just make up some new rule. It's useless. Hadrian's not fully in control. Winning is possible, Em. Don't you want to win? I do. More than anything. But... Nobody beats Hadrian at his own games. Nobody. Hey, Tim did! That's the only thing keeping me going in here. Oh, yeah, because if it were not for Tim, I probably would have given up a long time ago. That's right. Tim did beat the games, and so can we! <laughs> yeah, sure, except nobody's been able to do it since Tim. So what's the point? And it's not like I haven't been trying? We all have. Oh, come on. Sure, Tim's a legend, but we're better than Tim. Better than Tim. Tim somehow beat all those gladiators alone. I don't think any of us are better than that. Yeah. I mean, well, it's like an inspiring idea and all that, but those gladiators are, like, super tough. And I don't know how Tim pulled off beating them, but, okay, look, for real, I don't think I could do that. Like, max-level scariness, okay? Boo! Oh, no, I mean totally OP. Then stop thinking about how to fight the gladiators like Tim did. Look at you. You're super puny and weak, and your hair does that weird thing. Uh, where's Jesse going with this? And instead, look around you, at all the people that you can work with. Sure, none of us alone are as good as Tim, but together, we're even better. Oh, I get it now. If we work together as a team, you need to believe in yourselves and believe that you can be like Tim. If you do that, nothing can stop you. Yeah! Look, it was a nice speech, but strength doesn't come from speeches. Actions speak louder than words. Can't expect you to just talk your way through this, Jesse. Strength comes from believing in yourself, Em. Sounds like a bunch of nonsense, Jesse. Sorry. Man, some crowd. Think they got through to him? Wait, so who are we fighting then? <sighs> Reaction definitely seemed mixed. Yeah, no kidding. A lot of diehard Tim fans. Uh, yeah, totally. I mean, you did hear it, right? Loud and clear. It just might not have been enough. Well, I guess we'll find out for sure in the morning. <sighs> Ladies and gentlemen, it is my privilege, nay, my honor, to be here today, kicking off another wonderful day of the game! That's right, Adrian. And not just any day, but the final day of... The game! Are our competitors ready for the final challenge? The it's walls! The walls! So, scared? Because it's okay if you are. No one will judge you for it. You can tell me if you were scared. After putting up with your breath this whole walk? Please. This walls thing doesn't scare me at all. <laughs> Still got your sense of humor, huh? Cute. Mavia, for those unfamiliar with the walls, you want to walk us through how it's played? Sure thing, Hadrian. 
Teams start out separated in their own sections, divided by the high inner walls. Each team has a short amount of time to gather materials, build defenses, and craft in their section before the walls come yeah. down. Wait, I only see dirt and gravel in my section. Oh, I'm sorry. Is that gonna be a problem? The sections are drawn at random. Oh, you work for the worst people. Did you know that? Yeah, but that dental plan, though. See? Once the walls are down, it's every team for themselves. But is surviving the walls the end, Mevia? No, it is not, Hadrian. Whichever team survives the free-for-all needs to step onto the winner's platform in the center of the arena. Winner takes all! But let's not get ahead of ourselves, because that's only if the would-be winners can defeat... Oh. Gladiators! <laughs> that's right! <laughs> so all competitors better get to gathering materials, because that clock is ticking! Too dark. Well, hopefully it's not all dirt and gravel. Oh, choices are funny, aren't they, Mevian? What do you mean, Hadrian? Some choices. Nope, Hadrian. just dirt. Others On! Just nothing but dirt and gravel in your section. Ah. Yep, just dirt. Uh, if I didn't convince true, people to join up true. with that speech, I'm gonna need something to work with. Gravel, that's worse than dirt. At least they gave me a crafting table. Now, if only I actually had anything to craft with. Hey. <laughs> Seems like they're happy you didn't get anything. <laughs> I think they're making fun of you. But just mind, you know professional opinion. There's a gladiator. Who's heard this a lot? Nah. Oh, you think? Well, yeah, I do actually. Rhetorical question. Oh, do you know what time it is? Ask me what time it is, Mavia. What time is it, Hadrian? It's time for the walls to come down. Oh. This should be interesting. The competitors are like wild ocelots, sizing each other up, unmoving, before they go in for the kill. Jesse! Go! Jess! Ha ha! Hang on now, we Am got movement. Really? Looks like the gladiator formerly known as Emily is preparing her attack. And Jesse, the newcomer, is just painfully unarmed and unprotected. Jesse. This could get ugly. Let's hope. Okay, do whatever it is you have to do. Whatever you say. Jesse isn't even trying to defend himself. Here it comes! The finishing blow! What? <gasps> Figured I'd try believing in myself for once and take a chance. It appears Emily has opted to not strike down the unarmed newcomer, and the other competitors are following suit. Wait, what's, what's going, going on? on? This isn't how I expected wow, it to Wow, am I glad that this is how this went down, because, uh, let me tell you, all I had was dirt and gravel. Gross. Could still come in handy, though. What is Em doing? Why is she doing that? I have no idea. Come on, over here. Yeah. Why aren't you all killing each other? Yeah, man, I can totally see why you'd be confused. Yeah, we're, uh, confused. I mean, usually the little teams all kill each other, you know? We're not killing each other because we're done fighting, Slab. It's over. Uh-huh. So why do you still have your weapons out? Done fighting each other. Don't you see? None of us are the enemy. It's them. They're the enemies. They're behind everything. Oh, my head hurts. Too many perspectives. And it appears that the gladiators are being idiots right now. Idiots. Wait, 
what they should be doing is eliminating Jesse! Hey, Hadrian, shut your cake hole. Go, oh, imbeciles! Slab? Slab! What should we do? Uh, uh, uh. I'm sure that the slaughter will commence soon, right? With Slab leading the charge, it should be no problem at all. You're all such strong, amazing fighters. You could fight the old builders. Defeat them. No way. I am very strong, but not strong enough for that. <laughs> yep, that is some straight crazy talk. Not going with them, Slab? In my life, I've done some things I'm not proud of. But I won't work for bosses who use people or manipulate them. That's inconsiderate. Wow, Slab, I'm so proud of- Let me finish. You made me late when I was just trying to do my job, and that was real inconsiderate too. And then you really rubbed it in my face, reminding me I couldn't kill you. Hmm. Even though I really wanted to at the time. I think I need some time to be my own boss. I think it's time for us to finish this together! It appears all the competitors are headed towards the victory platform. As stated in our rules, anyone who is not eliminated may step on the victory platform and win the games. It looks like they are going to do this together. Right behind you, fearless leader. That won't happen. It can't happen. No, no! And they've done it. The competitors have all stepped onto the platform together, which, by the Builder Game Bylaws, means they are all the <laughs> Which I'm sure my colleague means to say, we are going to find some way to disqualify them? No, we are not. They all win. Uh, no! Levia, Otto, with me. We're ending this. So help me, none of you will leave this place until you eliminate each other. Not happening. Oh, don't even get me started with you, Emily. I don't know, Hadrian. I heard Mevia explaining the rules. She explicitly said that whoever steps onto the winner's platform would be declared the winner. And here I am. It's over. No, no, no. Jesse's got a point. This isn't up to you. We control the games. We decide their outcome. Mevia. Shut up, Otto. This runt needs to pay for ruining our fun. Come on, Mevia, just admit you lost. You'll feel better. Lost? We'll never lose. We... we still have the Atlas. Ha! Well, that's the thing. Jesse won these games fair and square. He's earned the Atlas. Otto, I would think very carefully about what you're doing. I have. Jesse... With the power vested in me as an officiator of the Builder Games, I am proud to pay the What are you doing? Now it's been fun, really. But I think it's about time we end this. Whoa, this is majorly bogus, dudes. Surrender the redstone heart. Now. Now. Because, uh, I will trap you here. Forever. I am 100% fine with that course of action. It's true. He'll do it. But is that really what you want? You want the redstone heart? You're going to have to pick it out of my inventory. Fine by me. The hard way is more fun anyway. Oh, this is useless. Well, well. Now that you've lost your oversized friend, you really don't stand a chance. Run away, little Emily. You're gonna need all the help you could get, Jesse. Time to take what is mine. I'll admit you're quick sport, but not quick enough for my axe. Oh, what the? Don't forget my axe, Hadrian. <laughs> <laughs> Admit, kid, you've shown you got skills, but you're still no we'll match. see about that. I got this, Hadrian. Ah! Had enough, Hadrian? Wait, wait! You're right. This has gone too far. 
was just supposed to be a game. You expect me to believe that? Come on, sport. Haven't you ever had anything get away from you before? I mean, can't you forgive me? <laughs> <gasps> this game is... No! And that's our game, sports fans. The Redstone Heart has been returned to its proper owners. I, I lost. It's over. I... Oh, I don't think so. It's us. Yeah. I'm so happy to see you guys. You said you believed in me, Jesse. Figured I'd return the favor and believe in everyone else. You know, because I'm awesome. And we both need to get out of this. Oh, I knew you'd be back. Thanks for not doubting me. But I lost my inventory when I respawned. How am I supposed to get the Atlas back without any weapons or armor or anything? Well, we may have made a little stop in Hadrian's inventory room and helped ourselves to a few things. Awesome! Here, buddy. Wow! Take this! Thanks. Hey, suspenders! Over here! Tim's armor. Belongs to you now. Time to kick some old builder butt! Now to pick a weapon to go with my sweet new armor. Ooh, yeah, nice choice. Sweet. Payback ah, time! Eight. Now what should we do with all those other competitors who betrayed us? Well, Mevia, spending eternity in the quartz mines doesn't seem like punishment enough. <laughs> I have something special in mind for them. Hadrian! Mevia! This game just went into overtime. Well, isn't that cute? You found Tim's armor. Oh, well, isn't that just the sweetest thing, Hadrian? So sweet and so pathetic, Mevia. You don't know my friends, Hadrian. Those friends of yours will just hold you back in the end, slugger. Oh, I'm going to enjoy crushing you. Yeah. <laughs> Stone. You mess with all Go, of Jesse! I Time believe in you! Time to shut you up! You think this is going to help? You're deluded! Come on! Never could have won on your own! Wish you had friends like mine yet? Shut up! Just shut up! All of you, shut up! I see you don't like having a live audience, Hadrian. Come on! Jesse! Remember Spleef! Got it. Now, Mevia, we have to get out of here. Come on! Whoa, whoa, hey, hey, guys. How's it going? 
It's going not the best, and you're not going anywhere. Yeah. Face Meat wants to discuss his benefits plan. Oh, hang on, hang on! Jesse, you did it! Again! Feels like I say that a lot. I couldn't have done anything without all of you. Well done, Jesse. An excellent job. Uh, thanks, Otto. You have truly shown my friends and I the error of our ways. I'm glad to put this whole messy business behind us. Start over. Man, do you need some new friends, you know that? Yes, I have come to that same conclusion, and I am working on it. I also know that the Atlas is not mine to keep. You have barely defeated them. Seems only fair that you get to decide their fate. And with the Atlas, you can send them anywhere you want. Hmm. You know, there was this game that Olivia and I used to play back in our treehouse. Huh? Remember? We called it, Which Would You Rather Fight? And that's when I yanked Pama's redstone heart right out. And the whole thing shut down. Man, you guys have had some crazy adventures. So many people trying to kill you. Goodbye, Jesse. Goodbye. Thank you. Is that all of them? Everyone that wants to go home anyhow. Except you folks, that is. I can't believe how many competitors actually want to stay and keep playing the games. Thanks to you, my intrepid new friend, I can actually work on making them fun again. Very exciting. It'll be more challenging just by myself, but a good challenge. That's what I do. Exploring new worlds, helping people wherever I go. I was happy to help. Well, I'm very grateful. What you did won't be forgotten anytime soon. I'm bummed my journal never showed up. Had a lot of good stuff in there. Yeah, I'm sorry, Lucas. Well, Em, how about you? You said you wanted to go home, right? Yes, I just can't decide if it's what I want. You get to leave and go on more adventures. Do I really want to go back to farming? I mean, it has been ages since I've seen it, and I miss my friends, but what if I'm bored? Well, if you want, you can come with us. Oh, really? Like, really? Yeah, we could always use another awesome person, and... Well, you're pretty awesome. Ah, oh, Jesse! That's wonderful! Oh, thank you so much! Hey, Ivor. Oh, hello! What you doing? I was just observing Harper. All by herself, over there. She seems lonely. Come on. Hey, Harper. Oh, hey, Jesse, Ivor. I was just watching folks head on home. Things really worked out, huh? Well, I guess this is goodbye. I'm gonna head on back to Crown Mesa and see how the post Palma construction is going. Just hope they'll take me back. It's not my real home, but it's the closest thing I've had for well, a long time. We'll just go with that. Don't worry. I'm sure they'll come around. I sure hope you're right. You'll be fine. You'll be fine. Getting over the I was a bad guy hump can be awkward, but hopefully soon they'll invite you right back into their lives. Right, Jesse? You are a strange, strange man, Ivor. But you know something? You're okay. Take care of each other, all right? And I'll see you around. Bye, Harper. Yes, goodbye. Come on. You're amazing. So, how do we get home now? Well, the Atlas belongs to Jesse now. The deal's a deal and all that. Sweet. Uh, how does it work? Now you just say where you want to go, and the Atlas will show you the way. Why don't you just go ahead and open it? 
Okay, book, take us home. Whoa! Spectacular! Incredible! Nice! There it is. Home. I assume M told you that she's coming with? Yeah, she's already promised to show me that awesome spin move. It's not so great. Figure it's about time we get heading on home, huh? That sounds awesome. Yeah! Home, here we come. Jesse, look! Can you believe it? We made it! We're home! After all that time, all those portals, we're home! Yes, it does feel pretty good, doesn't it? Yeah, and I couldn't have done it without you guys. You're the best team anyone could ever ask for. Aw. That's... lovely. Ah, you big sap. I'm just so glad we're all back together. That atlas is so cool. I'm glad Otto let you keep it. Fabulous, yes! And that's not all we got. Seriously? What else did you get? Yeah, show him, Jesse. The Enchanted Flint and Steel. The one that started the whole thing. Yeah, none of these other adventures could have happened if it weren't for this. The Crown of the Eversource. The magical source of all of Sky City's precious materials. Whoa, wicked! The mask of Cassie Rose, a.k.a. the White Pumpkin. Oh man, that's even creepier looking than I imagined. Pama's Redstone Heart. I know that Pama was evil and everything, but I still kind of wish I could have seen it. The Portal Atlas. I could have lost all the rest so long as we got to keep that. Ha! Huh? I wonder what Soren would have thought of it. So much power contained within such a tiny Whoa. object. Easy there, Ivor. <clears throat> Sorry. I can't believe you got to do all those incredible things. Makes sense, though. You were gone a long time. Wait till we show you all the improvements we've been making to town. Hang on. What is it? Wasn't that where the portal atlas was a minute ago? Yeah, that was definitely where you put it. Guys, flint and steel are missing too. And where's Ivor? <laughs> he must be headed for the portal network. Is that bad? What should we do? That's all right. He went on just as epic a journey as the rest of us. If he wants to dive right back into the portal network, well, I think he's earned it by this point. So you think we should just let him go? Yeah, I do. Come on, guys. Let's go home. and unexpected twist, it appears we are in the land of chickens that are indeed the size of zombies. That's right, Adrian. And it looks like we're just gonna have to wing it. Wings. Chicken wings, you know. You're fired, Mavia. 
You're fired. 